lovely jewellery makers. How are we all? I'm so excited for today. And I know that I heard the gorgeous lady to my left say exactly the same for many, many a reasons. Um, oh, we've got for two shows only, Liam's back. Yes, he says the sexy boy is in the house. Bigging himself up there just a little bit. Liam, how are you? Are you excited? What do you mean? Why did you say that? Like in a, in a, in like a, in, you say you went, uh, yeah. He said, oh, I just don't remember what I'm doing. But also, do you know, last night, you could, if you could have seen the smile literally radiate across my face because I found out that I had the show with the wonderful Linda Bromwell. <laughs> it's always great <laughs> to see you. Thank you, Alex. Lovely to be with you. How are you, darling? You okay? Yes, I'm good. Thank you very much. Yeah, fine. We got Linda, we got Leah. What, what more could we possibly want? Um, yeah, and today's show is going to be nothing short of utterly epic, isn't oh, it, Linda? Absolutely epic. I mean, when I walked into the studio this morning at silly o'clock um, and I saw what was coming up, wow. First time ever. Mm -hmm. um, we've got, yeah, first time ever to my recollection we've ever done, we've ever brought you an elephant carving. Which are in Jade, so I'm super excited about him. He's absolutely adorable. But also, most definitely, first time that we have ever brought you the size of Jade rounds that you see to my left. Yeah, these are absolute giants. Um, they are 19 millimeters, 19 millimeters in size. We have 50 available opportunities because obviously, you know, just hum nature of this gemstone um, only offers us very seldom opportunities. But whilst jade forms in big vast boulders, as we know, it's it's cut into almost slices and that mm -hmm. makes opportunities like this almost impossible. So there are 50 opportunities. These are your deal of the day today. They are colossal and the quality as well the quality of them in that size um plus then you've also got your 13 millimeters that in itself is you know is a rarity to get any to be honest any jade in a double figure uh, measurement in your rounds is exceedingly rare um because there's a lot of waste during the cutting process of your rounds um yeah absolutely so this is going to be i'm so certain of it a sellout show it's your deal of the day starting with the 19 millimeters and then we're going to be bringing you the other beauties as well we've also got some natural type a red jade in rondelles i don't know if that's the first time quite possibly i think so um it's an absolutely beautiful strand and again it's totally and utterly natural take a look at it here with the elephant oh that piece of jewelry is absolutely incredible thank you to ann and sue for creating this absolutely beautiful piece i love what they've done here they've just taken little sections haven't they three rondelles and there's the elephant at the bottom um, so yeah, that's a really exciting opportunity coming up in today's show. We've got loads of beautiful sterling silver components as well, some of which I've never even seen. In fact, this hour, this whole hour, is all about 925 sterling silver. Oh, with the exception of maybe a couple of items. Liam, I, I should have asked you this before the show. Is it lounge hour this hour? He says no, so that's good. But it is all on pre-order, so that means that the quantity will absolutely fly. Now, brand new, literally touched down today, we are going to bring you oh, one of our original garnets. Um, I did hear a little dicky bird told me that this was the, this was the garnet that um, our founder, Steve Bennett, unearthed. The first gemstone he unearthed with his own two hands was Hessonite garnet. So we could say... Maybe actually, we've got a, a great deal to thank for Hessonite Garnet because it Hopefully. could have been what yeah, you know, initiated his enthusiasm in gemstones. Yeah. Well, we've got a natural strand of Hessonite Garnet coming up as well um, <clears throat> at an early bird price tag, so make sure you're with me for that. Shall we guarantee, shall we make a price promise? Shall we? For Hessonite Garnet, the cinnamon stone with all that beautiful treacling effect. Shall I bring it over? Yes, let's bring it over so I can actually show you. Um, should we make a promise? Because this will look absolutely beautiful with your jade as well, don't you think? Those warm Stunning. colours. Absolutely beautiful. Let's promise it today under <coughs> £10. <coughs> this, this is literally touched down 
And I think it's going to sell out today. It's going to that amazing price point. Plus, it's Wednesday. We love a Wednesday, don't we, Linda? We absolutely because do. Because it means we can make some lovely jewellery maker viewers a little bit richer. Um, oh, before I do that, sorry, Liam. I can't go any further without showing these amazing, amazing uh, um, Herkimer Courts. I love this gemstone. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it's so beautiful. Doubly terminated, of course. We've got two amazing strands. Now, if you love the monochrome Herkimer Courts... Um, then you've got this amazing strand. You can see those double terminations, completely natural. But if you want diamond-like clarity, and it's often referred to as diamond quartz, we have a AAA graded strand as well. I mean, they literally could be colourless diamonds, couldn't they? Mm -hmm. How beautiful. It's not a simulant gemstone. This is a genuine gemstone, but one we rarely, rarely ever see. So these are coming up as well. Just wanted to give you a little sneaky peek. They're coming up in the... Um, nine o'clock hour so in the nine o'clock hour um, okay right let's make some people a little bit ri uh, richer and also be inspired by your wonderful creations it's the wall of fame <laughs> Okay, let's start off with your wonderful creations. Um, oh, it's a nice, nice wall of fame today. We've got lots of lovely entries, and I can't even pass them over to our lovely Linda, can I? Because she's busy. She's busy right now. Um, 467, good morning, Mary. Gosh, you've been busy. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, um, Mary Hambleton Nutt. Um, hi, good morning. Here are three items of jewellery. Uh, one is a small bracelet which has rainbow, rainbow crystal beads. Seed beads, all from Jewellery Maker. Um, all have been made using JM Memory Wire and jewellery. Uh, sorry, the jewellery has words using Morse code on them. The necklace set has jasper and mookite beads from Jewellery Maker. Wishing everybody all the best and many thanks. Love that. So you've researched the Morse code as well to have a little hidden message. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the creativity of people, isn't yeah. it? Amazing. You know, um, and also what I applaud is the use of gemstones with sea beads. Yeah. Exactly. I really do applaud that. We were resistant to it at first, mm -hmm. weren't we? Mm -hmm. um, number 268 is Michelle. Good morning, lovely Michelle. Um, hi there, lovely jewellery maker team. I have uh, had two days of creating a series of pendants and wanted to share this one with you as my entry for the, this week's draw. Um, this is a yellow uh, aragonite, not a gemstone that I was familiar with until I saw it on Jewelry Maker the other week. Thank you for, for enabling me to get my hands on these cabochons. That daffodil yellow makes me smile and reminds us that hopefully spring is just around the corner. I used champagne gold silver plated wire and added a few carnelian beads for contrast. Hope you like it. Michelle, that's absolutely beautiful. And I, I totally see the springtime vibe. They are coming out in my garden, the little daffs. Yeah, the little crocuses are, are popping and the snowdrops and that are about. Love it. Absolutely love that. It's joyous. Well done, Michelle. Good luck to you. Uh, Tracy. Oh, my word. Isn't that beautiful? Tracy, you're number 269. Good morning to all you lovely people at Jewelry Maker. Please find my Wall of Fame entry. After stumbling across yourselves in 2012, uh, when unable to work anymore because of my disabilities, you ignited my love of making things and I was quickly addicted. I haven't made anything for a while now as my passion was lost early last year as we sadly said goodbye, but not forever, to my wonderful father, whom on top of his existing ailments was diagnosed with cancer and sadly passed away due to heart failure in June. Oh, Tracy, I'm so sorry, lovely. Um, I have and still am struggling to accept that this, uh, accept this and know that it's going to take some time. But my amazing mum recently gave me um, a memory bear, which is made from a jumper my dad used to wear and, how, and now sits pride in place with me at my jewellery workstation. Uh, the bracelet and earrings are made from pink and white shell, rose galvanised sea beads and rose gold plated clasp and shepherd hooks all purchased from yourselves. Love to you all and please keep up all the good work as you do, uh, you do as I don't think you realise how much comfort you bring not only to myself but all to the jewellery maker viewers. Oh bless your heart Tracy, I'm sending you so much love. I know how difficult it is for you right now. Um, yes and we are with you every single day, every single day um, and that's beautiful by the way. Now, Number 270 is from Victoria. Oh, there's a blast from the past. Do you remember those? Scale mail? How amazing. Wow. <laughs> um, please find my entry, scale mail necklace made for a friend's a big event as a present, uh, uh, as a present. 
um, and I really enjoyed it. It relit my mojo as it's the first uh, piece in about a year. Well, let's hope we see more from you, Victoria, because that's absolutely beautiful. 271 is from Pam. Morning, Pam. Oh, they're lovely. Very on trend. Good morning to all at JM. Please see attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Three macrame bracelets, two with lapis lazuli, faceted rounds, and one with labradorite. After being in hospital with pneumonia, oh bless you, I lost my mojo for a while, but it seems to be coming back slowly but surely. All components purchased from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all in the draw. Well, I, I hope you're feeling much better, Pam, and it's lovely to see your creations. They're amazing. Number 272 is from Lynn. Good morning, Lynn. Gosh, you've all been so so busy look at all these wonderful pieces uh, good morning please find my entry to this week's wall of fame a selection of bracelets made from Swarovski cup chain and bezels I got from jewelry maker about four years ago and I finally got round to using uh, using them all compound uh, all sorry all JM products except a couple of the cup chain connectors good luck to all and to you Lynn absolutely love it number 273 is from Molly oh Molly that's beautiful Love that. Um, these are Grandidurite stones. A re recent purchase from Jewelry Maker um, are perfect for the minimalist look. I've added a pretty silver sunflower motif and hammered um, a sterling silver square spacer tube flat to complete the look. Um, I think it works. All items are from Jewelry Maker. Thanks to the great demos, the helpful tips from the guest designers, and best wishes to you all and you, Molly. That's absolutely beautiful. Number 274 is from Anna. Hello to you, Anna. Gosh, oh, look at that. How amazing. And the swimming pool in the background. I wonder where you are there. Uh, morning, all you lovely people. Today I'm doing my first ever craft event in Crete. Wow. How beautiful. Um, my WAF entry um, is my stand. I can say that everything is from Jewelry Maker. Quite an achievement. Thanks to Jewelry Maker for all the inspiration and wish me luck. Well, good luck, Anna. And look how beautiful that setting is. How amazing. Lucky you. Good luck, lovely. Um, 275 is from Julie. Oh, hello, Julie. That's absolutely beautiful. Hello again, everybody. This week I've been playing with my blowtorch um, and silver wire. So my entry for the Wall of Fame is a sterling silver flower necklace with a garnet set in the center. Absolutely everything is from Jewelry Maker, as always. I haven't done vast amounts of metal smithing, so I was quite pleased with how it turned out. Good luck to everybody entering this week. Love and best wishes. And to you, Julie. Number 276 is from Angela. Last but by no means least, Angela. Oh, I think nine o'clock kits will be uh, up your street, Angela. Hello, everybody. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a Lariat-style necklace using appetite chips, seed pearls, and labradorite pendant. Everything from Jewelry Maker as usual. Amazing. Right then, let's do the draw. Let's do the draw. Well done to all your entries. If you're thinking, I want a bit of that, get involved. All you've got to do is send a photograph of your piece of jewelry. The only stipulation is that they are Jewelry Maker products. Right. Let's give, let's give this a good old spin. I'll try and be lucky for you. Sometimes, Liam, I do draw. It's happened quite a lot, actually. The people that I've just read out. So let's see, let's see. Hang on. I got just one ticket there. I think so. Ooh. She's done it again. I have, yeah, I have. The, the winner, the winner, 268... Uh, just Michelle. Michelle, well wow, done, my well lovely. Done. You are our winner. So a hundred pounds a week with your daffodil beautiful necklace. Hundred pounds will be credited to your jewelry maker account. That's a nice way to start your Wednesday morning, is it? Can I do two out of today's? Where's the, that was the winner. We're receiving fifty. Uh, receiving a hundred pounds. The runner-up receives fifty. Oh, right. Come on. Maybe, I'm not sure. 281. Uh, it's Susan James. Susan James, congratulations, my lovely. You are a well runner done. up. How fabulous is that? Well done. So it's always worthwhile to send your amazing pieces, not only to inspire us, um, but also because you never know, we might make you a little bit richer. Right, shall we get cracking? Because we've got loads of beautiful sterling silver components to bring you this morning. Um, amazing. Before I do, can I just say, is it Ethan? We need to welcome Ethan to the Jewelry Maker team, everybody. Ethan is join, joining our crew. Um, I promise you right now, you might be thinking, what on earth you're talking about? We all hear terms like gizmos and bundles and 
We've definitely, definitely got our own little language here at Jewelry Maker, haven't we? But it doesn't take long to learn, does it, Dan? No, our no, own little language. Still adjusting. You're still yeah, adjusting. Still right, so when we start talking about wags, y cones, and gizmos and all that, don't worry, just go with it. Um, <laughs> right then, where are we starting? Let's start with some essentials. Have I got my <coughs> tweezers? That's a thing. Yes, I have. Dan's on it. He's on the case. Right, straight in. Fast and Pisces, says Liam. Righto. Um, okay, Liam. Um, end caps. So oh, this is good, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, there they are. Got them. Hang on. Here we are. I got them. It's all right, Liam. Oh, these are so. Oh, Linda, look at these. They're already flying out on pre order. I'm not surprised by that at all. They're brand new. They are 925 sterling silver. They've been in kits before, but not individually on their own. So, Linda, these will work with all your cord, like your macrames and your kumahimos mm. and things like you that. You know, um, I don't think you should underestimate um, finishing on your jewellery pieces. Totally. You know, and this is an exquisite finishing, as well as being well, it's incredibly isn't practical. It? Yeah. Do you know, you saying that, Linda, whenever I um, go to buy a piece of jewellery, it's the first area I look at. Look Obviously, at the, the initial di design yeah, will draw yeah, me to course. it, but yeah. I always look at the finishing. At the mechanics, because yeah. if it's completed and finished well, you know it's a quality piece exactly. of jewellery. Exactly. So, yes, this does absolutely, um, absolutely sort of uh, uh, give you that professional look. Now, it's three grams of sterling wow. silver, so that equates to a gram in each. Basically, you can use a little bit of your jewellery-making glue if you wanted, literally mm -hmm. pop it in there, whether you're working with wire, whether you're working with Kumahima, whether you're working with leather, that might work as well. There are only 20 left, though. Every pound and penny we've taken out of that uh, price tag for you. But Liam is here for two days only. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? But um, Liam, remember he is the, uh, the, Duke, the Duke of Discount, yeah? Do you remember all this? The bad boy of jewellery maker. Viscount of value. <laughs> yeah, you know, get... <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, all coming dear. back to you. It's all coming back to you, isn't it? The plummet prince. <laughs> Send some messages into lovely Liam as well, because we've dragged him from his hobby maker desk, haven't we? Come on, Liam. Come and produce the, uh, the team. Um, let's do, I, I've had my eye on these. Closed jump rings, but they are also nice little, little charms, aren't they? These are really pretty. And you're getting 10 of them in total. So you can literally just suspend that, I think, from a chain. Also, those of you that do your silversmithing, your soldering, they are 925 sterling silver with your gold flash. Look at all of those. Look at all of those. Liam's going to take them as low as he possibly can, the plummet prints. They're lovely, aren't they? Linda, you could just pop one on a jump ring and, I don't know. Is it yeah, I mean, and you can put, bring them together at the point of the heart, at the base, and, and bring them into a flower. Oh. But as a waterfall earring oh. attached to small jump rings down the chain, they will look Beautiful. exquisite. Beautiful. Eight pounds and 21 pence only. Have we got many of these then, Luscious Liam? Not many at all, he says. Keep dialing through, because we're going fast and pacey. Um, in fact, let's skip to the silver. Let's jump ahead, if you like, on the on, on the website. So exactly the same. If you want to create that, you know, dual colour, then this would be absolutely great for you. Um, I tell you what, we'll do. Match the price point. Let's do it. Let's do it. There is only one of them left, though. Mary Jane, Carmel, Angus. Hello, to Genoefa, Lorna, West Midlands, Claire, and Anne. Hello, Jane. Say morning, lovely ladies and crew. When is the chain spool on, please? Uh, as I've got to go to the dentist. We'll do it now. There we go. We'll do it for you now. Also, can I just show you this as well? This is brand new. We're not entirely sure we should have it, but it's coming up in about 10 minutes' time. Um, Liam nicked it, basically. Um, so it's sweet and sharp mac macaroon. Oh, OK. So it sharpens... Oops. Sharpens your needles. How good's that? How good's that? Um, so that's coming up in about 10 minutes' time. Not too long to wait for that. Um, OK, let's do the spool, because Jane's got to go to the dentist. Lucky you, I can't get in our dentist at the moment. <laughs> yeah, you've got to look after your teeth. Look after your teeth. Um, hope it's just a checkup then, Jane. Hope it's just a checkup. Nothing too, nothing too, nothing too uh, troubling. Um, diamond cut, beautiful sterling silver chain. On a spool, you've got a full, what, five metres? You know, it's so easy to underestimate this little spool, isn't it? Because when you look at it, you're like... Totally, oh. yeah. And it's very easy to underestimate your stock off-chain because basically any piece of jewellery can be enhanced 
um, with Jane, uh, obviously we're talking about, you know, waterfall earrings and things like that, but also say you, you've got a strand of gemstone or whatever, mm. or you've got a stash and you've used some of the, what, the beads that you're using at the time, and it's just a little bit short for your necklace or whatever, then chain is, is, yeah. is where to go. So it could be your extender chains. You could yeah. use these maybe as your uh, um, Van Cleef and Arpel in Alhambra designs. Mm -hmm. Think about the jade that we've got coming up today as well. I mean, you could do little sections. The fact that it is on the spool means that you can customise it to your required length and nothing is wasted. That's working out at, what, £10 a metre. And when you consider that you can get at least two 18 inch necklaces and a bracelet um you know it's great value for money these are diamond cut but they as you can see on this photograph they're quite open links so if you don't do soldering jane's got hers well done lovely off to the dentist she goes now bless her um <laughs> thinking of you jane i don't mind the dentist i'm one of those few people that actually quite like going to the dentist i love a scale and polish I, I am obsessed with brushing my teeth, yeah. I probably brush my teeth too much. There are only two of those left, though, so stay where you are. Um, let's do hexagon connector. Oh, it's lovely. Um, this is pretty. If you are a fan of... If you're a fan of Astley Clark, then this would be great for you. So you can literally glue a gemstone in there if you wanted to. You might have a stone that's calibrated to that size. It is a calibrated measurement. Solid 925 sterling silver. You might also use this, Linda, with your resin. Oh, but you just took the words out of my mouth. That's because Those we had that conversation the other day yeah. didn't we, about resin. Yeah. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Four pounds? Four pounds. So, yeah, if you do resin, if you do polymer clay, if you do silver clay... Yeah, little pressed flowers in there and a bit of resin over the top. How amazing would that be? Two pounds and 42 pence only. That's an absolute giveaway deal. Seriously, it is solid 925 sterling silver. We're not even talking about base metal. So imagine it, yeah, on a little slider bracelet or like, um, like, our, like our Wall of Fame entry with all those macrame bracelets. You could do that, couldn't you? Just one in the centre. It's going to sell out. Well done. Well done, well done. Um, <clears throat> let's do... A mini findings kit, yeah, sounds good, sounds good. Should be, oh, Liam's just saying to me, these are new individually because they've, the only time they've ever been on our show is actually allocated in kits, which is great, but if you've wanted those components individually, then today's the day. Now, we should be at 9.99 for this. You get your featherweight head pins, you get two of your lever back earrings, which are Mm, much more luxurious, I think, than your standard shepherd hook. Plus, you're getting a length, um, which equates to 18 inches, um, of your gold-plated sterling silver chain. £6.99. pence. Hello, Ruth. Good morning to you, my lovely. Say, morning. I'm new to Jewelry Maker. Uh, was looking for uh, the elephant that is on the desk, but I can't find it. Um, Ruth, oh, you're, you're in our local town as well. Um, Ruth, it's coming up at 10 o'clock this morning, so... We may put it on pre-order. I do think that's risky, Liam, if you do. Because everybody loves elephants, don't they? So this is coming up at t in the 10 o'clock hour. It's one of your deal of the day. So um, <clears throat> it's a beautiful type A natural jadeite. Um, and I believe me, Ruth, it is totally, totally worth the wait. So welcome to the jewelry maker family, my lovely. Do you know you are literally, you could walk to our studios from where you're from. Um, okay, let's do what, sorry? Oh, this, this is amazing. Can you imagine this, Linda, in like a, like, like a mm. Downton Abbey? <clears throat> yeah, with three strands of oh. pearls. Oh, or yeah, the jade. The, pearls. the jade as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, yes, with the jade. Now, there's eight grams of sterling silver, plus it has uh, your beautifully parve set encrusted with your cubic zirconia. So, yeah, think of all the jade that we have coming up. Does that seriously look like a single penny less than four figures? It, I mean... I'm not saying it would be four figures, but it looks it, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. Look at that. Yeah, definitely. All that precious metal invested into this. All those openings, you know, the gallery itself, Linda. I mean, those are offerings, I guess, for you to attach to, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. £29.99 and pence only. <clears throat> so, for example, if I can just borrow one of uh, lovely <coughs> Anne and Sue's creations, imagine this. Imagine that. What do you think to that? Make a stunning brooch as well, wouldn't it? A beautiful brooch. <coughs> yes, you could solder onto this, <coughs> couldn't you? Um, or you're ten minutes away, Ruth. Are you? 
Yeah, we, we could we could literally deliver your 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 orders by hand. Do you know weirdly? Um, <laughs> weirdly, one of my neighbours who lived directly opposite to me. I had a, I took in a parcel once. They were like, oh, can you take this parcel in for, for your neighbour because they're not in? I said, yeah, 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 no problem. Then realised that it was from Jewellery Maker. <laughs> and I was like, this is just too funny. I'm now going to be delivering Jewellery Maker <laughs> products. So I literally, and she didn't know I worked for Jewellery Maker either. So but exactly, I don't know. I mean, this was quite some years ago, so it might have been she watched the late shows maybe. Um, <laughs> but literally... Literally, or, or maybe, yes, I look completely different in real life. Um, I don't know, I don't know, but she was like, oh, oh, yeah, mind you, have you seen, Liam, you've seen me outside of work, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> no, you, you can, you can, it's fine. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, and I literally delivered it. So, there we go, Ruth, you never know. Uh, 29 99 so many opportunities. Again, I have to say, alongside your masterclass kits, I think they're yeah, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, let's, let's do something celestial, all the rage. Every single year, without fail, stars, moons and crescents are incredibly... Um, um, well, significant, if you like. You've seen them a lot in, in jewellery. And that's because of the sentiment that goes to along with it, you know. Uh, you think about exams, it might be if they, somebody does really well in exams or going off to university, or maybe um, you are under the same sky. There's loads of different meanings behind the stars, the moons. Um, hearts and flowers, there's another one. Um, loving this, so really beautiful. Again, you have not zirconia, this is genuine zircon, so a beautiful Mother Nature gemstone. Um, Liam just went, oh, oh, okay, so that price should have been a bit more then. Maybe. Yeah, plus you've got two grams of sterling silver. But it's all good, Liam. You're only here for two days. They're not going to tell you off, are they? Um, 0800 644 Have we got many of these? Ten. Again, I'm thinking, Linda, just a little bit of a crame either side. Yeah, and what I was just thinking, actually, was the spool of sterling silver chain. Nice. Just keep it simple as a bracelet or a necklace, but as a bracelet. It's simple, it's dainty, but it's a big statement still. Lovely. And meaningful as well. It's going to sell out if everybody checks out. So um, Liam says we're moving quickly, so he wants to get through everything. Okay, righto. Oh, these are lovely, Liam. Where have you found all this stuff, Liam? He said, I, I, I genuinely, there's components here I've never seen. He, uh, Liam says, stick with me. He'll get the deals. <laughs> Right, oh, Liam, I'm st <laughs> I'll stick with you. Isn't that beautiful? Very stylized heart. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. I mean, go absolutely again, referring back to finishing um, with those hearts that you had earlier. Yeah, beautiful. You know, and you've got the class to match. It just makes a piece of jewelry okay. so professional. Totally. And you know, sometimes when your necklace is kind of finds its way to the front and yeah. it's like, oh, Normally it's an annoyance, isn't it? You know, for goodness sake, you have to... I wouldn't mind if these were, yeah. because they're actually part... Oh, they've sold out. They're actually part of the design, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Amazing, sold out. Um, amethyst bale with a peg. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I've actually got this. Um, yeah, literally for all your half-drilled pearls or half-drilled gemstones, we're going to be bringing you some amazing pearls later on in the show. Um, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Hold it the right way, Al. Um, so you've got a lovely little round, brilliant cut amethyst in the centre. Um, as you can see, there's a big amount of sterling silver invested into this as well. Just a little bit of your hypersment glue. Wow. One of your half jewel pearls. Leave it overnight. Job done. You've just made some very professional jewellery. Um, $29.99. Awesome. Not today, though. $4.99. Wow. Do you know? And again, it goes back to what Linda was saying. It's the finishing. There's nothing wrong with a little loop wrap loop at the top is that included into place mm -mm. nothing wrong with that but something like this looks even more um uh, looks even more professional um sue said what she's having problems can't see anything on the internet um try refreshing your screen sue because it's on ours so maybe yeah refresh your screen or maybe close it down and then open us back up again um because they are all there look is anybody else having any issues that's all out. Text in if you are, just so we can... Yeah, but Sue, try, try, try turning us off and on again. <laughs> it is, isn't it? 
If it's broken, turn off and on and again. Um, okay, do what, sorry? Signet ring, amazing. So again, for those of you that do soldering, um, but not only that, you don't have to be a silversmith because if you look at the end, you can see they're beautifully finished, wonderful curving. So that could almost be like a, um, an expandable, adjustable, that's the word, adjustable signet ring. Um, all that sterling silver that's invested into this, again, you can stamp on that, you can engrave onto it if you wish. Um, lots and lots and lots of potential with this one. £14 only. Do you know... Uh, you know, children as well. Signet rings are, are, are great for things like christening gifts and things like that, aren't they, Linda? Yeah, definitely. I had a gold signet ring for, I think, it's possibly my second or third birthday. I've still got it, but it won't fit at all now, but it's just a lovely... So adjustable would yeah. work, wouldn't it? Yeah, Because it can grow with What you. I love about this pink silver as well, it's so malleable that you can think outside the box on it. You could turn a loop on either end mm. and put it again into that chain nice. and have it as a, an asymmetric uh, piece of detail. Um, and obviously, if you want it as a ring, then use it around a ring mandrel. Oh, uh, did you hear what Adam just said then? Signet rings are really big with the youths. <laughs> are really big with the... Uh, the youths. For nudes? <laughs> not, <laughs> not nudes. <laughs> the youth. The youths. Youth. Oh, the, the youths. I thought you said with nudes. With nudes. <laughs> I mean, whatever floats your boat at the end of the day. <laughs> whatever tickles your fancy and all that. <laughs> Like Mallory um, Monroe, yes. <laughs> 14 pounds only. For the youths of today, I think, is what Adam <laughs> was referencing. And um, there's only a few of those, so well done. Um, amazing. Shall we do, shall we do, shall we do our first uh, star buy of the day? Shall we? Now, it's brand new. Um, we, uh, listen, <laughs> we shouldn't have it. It's that simple. We shouldn't really have it, but we've got it, so hey-ho. Um, never have I brought this tool to wear before. Never did I actually think it was something... I wouldn't even imagine inventing it, but what a genius idea. So if you are a sea beader, if you're a shibori worker, if, you're a, um, if you do uh, embroidered jewellery making, um, or just, just general threading, you, you use needles, don't you? Well, this might become one of your integral components of your stash. Up next, we have the needle sharpener. So it, it literally looks like a little macaroon, but obviously not edible. Um, and inside, I don't know if you can see, there's like this, what looks like a kind of foam. Um, now, let me explain what this is. So sweet and sharp macaroon, righto. It sounds like, some, like it's edible. It's not edible. Place the needle on the, ma uh, on the magnetic surface without the clover logo, righto. Without the clover logo. So, okay, you put it in there. Yeah? There we go. To sharpen the needle, A, insert the needle into the macaroon, and B, move the needle in a back and forth motion to apply the sharpening feature. That's it. That's it. So, do you ever, how, how often, I, I assume needles do blunt. Yeah, of course they do. I so if you do, you mentioned shibori ribbon, which is silk. Yeah. Now, a blunt needle on shibori or on any form of silk fabric is a no-no. So if you make fabric flowers and things, mm. then um, you're using silk or, or even satin and that. If it's blunt, it's going to be hard work. And it's going to damage it your just, fabric. Yeah, and it? it will pull, yeah. So you ideally need a needle that will glide through. Um. Could we use this with sewing machine needles? I don't see why not. I don't think it doesn't say that it's uh, you know solely for um, for jewelry making. I think this is just needles in general. So yeah, um, I think so. In fact, if you look at this, that's not a beaded ne beading needle, is it? So I think you can use it across all needles, basically. It's like, you, you know, your kitchen knives. Some, mm -hmm. um, um, you can get that tool, can't you, where you pop the knife in and you drag it through and it sharpens your knife. So it's like that, but in, in needle. 
uh, in needles, basically. And I assume once you've got one, you're never going to re uh, need to replace it. It is brand new. As you can tell, we have never had it on air before. So we are literally learning along with you. £12.99. If you work with jewellery, and I suppose if you think about the action that we would do to get gemstones and beads onto your needle, there is a possibility of you blunting them, um, you know, repetition, etc. So, you know, it's literally, it's literally going to, uh, um, yeah, I, I assume, make it easier to, for them to jump on your needle. Uh, now, we should be at £12.99. However, Liam has just gone elsewhere. And he's found it elsewhere on the River website for £10.38. Free delivery. OK. Let's... Only if you're an Amazon customer. Yeah, 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 Prime, yeah. But, yeah, OK. Eight ninety nine today. Wow. How good's that? How good is that? So yeah, we were we were told uh, twelve ninety nine was the price tag. Remember, we weren't meant to have this product, <laughs> but Liam just doesn't care. He's here for two days only, eight ninety nine only. How good! So you could actually have it in your little in your little jewelry making bag, couldn't you? Yeah, I mean these little gadgets again. Don't underestimate them because once you use a little gadget successfully. Mm. Right, then, um, I mean, even for, let's say, if you don't use the silk thread for threading your pearls with the attached needle. Well, pearls, by nature of being a pearl, are normally very, very shallow drilled. And they gather dust, don't they? And they gather dust inside from the drilling process. So, so having a sharp needle will push through? Yeah, sharp needle, definitely. I mean, I love a sharp knife. Yes, I'm me. So, There's yeah. something satisfying about yes, it. Yes, very much. I'm terrible at keeping knives sharp, though. But I'm yeah, me. so yeah, that's you raise a really good point. Like you've got amazing pearls in the twelve o'clock hour. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when you're pushing your needle through and it literally is compacted with pearl dust, that's completely normal, by the way. Um, and it just need, means it might need reaming. Well, a sharp needle is is more likely to just push its way through. What are you doing, Liam? Okay, he's basically said this is this is a completely pointless au uh, auction for us here at Jewelry Maker. Um, what I mean by that is we are a business; we do need to make money. However, we're not making a single sausage on this. It's all it's it's all for you. Um, so yeah, complete rock bottom. I don't even think we well we can't we can't buy it for what's on your screen. Um, I'll leave that with you because it is so low. We can't stay on that for too long. Um, okay, we've got more sterling silver, but don't forget that amazing strand of Hessenite garnet is coming up. Shop ahead, I've price promised it under £10. It would be beautiful alongside both your red and your green. Um, lots of you asking for the amber elephant. Ah, oh, we can do a quick reference now, Liam. How many have we got? 25 of these available. We can do a quick reference to the um, my elephant PowerPoint, just because it's nice to read. I like, I love elephants. I don't think I've met a single person that doesn't. They're such beautiful no, creatures, I mean, aren't it's, they? It's a natural with children, isn't it? Um, my niece is pregnant and um, she's gone with this sort of uh, animal theme, but mm. predominantly elephants. Oh. The little pink elephants are everywhere. They're so beautiful. The cre I mean, the, I've got some facts and I, I won't tell them all because we're going to read this a little bit later on the show, but um, elephants are the largest mammals, um, land mammals, sorry, despite their size, they can still run 25 miles an hour. Fair play. Um, since one of their feet is always on the ground, technically they're actually speed walking. So all of a sudden I've got elephants, like uh, the vision of elephants do, doing that walk. <laughs> you know the ones? Literally, I've got that vision. Um, elephants purr like cats. How lovely. Not only do they communicate through trumpet sounds, snorts, roars, cries and purring, elephants pick up sounds of rumbles with their feet and they can hear communications over long distances through vibrations that come through their feet and um, into their ears. Just fascinating creatures. Absolutely fascinating. And of course, they're so matriarchal. They're just, they've got this amazing, um, amazing sort of bond. You know, um, a, a, a baby elephant or a calf, it's that what they're called, aren't they? Yeah, they're um, I mean, raised elephants. by all of the family yeah elephants are very sort of got very human type of yeah. um action you know as you say little babies which the, the 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 mother and the aunties look after yeah etc et they all stay together so here we go we've just worked this out elephants run faster than usain bolt 
He's 23.3 miles per hour. An elephant can run faster than him. Oh, I mean, there you go. There you it's go. It's pretty scary then, wouldn't it? An <laughs> elephant charging it. Yeah, that. absolutely. Um, I mean, we're at £39.99. Yeah. <laughs> You've got cognac amber, beautiful amber, um, making up the body of the elephant. Um, I have heard that, that an, an upturned trunk is a happy elephant as well. So they put their, their trunk up when they're really happy. So he's a happy little chappy. Look at that lovely detail as well. I could, I could obviously talk to you about this beautiful gemstone. We all love amber. Um, please be mindful though, there is much simulants out there in imitation. This is genuine Baltic amber in that classic cognac color. Those beautiful little inclusions that you see within are wonderful preservations from life from millions upon millions of years ago. Um, and of course it is what we call it, described as an organic gemstone. So created out of um, a living organism. Um, let's go even lower. How many have we got? We've only got 20 of these available. Again, it's, it, 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 everybody loves elephants, I think. We've all got our favourite animals. Elephants have to be up there. If there was a pole run, they've got to be up there. Um, Mick, well done. Anne, Vera, Karen, Angus, Paula, Dorset, congratulations to you. And we often, you know, might have memories of elephants, maybe um, visiting them at some kind of conservation site. I was saying the other day, wasn't I, when we brought you some elephant charms, and I was saying my mum and dad, they went, I can't remember where it was they went, Went on holiday. I think it was Sri Lanka or something like that. Um, and they had a, um, they've had a painting that they'd framed, and it looks quite childlike. And there's a little photograph in the bottom. And it's an elephant painting it. Oh, it lovely! Looks like a little tree. So beautiful. They're going to sell out. Well done. Um, okay, just before the Hessenite. We, uh, okay, Liam says I'm going to squeeze in a lot of auctions. Shall we do some toggles? Yes. I don't know why we've put that in the graphics though. You know, because no, lightweight. They're not lightweight. There's 2.6 grams. Yeah, I said this the first time I brought them to air. That it, yeah, they're, they're not lightweight at all. Um, they're not, that makes out that they're hollow, and they're definitely not hollow. You get two. Um, now, last time these were on air, and it's two toggle class, so great if you struggle with maybe your bolt rings or your lobster claws. Um, last time they were on air, they were 9.99. Today, 6.99. That's £3.50 each. It's not bad, is it? For, for genuine sterling silver. And you get two of them. So again, I'm thinking, Linda, about all the kits that we've got coming up, your beautiful pearls, the amazing jade rounds that we've got coming mm -hmm. up as well. And also, they make, they're a great class for multi-stranding yeah. as well. Yes, yes, because you, you've got lots of anchor points, haven't you? Mm -hmm. um, make sure you do check them out. Fabulous, well done. Um, let's do, oh, yeah, I've got it. This is lovely. I was actually eyeing it up. Um, now, if you've heard of tab setting, even I can do tab setting, so that's speaking, yeah, that's speaking volumes. Um, look at this bracelet. If Elle can do it, anyone can. Yeah, trust me. Um, that, that's, I'm quoting Liam now. I'm quoting Liam. It's fine. It's all good. He's right. If I can do it, anybody can. Um, so what is a tab set? Let me show you. This is a beautiful, complete bracelet. So I'll show you the back in a second. It does come with an extender class. Um, but you have this lovely gallery, as you can see. It's kind of like rubbed over. Do you see that? Um, and underneath, I know it's really tricky to see right now, but you'll, there's, there's, there's little, like, little tabs of precious metal. So when you put your gemstone in, I've just realized I'm holding this the wrong way around. There we go, that way. Um, when you put your gemstone in, that being the top, sort of face down, table down, um, you just cradle these tabs over the pavilion of the gemstone. That's the belly, if you like, and that holds it in place. Genius. It's absolutely genius. And your gemstone setting. It is a complete bracelet. Again, let me show you the reverse. You've got the extender chain there and the bolt ring clasp as well. Um, we should be at £29.99. Um, so, yeah, obviously you're going to need to get um, a heart cut gemstone that will go alongside. They're four millimetres. We bring you those quite frequently in actual fact. So, or they may even be available on the website. Um, so get the coordinating calibrated stone. This might, you might already have it and you've just been waiting for the perfect piece um, to actually set it within. Today we are going to go extraordinarily low, says Liam, like ridiculous low. We've got 60 available. He says not 14.99, not even 9.99, not even 8.99, not even 7.99 says Liam. Start dialing through. R Liam, that are you sure? He says I'm not I'm feeling naughty. It's feeling naughty today. Liam, it is a bracelet. Do you know you could just wear it as is. You don't actually have to put a gemstone in there at all, do you? 
Or you, or, or here's an idea, going back to resin, how about putting a little tiny little, photograph in there exactly, with a bit of resin yeah, over the top? Exactly, that's, that's easy. I mean, if you put that little, um, that little heart onto some double-sided tape, yeah. so that the tape is stuck to a surface and then you've still got a sticky side up, uppermost, put the chain down flat with that heart shape, very flat, so that the edges are sealed by the tape, and then just drop with a little pipette or the end of a cocktail stick, drop in the resin or How nice you know, would that um, be? a little clear resin and then you can pop a tiny photograph and then top Oh, I love that idea. Again. I love the idea. Yeah, just put a little photograph of, of a loved one into there. Um, you know, it's a, bit more, it's a bit more petite, if you like, than a, than a locket. It's, it's absolutely beautiful for what we call memory jewellery. Yes. Yeah, they, they, there's something that's trendy on um, Facebook at the moment where it's kind of like a macrame bracelet and it's like a little round bead. But when you actually look closely into the bead, hold it up to the light, you actually see the photograph inside. Mm -hmm. So really, really clever. But you could do a version of that. Keep dialing through again. Tons of you there. Well over half the stock has gone on those. Um, let's do what? Sorry. <coughs> Rose gold. No. Rose gold bead chain. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's a, it's a rose gold plated 925 sterling silver chain. Literally a chain. Um, oh, okay. So I'm assuming that this is going to... Oh, it's beautiful. Like the Elsa Peretti inspiration where you have those lovely little, you know, stationed beads. Um, absolutely perfect. So again, if you're loving the elephant that's just here, if you're loving this little elephant, um, this will be perfect. Dan's, gorgeous Dan's just passing it in. Thanks, gorgeous Dan. Thanks He's back off his, 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 his weekend off. Do you have a nice weekend? Yeah, London. Into London? Yeah, nice. Sure Do anything? A few beers, yeah, nice, lovely, sounds good. Um, right, last time this was on air, it was on air at 19.99. I don't call this a chain. For me, this is a necklace. You know, those little stations as well, whilst they're very decorative, they're also very functional, aren't they, Linda? Because they will help your, your pendant stay You've just put. got the right gaps. Yes. Yeah. So if you, if you get frustrated by a pendant that you love literally working its way around, these little stations can have a functional side to them as well. Last on air... Did you say last on there at 9.99? And today 4.99. Wow. You know that anything rose gold plated or yellow gold plated should be more than a sterling silver because you've got double the precious metal effectively. Um, not, uh, 4 99 amazing. Victoria, well done uh, stocking up her stash. Well done, you've got five. Jan, Jenny, Cardiff, hello to you. Norma, Angus. Oh, Cardiff, I'm down with you on Saturday. I'm coming down to Cardiff this Saturday for Disney on Ice. Taking the girls to Disney on oh, ice. Oh, lovely. I know, it'll be nice. Wow. We'll be lovely. They're very excited. So, and nice we go back to Cardiff as well. Um, Antoinette, hello to you, Victoria. Hello to you, Maya and Powers. Nice to see you as well. How beautiful. How many did we have? Uh, Only 38. Okay, we're under 20 now in terms of quantity. So um, Liam's just catching up on the quantity. That's it. Liam, yeah, things don't hang around here at Jewelry Maker. Super, super duper busy. I bet you've, I bet you've missed it, haven't you? You've missed the jewellery maker family. You don't have to sound like you're being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I don't take you seriously now. Have you actually missed us? That's all right, then. That's good, because we've missed you too, um, especially Adam. Yeah, I mean, he's very missable, isn't he? Yes, I, I get that. Um, Antoinette, well done, getting four. Victoria's getting five, uh, ten, sorry. Sorry's got five. Well done, actually, on the cloak verge of selling it. Amazing. Um, <clears throat> shall we do... Oh, I have it so beautiful, Liam, this. Um, honestly, you've actually got two of the original jades here, um, um, and I don't want that to mislead you. Once upon a time, turquoise was, was referred to historically actually as a type of jade. It came, you know, gemologically, that's not, that's not true. It is a completely different gemstone. But, um, yeah, one of the original jades. So in terms of the history, I'm just going to borrow this spool for one second just to show you, just to show you how beautiful it would be on a finished piece. Um, yeah, I mean, this is type A black jade eye. It's the oldest for, uh, color of jade eye. It takes three times longer to form black jade eye than any other color. So what that basically means, it, it has transitioned through your lavenders, through your whites, through your reds, through your, um, your greens, your imperial greens, um, to this amazing inky black. Um, yeah, it takes, it takes three times as long and it forms 
forms in far, far, far smaller sizes. Here in the West, we refer to it as um, piano black um, or imperial black. And it's where you have that wonderful intense, it should look, literally look, look, look like silk. Um, this is not dyed, not impregnated with any polymer. It is all completely and utterly natural. Now we should be bringing this to you um, at 99.99. That's where we should be. You've got your beautiful colorless topaz surrounding. Um, you've got amazing turquoise. I mean, look at that, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Um, just pop that on a chain. You know, this is legacy jewellery. We talk about it all the time. Beautiful legacy uh, jewellery. And at £29.99. Um, plus, you know, adding to the rarity of this, this is one of the few ever black Guatemalan jades that we've brought to air. Normally we find uh, we'll see black jade, if at all, but um, from... from Burma. Um, this is not Burmese. This is a Guatemalan. So we're used to seeing uh, Guatemalan jade in more like the old neck blues and maybe the greens and yellows. Exceedingly rare. Exceedingly rare. So not only have you got the black jadeite story, the fact this is totally and utterly natural, you've also got that added excitement in the fact that it is the lost treasure of Guatemala. £29.99. pence. Amazing. Well done. Um, somebody's just asked for the dragonfly pendant. Okay. Set of two. I don't see a dragonfly. Oh, I do. Yes, I do. Sorry. Sorry, Liam. No, it's because they're rose gold. I was looking for silver. That's what it is. Oh, they're sweet. They've got to be one of the most beautiful insects, I think, on our planet, dragonflies. And the fact you can hear them, you know. No. They can, they can bite. Dragonflies, I've been bitten by a dragonfly. Um, and, yeah, they do. I was literally laying on a lilo. Next thing, ow! <laughs> <laughs> We've got a pond in our garden, and um, from late spring onwards, there's loads of these iridescent, oh. you know, the shiller of Labradorite blue Beautiful. across the pond. They're gorgeous. They are stunning, aren't they? Mm. And I'm sure very meaningful as well in, in, in terms mm. of, um, you know, we talk about it a lot, don't we, the history of the gemstone. We will be um, history of carvings, you know, say deers we've, discu we've, uh, we've, we've, we've discussed, um, elephants we will be a little bit later on, dragonflies likewise, 12 99 and that does get you the two. They are beautiful little pendants. Well, they're iconic cards. really, aren't they? You get dragonflies in, in things like, um, it's such a, What's the word? An image that transposes itself through fabrics, wallpapers, yeah. jewellery, yeah. um, all sorts of things. It's really iconic. What I love about this strip, this is a stylized yeah. dragonfly, which I think is perfect for jewellery. Yeah, absolutely. Just perfect. Just elegant, aren't they? They're yeah. on the verge of selling out. Well done. Um, amazing. I do have a really beautiful class coming up next. Now, again, oh, my goodness. Firstly, you've got the most beautiful topaz um, in the centre, 925 sterling silver. But I'm going to tell you, Linda's kits at 12 o'clock today are, are absolutely incredible. And if you're a fan of the multi-row, say your jades, for example, as well, or your Herkimer quartz that's coming up a bit later on, yeah, I mean, how perfect would this be with multi-strands of pearls and maybe mixing up some black spinel? Um, so you've got there, I know our graphics say otherwise, but that, that's the sky blue topaz. Um, and then you've got the white topaz all the way around as well. Um, triple row. Yeah, this is white topaz, but this is a sky blue topaz in the centre there. Look how beautiful that emerald cut is. Um, what this basically is right now, Jura makes is a beautiful connector. So just for adding those little additions, those flourishes that take your jewellery from, from something that is definitely beautiful Absolutely. to something that is remarkable. I mean, it's, again, it's, it's like a vintage look. Is this very deco or um, even Victorian? You know, they used to embrace gemstone and pearls with clasps like this yeah you, know, you can go to estate sales can't you yeah. you'll often find connectors and clasps just like this it's not yeah because it's one of those that if you set asymmetrically just to, mm. just to i don't know create a gathering or a swag or a sway yeah or you, you can actually have them symmetric if you have oh, two beautiful. one on each side or as earrings again with the chain dropping lovely 24.99 well done stay where you are on the phone lines for that one um, it is time, though, for your early birds. Super excited about this opportunity. 
I adore the Garnet family. I love talking about Garnets because, you know, probably because I think back when I started my gemstone career, I always just think, yeah, Garnet Red, you know, and I didn't really have, I didn't definitely didn't have the knowledge that I do now, thanks to ultimately Gemporia. Um, so I, I, I didn't realise that you could get the most amazing greens. I didn't realise you can get colour change varieties. And I certainly didn't realise that it came in this beautiful cinnamon tone. Hessonite Garnet, full of refraction and of course always natural colour up next at an unbelievable early bird price something that will go absolutely beautiful with so many of your opportunities coming up in today's show you know the jade the pearls um the red jadeite that we've got coming up don't miss out the herkimer absolutely they bask in sunlight this is the thing i'm going to be showing you a gemstone in the studio that will look absolutely beautiful but wait until you see it in natural sunlight it's your early bird and it's up next Adore, adore, adore this strand. So of all your garnet family, whether we're discussing your Zavarites, whether we're discussing your Demantoid, whether we're discussing your Rhodonite garnet, whichever it might be, one of the things that the garnet family is blessed with is refraction. Now cast your mind back to when we were in school and we used to do that in, in science, you used to put the straw in a glass of water and you'd see it bend, yeah? That's basically refraction. Yeah, your Bunsen burners, remember those? Um, anyway, uh, but that's refraction where you actually see that light literally bend because water is refractive. But the garnet family is one of the most refractive. So what that basically, it bends light in, in ways that many other gemstones can't compete. And the reason why I'm telling you about that is because when you're not going to see pleochrosum, you're not going to see uh, triochrosum. So this is uh, actually has what we call a cubic crystal structure. So like your diamonds. But a gemstone's ability to play with light, quite literally, can take it to a whole other stratosphere, especially when you see it in natural light so when you take it outside in the summer and the spring months that we've got around the corner I mean this is going to look absolutely divine but imagine this alongside and, and, and garnet can absolutely be I totally believe this can absolutely be that the headline gemstone um, and it certainly was when I was in Tucson last year but think how beautifully this is going to work with the multitude of gems you might have in your stash think about how beautifully this is going to look with your red jade think how beautifully this is going to look with your green think how amazing this is going going to look with the the big rounds that we've got coming up you know just little little details just one if you like on the top or in between some gemstones even beyond that though these are cut into your sort of flat squares we're technically looking at the the shallowest side so actually when you take these off the strand and Linda I can almost imagine this is what's running through your head right now and you turn them into things like bubble styles Definitely, yeah. So Definitely. you've actually got that sort of large square face mm -hmm. up. Now, we've made a price promise on this. But Liam says, oh, actually, ignore that. She says, because we've said under 10. And he doesn't say, it doesn't mean 9.99. So use this time wisely. How many do we have? 200. And we are going to price these to sell out today. Hessonite Garnet has got another amazing talent. You know, lots of gemstones of talent. Kunzite can uh, uh, retain light, so it continues to glow, even under the most subtle and uh, subdued of light conditions. Hessonite Garnet, have, if you're a whiskey drinker, you'll know what, I mean, I'm not a whiskey drinker, my husband is though. And if you add a little touch of water to your whiskey, you'll have seen that swirling. They call it treacling, effectively, um, in a gemstone. Hessonite Garnet has that ability. And I know as it's placed across the back of my hand, you can't see that, but when you get it home, when you see it in natural sunlight you'll see that beautiful effect expect this really lovely quite warm cinnamon color you know delicious in terms of its appearance and it's all totally natural your early bird there's 200 of them available just imagine little little touches of warmth in a genuine gemstone We've promised it under ten pounds, and again, just to, you know, for those of you, uh, for those of you that that that, that, that uh, um, would be interested, this is one of those stones that literally, or it was the stone that our founder on Earth was. I, I don't know how true that is. It was a rumor I heard that this was the gemstone that Steve on Earth with his own two hands and perhaps sparked the jewelry maker that we know today. 
Now, you know it's going under £10, so straight away, £9.99. Natural Hessonite garnet, your cinnamon stone, warm, delicious, amazing for accenting. Imagine it in the pearls. Imagine it with something, I don't know, like turquoise. There's absolutely no gemstone known to man that will not work beautifully with absolutely. Hessonite because of that sort of subdued vibrance. It's, it, it, it's, like a, it's almost like a fire opal, isn't it? It's got that yeah. warm tone. Yeah, I mean, even with something like black onyx and that, it all Lovely. Just, woof, Absolutely. Know. We're at 9 99 We've got people multi-buying. Well done. Mandy, Hilda, Susan, Helen, Victoria, Essex, Brenda, Patricia and Lynn. Amazing. Totally and utterly natural. You're not getting a small carrot weight here. You know, 50 carats of Hessonite garnet. Um, use this time wisely because I think re Liam's got that, I don't know, he's just got that little tone to his voice. You know, it's like there's an element of naughtiness in there, you know. He says, I'm still undecided just how naughty I'm going to be. So I tell you, OK, fair enough. You can encourage him, though. So if there's more of you on the web and on the phone lines, I reckon, yeah, you've got 37 seconds to do it, the lower he'll go. We've got 200 of these available. You know, we don't see Hessonite garnet very often, and when we do, it's never in a showcase, is it? And, and that's not because we wouldn't want to do a showcase of Hessonite garnet. Of course, we absolutely would. Um, but it's because Mother Nature doesn't earth, unearth uh, um, you know, huge quantities of this beautiful gemstone. It's so distinctive. There are very few gemstones that you can actually compare to Hessonite garnet. I said earlier on about your fire opal. Well, fire opal doesn't have the refraction that Hessonite does. It's still beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't refract in the same way. It's warm. My only, the only thing that's bothering me right now is the fact that you're not seeing what I'm seeing here in the studio. And that is quite often the case. I tell you what then we'll get frankly do a giveaway deal for you at five pound 78 wow. get this home use that 30 day money back guarantee wisely and if you disagree with anything that i have said then simply send it back to us not a problem whatsoever it's gorgeous though in its tone and again i you know um yesterday i spent a bit of time out in the garden the girls were pottering around and you could honestly it's like tiggy it's too, she's been a caged animal and she was desperate to get outside so and it was lovely because it was warm it was spring light i had to have a coat so on. you know imagine this um imagine this um in the it, when it's really warm and you can see all of that gorgeous color um who said that sorry liam angela says can we have a liam's liam's back price i, I think she's i think i think liam you've definitely delivered on that he's back he is back five pound 78 two days only though Two days only. Half the stock's gone. We only have 100 left. Well done. Twos, threes, fours, fives. Amazing. Congratulations. Do stay where you are. We've still got so much to bring you. Coming up after the break, we've got some gorgeous kits with Linda. We've got gorgeous pearls. We've got some nuggets. We've got um, your amazing jades. Honestly, the jades today are just unbelievable. You've got your beautiful carved elephant just here. He's being launched and he's going to sell out. I'm certain of that. Um, at a type A jade, you've got your beautiful natural red jadeite uh, rondelles that are launching today. You've got the amazing, most amazing rounds and for the first time ever, 19 millimeter, yes, round type A jade. So this is a show not to miss. Um, I'm going to make my way over to gorgeous Linda. Join us after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. My name's Yvonne Froelich and I'm from Somerset uh, and I'm part of the competition for Britain's Next Gem. A friend introduced me to Jewelry Maker and at that time I was 
um, playing about with beads and well in fact I tried it all um, from polymer clay to macrame to comahimo to everything and then I said to my husband look I've seen this workshop that's come up and it was a 10 week uh, silversmithing course and that was how it started and onwards and upwards from then on so be careful it is addictive. I entered this competition simply because I saw the um, the advert and then I thought well why not so I sent in my application and I was invited along with others um, to Jewelry Maker for the first audition and that's where it all started then we were asked to come back the second time we were met by staff when we got there and everyone was so friendly they put us at ease um, we were given bits and pieces we were able to decide what we were going to make and then we went into the studio which was all very scary and we were interviewed we met uh, Hannah Osborne was uh, looking after us and asking us questions and we were working away uh, and we were with Elle that day and um, yeah so that was our, our first um, flavour of being on screen. My collection stems from a piece that I took with me to the first audition. It's where I set a stone in a bezel, then I drill a bigger stone uh, and set that inside and set the bottom stone again in another bezel. One of the other things I like to do, as well as setting stone on stone, is when I set a cabochon into a bezel, I like to cut out a pattern on the back so that um, it's interesting from the back and the front. I get my inspiration from quite a number of places. Um, mostly is because I like learning new techniques. Um, since I've started jewellery making, I've got this thirst for learning new things. It's what keeps me going, it's what keeps driving me. And every time I learn a new technique, then I get new ideas. It would be, mean the world to me if the viewers voted for me. Um, it would be a dream come true. I hope that the, I might inspire other people who have been watching Jewellery Maker and watching people doing their silversmithing, making their jewellery, even making a business out of it, but they're on the telly and I can't possibly do that. I'd like to tell you that actually you can, so please vote for me, I'd be absolutely delighted. Today. Yes, I think I'm a little bit muted. To you, muted. I mean, this is so gearish. Oh no, I think it's gorgeous. I, I, I like. Yeah, every so often I'll, I'll dust it off. It's one of those you can't wear very often, can you? Because it's a go down the treat. Do you know um, our lovely John Scott? I think would would approve of this because mm. he likes he likes he likes a loud top, doesn't he? <laughs> um, oh, gorgeous Linda. I'm so excited to have you in the studio again. Oh, thank you. It's oh, we, we, move on. we do. Oh yes. Oh, I forgot oh, about I, that. I'll throw it on the floor. Throw it on the floor. Linda always brings me treats. Bless her. It's on the floor now. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, peck of dirt and all that. Um, and how lovely to see sort of your traditional kits. Yeah, exactly. With a difference, because actually, check out the findings pack. Findings pack. Finding packs. <laughs> Check those out. Have we ever had black findings before? I was trying to think that when I got the kits at home. I thought, well, I haven't. I don't think I, I have either. How lovely are these? So you've got the black chain. Now they're coming up in one auction. We've got four different kits, four different colorways. Can we shop? Can we shop ahead on these? Come on, then. Yeah, says Liam. Let's do Ooh. it. <laughs> he went all squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> He's excitable. Um, yeah, three of the kits have got the black findings. One's got the silver. Um, and obviously, you've got your different gemstones. But just, oh, I've left it over there, haven't I, Liam? 
You've left a necklace over there, sorry. Um, but first, to start this hour, we have got the most beautiful necklace. And you know that everywhere at the moment, it's not just us here at Gemporia and, and Jewelry Maker, obviously, that are inspired by the wonderful Le Maison, that is Van Cleef and Arpels, um, and bringing our own interpretation of that beautiful design. But there's great sentiment behind the Alhambra, as it is so uh, internationally, globally known. This is coming up as a star buy. Let me check it out. It's a beautiful lariat style with that wonderful four-leaf clover uh, motif both on let me turn that round um, on the actual lariat and also that beautiful pendant now I know that we have only got a limited quantity of these though there's 68 opportunities it has been one of our uh, most popular designs it's up next as a star buy <laughs> okay now um amazing i've spoken about this and i've shown this presentation to you before and these aren't my words obviously this is literally taken from um the wonderful jewelers uh steeped in history they refer to themselves as le maison there we go yeah i was reading about them and unfortunately you see what goes into my head these days quite often escapes um, oh i mine, yeah as well but I was reading something about there was a lady. There was a lady. Well, I can't remember. She was a Van Cleef, I think, the lady mm -hmm. that started the business mm -hmm. uh, back in the eighteen hundreds, and it's retained its family. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the nephew. Uh, well, well. Actually, briefly, this will talk about oh, that. Good, actually, it's, the, it's actually the nephew who dis, uh, who actually came up with the idea of the four leaf clover. Um, a value dear to the maison. Luck has been a, a perennial guiding light for Van Cleef and Arpels, inspiring some of its most iconic creations. Four leaf clover motifs first appeared in the maison's archives as of the 1920s, embellishing select creations over the years alongside other symbols of good fortune, including wooden talismans, charms, and benevolent fairies. Jack Sarpel, nephew of the founding couple, an avid collector, would often pick four-leaf clovers in his backyard, offering them to his employees as a good luck charm. That's a lovely story, isn't it? It is beautiful. Yeah, it is, it is yes. beautiful. And he used to say this, to be lucky, you must believe in luck. Nephew of Estelle Arpels, there we go, um, like, uh, uh, like to say, an avid collector who would pick the four-leaf clovers in the back of his yard in his house in Germany, uh, sorry, uh, Jim, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> offering them to his employees along with an English poem, Don't Quit. So, nice. how do you? I love that. that. That sort of backstory speaks loudly, doesn't it? It does. About, it a, does. about a company that is still as involved today as it was. And in still everywhere as well. If you, I mean, the, these aren't inexpensive pieces of jewellery. They are quite, you know, quite the investment. But if you look at all the celebrities, which I'll show you in a few moments' time, you know, everywhere, you know, loads of the celebrities are actually, uh, are actually sort of draped in beautiful Alhambra's mm. inspires. Um, so, yeah, to be, let's, let's skip that one. Um, and here the original sketch so that was the inspiration behind the four leaf clover as you can see it's obviously gemstone set and you've got some beautiful beadwork there as well um, but it hasn't really changed in terms of the actual overall motif moving on that's in 1948 over the years the Alhambra collection has introduced new aesthetics to its offerings each providing an imaginative interpretation of the iconic mo motif so dear to Van Cleef and Arpels vintage Alhambra pieces which reflect the collection's original aesthetic are complemented by elegant variations of motif symbols colors and sizes faithful to the first alhambra long line necklace created in 1968 vintage alhambra pieces stand out for their uh, i can never say this word eminently i can't say it I sound, eminently. I sound like an eminy when i say that <laughs> eminently thank you recognizable styles the identical and identical in size each motif is edged in golden beads and are set with natural and refined materials boldly asymmetric magic alhambra creations features a harm harmonious combination of shapes and materials from carnelian to tiger's eye white gray mother of pearl um white gold and diamonds these motifs um are interpreted in playful var a variety of sizes 
prizes. So this is something that is literally a hundred years old in terms of the idea, the sentiment of the four leaf clover. And if you pop onto the website, and I'm just going to flick through these, you can see some really beautiful drawing uh, photographs. There's all different designs. You can get the single pendant, you can get the rings with a diamond in the center. Um, those beautiful bracelets just here. Um, <coughs> these are the mother of pearl. I think my favourite is the malachite one. Yes, I love the malachite one too. That's agate. It's not. It's not turquoise. That's actually an agate Beautiful necklace, though, but uh, bracelet rather. And they're not. You know, they're not inexpensive. I mean, for the for the earrings, you're talking about two thousand um, pounds. So yes, I mean, along with many other jewellery houses out there, we have been inspired by the likes of uh, Van Cleef and Arpels and that wonderful four leaf clover, because there's obviously an immediate message straight away. Instead of just bringing you just a traditional traditional single chain with one single motif this is lariat so you've got that really lovely movement and if I can just hold on I'll show you it's kind of you can adjust it so that the actual top go uh, the actual motif at starts at the nape of the neckline um, or you can wear it sort of uh, um, extended so beautiful so delicate as well all that craftsmanship diamond cut two and a half grams of sterling silver so precious metal you've got your beautiful embellished um, lariat at the bottom and then you've got that wonderful symbolic four leaf clover design be warned though these are extra limited we've got just 68 of these remaining um, I, you know if you want to spend three thousand pounds six and a half thousand look at that one the magic alhambra long necklace one motif six thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds just for the one and i'm not i know that's 18 karat gold but you know that's an expense you know that's a significant amount of money isn't it we're at 24 pounds and 99 pence and straight away lots of you are getting involved as well um we're not stopping there we got had 68 at the very beginning of this auction Liam says, I've got two days, that's it, and he wants to make a lasting impression. Oh, I'm sure you will do that, Liam. He says he wants you to remember him so that when he does come back... <laughs> He's not easily forgettable, is he? No, not really. You can't forget... No, that's true. We couldn't forget you. Know what you, I Liam. like, Ella, about, about this is it's, it's so... Uh... <laughs> not about Liam, no. No? It's so... Um, in... In the fashion world, you know, you get high fashion, you get high jewellery. And the high fashion and the high jewellery opens itself out to, I'd like to say, copies in inverted commas, or inspiration. Yeah. And as soon as a celebrity or a royal, like, you know, the Princess of Wales, Catherine. Absolutely. Uh, as soon as she wears a certain gown or, or a piece of clothing or even a, a piece of jewellery, you immediately flood to the high street. Absolutely. So this is the same sort of thing. It's just an, it's inspired by... <gasps> And, but it's affordable. A fraction of the cost. You are still getting luxury 925 sterling silver, you know? It's such an exquisite piece of jewellery, isn't it? It is. It's I elegant. Mean, it's just I know if I bought that for my daughter, she'd be over the yeah, moon. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, let's just flick through the Alhambra. We've got, you know, uh, Romy Schneider, here we go, in 1973, wearing her Alhambra long line necklace. Uh, Francois Hardy, there we go, wearing two um, Alhambra uh, necklaces. Um, you've got Her Royal Princess Highness Grace. Princess Grace of Monaco um, and we've got her granddaughter I think it is um, I think it's her granddaughter yes and she's actually out of Van Cleef and Arpel's event as you can see um, here we go we've got the footballer Alex Jones um, is it Alex Jones? I think so Scott, she, Scott yeah. um, Alex Scott wearing her Van Cleef and Arpel's um, you have Heidi Klum Heidi Klum wearing her Alhambra as well and we have, there you there, go, yeah. Princess of Wales wearing, uh, absolutely beautiful. She always looks amazing, doesn't she? And lastly, I think, oh no, not lastly, because there's Mariah Carey as well. Mariah Carey, positively dripping in her Van Cleef, isn't she? Lastly though, no, not lastly. <laughs> You've got Adele, 
You've got Adele there wearing the bracelet, and this is Ruth with, with a spoon, of course, who I think is totally rocking that look. But again, that is the last one. That's what I was looking for, yeah. Um, they're so beautiful, aren't they? I mean, whether you layer them up or something really simple and delicate like this, it's a twist, a version on the Van Cleef and Arpels inspiration. All that sentiment and meaning. Loads of you getting involved. I've got about, oh, we're in the, we've only got, we're in the teens, basically, um, in terms of quantity. How beautiful. Stay where you are, make sure you do check out your baskets. Okay, shall we dive into these amazing kits? Look at Linda's beautiful jewellery, as always, not surprised in the slightest, and the amount that you can create from these gorgeous kits. Now, we are going to start with the black spinel kit, mm -hmm. because that is very popular on pre-order. I'm not surprised. We've been shouted at by Brian. By Brian. Oh, oh nice. Mary's shouting oh. at the telly saying we have had there black findings. Because she's got some. I apologise, yeah. Mary, I haven't seen them. Or, or maybe I've... thing is, I might have slept since then. I hope you have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Liam's like, well, you are getting on a little bit. It's true, it is true. Well, um, I personally have not had them. Nor me. Before. I don't remember them. I remember them being in, like, antique bronze. Mm hmm I don't remember. I remember having the black wire. Mm -hmm. I remember that. So I, I apologise, Mary. Thank you, Brian, for pulling me up on that one. Now, um, so firstly, shouted at me, naughty Al. Um, look, you get your lovely little uh, threading pack, which we don't see every single day. These used to be every, every, every kit they used to be part of, didn't they? Mm -hmm. um, so you've got your monofilament, your beading thread and your elastic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely everything you need to thread a piece of jewellery. Then you've got... You're absolutely beautiful. Black findings. I love them. And I'm also trying to think it's outside, outside of jewellery maker if we've ever done, if we've ever done, if you, how often do you see black findings? No, you don't. Again, it's an attention to detail type of thing. I mean, particularly with the black spinel, it just, it's a marriage made in heaven, isn't it? Isn't it just? So 21 pieces in this finding pack. So you've got your jump rings, your crimps, you've got your toggle clasps, you've got your shepherd hooks, you've got your chain, you've got your head pins. And you've got your beautiful gemstones as well. So 180 carats of iolite. So um, in a 60 inch strand. So it's one of our endless strands. Plus, I love this. Do you remember us doing this, Liam, when, um, oh, am I meant to have two? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, Liam says I haven't priced this, this is two. Uh, but you can be forgiven, Liam, you know, you're only here for two days, it's all good. Um, do you remember us launching this strand, Liam, back in the day? Yeah, like 700 of them flew out the door and we were t showing like, uh, um, I've just gone blank, I've gone blank, first lady, previous first lady, Michelle Obama, there we go. Michelle Obama was wearing this lovely multi-layered uh, black spinel necklace. Doesn't it uh, work beautifully with that eye light? I mean, it really is stormy as the, uh, as the, oh, as the kit is it's called. It's gorgeous. But you know, black spinel chips are as pretty as polished black spinel and faceted black spinel. I mean, just look at the performance from those gems. It's stunning. Well, look at this. Showed a few more celebrities. Jennifer Aniston. Just one single racy strand. Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And actually quite an Alhambra inspired necklace yep, as well. Absolutely. Um, I think this is one of our jewellery makers creations, this amazing piece. Mm -hmm. Isn't that lovely? So triple row or maybe something like this. Or something like this. Look at that, £1,300. That's off first dibs. Or this, £1,161. I love that. With just little pops of, of uh, chrysoprase in, in between. So I mean, you, could, you could put the, uh, the jade in. Look oh, how well the jade yes. would sit with this kit. And that's beaded jewellery, the same as what we create mm -hmm. here on a daily basis, Definitely. a jewellery maker. Now, we should be, for three of your endless strands, because they're 60 inches each, for the mini threading pack, for the black findings as well, should be at 29 99 That's what Liam's been told, but you know, you know as well as I do, he's not going to stop there. He's not going to do as he's told. He doesn't do that, does he? No. no. I don't think any of us do. I, I, I do reckon that they must despair, the powers that be. Roll their eyes, oh. Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake, they never do as they're told. It's that lot on again. Yeah, for goodness sake. 
Oh, wow. that is weight. That is considerably lower though, Liam. For two strands, two 60 inch strands of natural black spinel, full of luster. And then that wonderful, you said it's stormy, mm. beautiful indigo blue that comes from natural iolite. Plus you get your threading material and you get your black findings. There is one problem. Oh, hmm. There's not a huge quantity of them. If you're loving these black findings, then don't worry. We've got the black findings with two of the other kits as well. Obviously, different gemstones. Um, but what a great deal. We've taken a whole £10 off what, what should have been our should-be price. Uh, Manchester, Antoinette, Pearl, Caroline, Jacqueline, Hello to you, Sorry, Nicola, Maker, Maker, Claire, Dorothy, Valentina, Joanne, Wendy, Angus, Hello to you, London, Dorset, you're there as well. Is this something, though, um, is this something, though, Linda, if I'm brand new to Jewelry Maker? As we said, we had, uh, was it Ruth in in um, in in Redditch um, that was saying she's brand new to jewelry making um, or jewelry makers. She didn't say specifically jewelry making, but is this going to benefit somebody that is new? Definitely, and it's a double whammy actually. Um, what I love about chips and nuggets because of their affordability is it's a fabulous introduction to specific gemstones. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's got the the chips and nuggets have as much about them as you know the rounds or any of the shaped gemstones um but they just create such beautiful flowing jewelry and they open the box to your own personal creativity and um, plus you said before the break uh, or during the break sorry you were saying that chips and nuggets are quite expensive these days they are. For us. that's why you don't they see are. as much here at jewelry maker it's a, it's a supply and demand yeah thing they're expensive the to demand buy demand is huge for chips and nuggets i can see why though it's the textures that you get now how about two strands not just one of your sakota emerald natural sakota emerald it's got this amazing glow about it. this wonderful vivacity of color still not done because this kit also includes not just a pair of tassels, <laughs> opal. Doesn't that work beautifully? And another, another strand of opal. That, I mean, the gemstones just keep on coming, don't they? Yeah. So you've got four strands. That's super. Uh, your Sakota emeralds are 34 inches each and your Australian opal are 83, so you've got just under a metre on both of those strands. There are masses. Do you know this one's going to really appeal to as well? Those, those of you that love to do the Tree of Life sculptures, I yeah, think that would absolutely. be absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. And, and, and you are getting, obviously, your black findings pack, plus you're getting your threading, um, your threading pack as well. How amazing is that? 19.99. But how many have we got, Liam? Oh, it's limited. There's only 40 opportunities. They are all very limited. Do have a little look on the website and you can shop ahead and pre-order and guarantee your success. Don't leave it in your basket. For, for the gemstones alone? No, look, look, can we just... Hold up a minute, Liam. I've just had a moment, a moment of realisation. I'm not sure you're aware of this and I don't think it's quite registered with you just yet. Are you worried? Um, no, that's four strands. They're not far off a metre each. You've done those for five pounds each without the threading pack and the emerald and opal i mean absolutely it's so impressive isn't it you hold those strands up and you look at the price of this particular kit and then you say scota emerald and australian opal it doesn't really make that much sense no it's not like no disrespect it's not a quartzite no exactly it's not a jasper which is more abundant it's still a beautiful gemstone but they are more abundant is my point exactly you know, these aren't man-made glass or crystal. These are genuine gemstones that have been unearthed from the ground. And and I'm often asked the question, what's the difference between a chip and a nugget? A nugget um, is sort of alluvial, if you like. So they're found in that shape. Whereas a chip will have literally been cut off a calibrated stone. So you've got unbelievable quality. Um, OK, let's move on because... Let's do the last one with the black findings. That makes sense because I've got them all laid out here. Um, I think this one's going to absolutely fly. There's only 23, though. Lapis lazuli. It's stunning, isn't it? Big lapis lazuli. We haven't called these chips, have we? We have. We have, yeah. They're not... They, they were... How do we describe them? Slices. We used to call them teeth. I'm glad we're not doing that. Yeah, I'm glad that we're not doing that anymore. No. Teeth is dreadful. Um, but then you've also got, in addition, 
So much appetite, I can't untangle it's it. It's a green appetite. One of the rarer colours. Yeah. I love green appetite. Doesn't that work well with the lapis? Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, green appetite for me is almost like if 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 Peridot met mm. uh, Zavarite uh, garnet. Yes. Yeah, you've got that really beautiful colour, and it's not coming across on your screens as well as I'd hope. Get this home. The the, the natural green appetite literally glows. Thirty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Plus you get your findings pack. Plus you get your uh, black findings as well uh, sorry your threading pack plus you get your findings back in the black um this is called earthy chips <laughs> okay <laughs> that's like a spud <laughs> it is <laughs> yeah yeah that could be that could be like a packet of crisps couldn't it yeah yep, start your brand 19.99 but clearly we should be more you've got four strands of beautiful gemstones here your lapis lazuli and then your uh, beautiful green appetite isle of man well done sue west midlands dorset lorna well done keep on dialing through everybody um I've, i'm picking up the pace i'm just moving on so we can um obviously give our lovely Linda, um, the time she deserves. The last of the kits is, oh, this is called Clear Skies, something we're all looking forward to, aren't we? Certainly are. Here we go. You've got your amazing, amazing shepherd hooks, your head pins, your, your jump rings, and... Your crimps, you've got all your essentials, haven't you? The only thing I, well, is a threat is a needle, I guess. That's all I need. Well, uh, yeah. And yeah, but then you see the thread, the actually sta the actual stainless steel thread in the threading pack will work as a needle. You don't need it, do you? No, no. This appetite is absolutely beautiful. It is. It's got so much sort of and there's loads silver flashes going through it. Again, two strands. 60 inches on each strand. Look at that colour, even from that distance. And I'm wearing quite loud colours today, aren't I? But look how beautiful. I love this. It's a vision of spring. Now, this kit should be higher. It should, be cost, it should cost ever so slightly more because appetite, the average carrot weight of appetite is 0 0.1, 0 0.15. So it forms in almost granular-like sizes. And yet you've got 60 inches times two. L Linda, that's absolutely beautiful, that necklace. It is. It's isn't very spring-like, isn't yeah. it? Absolutely beautiful. I mean, the thing about this type of uh, cut for a gemstone in, into the chips, as, as Elle said, you know, it's the byproduct of the calibrated gemstones. Um, but there are so many ways that you can use them. So from a beginner right the way through to the most experienced jewellery maker, yeah. you can make a beautiful piece of jewellery. Absolutely. Like Absolutely. The movement, the texture that you create, the glow. Um, we're not even stopping at £19.99. Oh, it's an absolute giveaway deal. So hang on, that's 120 inches. I'm rubbish at the metric system. What's that in centimetres? 120 inches in centimetres. It's a lot. What? No. It's two and a half centimetres to the inch, roughly. So you're talking about... Three, how many? 304 centimetres. So you've got three metres here of beautiful appetite. Mm. Three metres. Sorry, I don't work in inches. I work in centimetres. My brain gets confused. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, three in, you get, no, three, not inches, three metres of beautiful sky blue appetite. Plus your findings, plus your, uh, um, your threading pack as well. Look at the quantity though, it is absolutely racing out. Victoria, and Vivian, hello to Northumberland, Maker in Suffolk, Cheryl, Dawn, Pearl, Jane, Catherine, Antoinette. Keep on dialing through everybody and I'll keep you, um, updated on the quantities. Um, Linda, I can't, oh, I can't wait. Which one of these pieces are you going to show well, us? Well, um, I mean, Basically, this jewellery, for somebody who makes, um, is into jewellery making, you could sort of look at each piece probably and work it out. That's what happens um, when you make jewellery. You can then, de uh, what's the word, sort of, uh, what do they, the deconstruct. Chef, deconstruct pieces, whether it's in a magazine or in a shop or whatever, deconstruct them and because you have those techniques under your belt, you can make your version of them. So basically, all of those pieces of jewellery are exactly that. They're nearly all threaded, albeit with the thread or with wire. Um, the 
the one strand in these kits that might face um, some newbies would be those larger lapis lazuli, mm. um, big nuggets. Could I possibly sure. have a strand of them because I, I haven't had a second kit? Sure. Thank you. There you go. So, um, what I did, and that is my favourite piece of jewellery throughout the whole of the kits, is that lapis necklace. So, um, what I did is I used the appetizer spacers, and I did it random. So, I started off at the clasp end by putting on, um, with the beading thread, putting on my clasp, and then I put on a few little of the chips and nuggets of the appetite. And I didn't count them, I just popped them on random. Exactly the same with the lapis lazuli. But what I did do was I took them all off this temporary strand and round the neckline, I chose the smaller lengths of the lapis to come around to the side, to the collarbone, and then finishing off with the larger, longer ones, and then the mirror image on the other side. So that's just literally threaded. Appetite random, random with the lapis, and so on and so on. Then I had one or two um, of the longer ones left over and I thought, you know what, I'd like to work out a way of, um, of doing a pair of earrings that would work with that busy type look. So um, again, I went through them and I, I picked them for shape and length, width and colour as well. So um, I'll just use those two, those two work well together. And I thought, well, I want to make them, because the necklace itself is a simple design, um, I wanted to keep the earring simple, because the necklace itself, although simple with the shape of the nuggets, it was quite busy. So I took some um, 0.6 gauge plated wire and just took, cut off around about six inches, which centimetres, can you work it out? Because I can't think that's six, six to... Um, hang on, what you said, what, two and a half? Two and a half to the inch, roughly, isn't it? So you're talking about a hundred and, say about 130 centimetres? No, no. Six inches. No. Six inches, about 15, 15 centimetres. 15, yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I was rubbish with the metric system. So what I've done is I've just taken that piece of 0.6 um, mil wire through the gem, through the nugget, and I've left again about two and a half centimetres of the one end and then the remains of the other. And then between index finger and my thumb, I've just brought that wire up to the tip, pinched it in, held it tightly, and then just twisted the gem. Don't twist the wire, twist the gem. It's easier. So we've now got, we've got our length here to make, to do some mechanics on. So what I'm going to do is I take some round nose pliers and pop them down to where the wire has been um, twisted to meet together in that triangle just there. And then I'm just going to do a wrapped loop, bring that back and then take it around the residue of the neck. Now I'm just simply using the longer piece. I've left the shorter piece there ready to chop that off. And I'm just bringing, in fact, I'll chop that off now because it can get in the way of when you're twisting that other piece of wire down to the gem. And pop my round nose pliers back in. And then twist it round and then once it gets to the top of the uh, lapis lazuli, lazuli, I should say, then just get your finger and thumb a little bit closer to mould that little cap around the, the top of the gem. It just gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of design. And then that little bit of residue there, take your round nose pliers and sort of have your wrist sort of upside down as it were, and then just coil back a little, do a little coil with your round nose pliers and then swap to flat nose pliers and put them straight onto, in other words, pinch them onto that coil and then just continue to coil along, stabilizing it with the index finger 
that you're holding the uh, nugget in. Just bring that back parallel to your gemstone and then bend to flatten that little coil onto the flat side I mean, that's a pendant the in itself. It is it? a pendant. It, you could do multi, multiples of that as mm. well in different sizes and drop them from chain mm. as a tassel or earrings. Um, but it's just a little bit of using wire, just a little bit of decoration on the gemstone just to set it apart from just being um, wrapped loop straight onto a jump ring. And then all you need to do is, if I can find a Anne, I should say. And yeah, now you have to bear with me here because I haven't got a silver one. Oh, I have. Do you want one? What are you looking no, for? No, I've got one here. Don't worry, I've just found one. Oh. So I'm going to take a pair of shepherd hooks. And then this is, again, this is sort of a little bit of top tips for newbies. On a um, shepherd's hook earring finding, 99.9 .9 times out of 10, this little uh, loop here, which is a simple loop, which means it'll open, the opening is on the inside okay. of, that's just a little top tip, it's normally on the inside, so you pinch as near as you can get to the little ball on the earring finding with your flat nose pliers and then holding and stabilising the shepherd hook, bring that towards you in a quarter turn Pop on your wraps loop on the top of your lapis and then just return that. Now, if the thing about having um, an earring finding like a, sh a shepherd's hook and also obviously more wire on the top, it means you can tweak that a little. So as you can see now, my little bit of decoration is exactly where I don't want it to be. It's on the inside. So I want that to be on the outside. So I'll just open that up again. And gosh, I have, I've done a really good closure on that. I'm going to open that up again and then just take it off and then turn it around in a half turn and pop it on. And then hopefully we have our little design oh. at the front when, it's, when it's hanging. Don't worry about making the, uh, on the other earring, don't worry about making that a perfect match. It really doesn't matter. There's a big trending look, well, it's been on trend for a couple of years now, of mismatched, and I mean totally mismatched, mm. or, you know, marginally mismatched jewellery. Um, so don't worry if you can't get that, don't let it aggravate you, that you can't get that exactly the same, as long as it is a similar Yeah. Look. It'll just add. Well, that's, artis design. that's artisanal jewellery, isn't it? Exactly. Um, those kits are very close to selling out if they haven't already done so. So do have a little look, and I would encourage checking out ASAP. They were very limited. Linda, as always, beautiful. Thank um, you. And if you are a lover of pearls, then Linda's masterclass, oh, yes. you should see the jewellery, honestly. It's so beautiful. Coming up at 12 o'clock today, we've got the silks as well. So the silks would be perfect for this next opportunity as well. Now, do you know. Uh, if you'd have asked me this question some 20 years ago when I first started in in jewellery and uh, and one of my one of my roles was pearls you know I used to look after the pearls I used to deal with all the customers that wanted the pearls um etc and I used to literally pack them in and out of the vault on a daily basis but if you'd have asked me 20 years ago can you facet pearls? I would have said, no, of course you can't. It hasn't got a crystal structure. It's not, it's, you know, you'd be cutting nacre away. And um, yeah, I'd have said no. However, um, more recently, this amazing technique has been mastered. Now, I'm going to literally take you to the GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, that talks about this next opportunity. We can bring you pearls and we can, as with all your gemstones, we can bring them to you at different price points. Um, and we will always endeavour to bring them to you at the best possible price point. But I just want to sort of uh, set the scene right now. These pearls are not going to be the most affordable pearls that you've ever seen on our screens. And there is a reason for that. These are arguably one of the most probably the most luxurious strand you've ever seen here on our screens, most certainly across the Gemporia partnership um, and, and most definitely around the pearl market. 
There are four of these in the world. What you are looking at right now, have you ever seen a peony flower when it's closely, oh, when it's, it's all, beautiful. yeah, when, they, oh, the when the petals fold over? Yeah, when they're all, when they're all mm. tight it's as a bud. Um, it's like this, they're so multi-layered. These are natural pearls that have been faceted and it's an incredible skill, you know, way beyond not to appear derogatory, way beyond cutting a round brilliant cut, an oval cut, a princess cut or any of those. You know, this is on another level of skill. I'm going to take you to the GIA. There are four of these available and we are talking about probably one of the most luxurious opportunities. We're going to introduce the graphics and I'm going to tell you if you are somebody that is looking for legacy jewellery, if you are somebody that is looking for something to pass on to your future uh, generations, look no further because it's beautiful and it's incredibly rare. Uh, most high-end jewellers, you know, even the ones on Hatton Garden and Bond Street and in Paris won't have these. Not all, I'm not saying that, you know, you can get hold of them, but when you see them, they're expensive. So what do the GIA say? Well, the, fas uh, the fascinating faceted cultured pearl. The pearl has been shrouded in myth and mystery since antiquity. The ancient Romans imagined that they were the tears of gods and angels. The ancient Chinese uh, thought that they offered protection from fire-breathing dragons, and Europeans believed they symbolise modesty, chastity and purity. In the 20th century, the classic culture pearl necklace became an essential fashion accessory, adorning icons um, of sophistication like Jackie Kennedy, Audrey Hepburn and Coco Chanel. Uh, pearls have been coveted for thousands of years. And in 1998, you know, we are talking about, I still imagine 1998 being only a few years ago, exactly. don't we? But all right, some 20 years ago, Pearl lovers were given a new and unique option. The faceted cultured pearl with up to 200 facets. These miniature marvels were a result of a 20 year of experimentation by uh, Komatsu Diamond Industry, a Japanese diamond cotton company, um, and were a dramatic alternative to smoother surface cultured pearls. While only the finest culture pearl were for, uh, first faceted, culture pearls of all qualities and colours are now cut and polished. To facet culture pearls, gem cutters utilise the same equipment that is used for cutting gemstones. Designers continue to experiment in pursuit of perfecting this, these geometric beauties. Nature makes pearls and faceting brings out their beauty, says award-winning designer Mark Schneider, who has earned a reputation for featuring faceted culture pearls in his work. I take what nature creates and I put my finger print on it does that ring bells to you because I can seem to remember having a conversation or, or somebody within the industry discussing jade mother nature creates it placed in you know uh, uh, placed into the amazing artistry of these master carvers it's the same really isn't it same sentiment with a cultured pearl but make no doubt about it if you want to source faceted pearls they are quite considered. And I can show you a few different examples. Here we go. Um, Equilibrium ring is, features a faceted black Tahitian pearl. Again, it's, it's incredibly expensive. Um, you've got another piece here, uh, pearl protrusion fe uh, features a faceted white cultured pearl opposite a black cultured pearl. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Um, you can get solitaires here. Um, how beautiful are they with the texturing of the precious metal? So yeah, these are, these are, it tends to be, they are thousands upon thousands of pounds, and I'm talking about the ones which just feature one. We have four of these available in the world. You know, how many times have you heard me say, lovely jewellery makers, that our pearls, at the moment, I'm encouraging my friends to purchase jewellery maker pearls because the quality is second to none. The price point, if this was in the jewellers that I worked at some 20 odd years, years ago, I'm fairly confident it would have been £15,000 upwards. Yes. If easily. not more. Um, because you know what? A Tahitian pearl strand was fifteen grand in that jewellers 20 years ago. So to actually get something which has been meticulously worked, and crafted, and sculptured, metallic it's pearls. stunning. Well, you know, yeah. Plus, these pearls, will have started at a significantly larger size mm -hmm. because with every single facet polished they are decreasing if you like the size of that cultured pearl not so much so that they're not still you know um, over that that milestone if you like of a double uh, figure measurement look at the luster that's simply I mean pearls it's all about luster with pearls out of the five virtues that's the most important but faceted pearls are mirror-like aren't they just incredible and it is something that I would absolutely 
absolutely, without shadow of a doubt, say is you know is is a legacy opportunity. These are the kind of pieces that I want to pass on to my girls because I know because the reality is they probably and I never say never, but it is unlikely they're going to get an opportunity to purchase something like this. Um, you can get it elsewhere, but most definitely, even if we were to stop at that previous price point, I very much doubt anybody right now could actually get this level of quality at what we previously were at at 499 pounds wow. or an amazing 124 pounds and 99 pence on your split payments that is such a deal you know it's a deal of all deals to be honest they literally dance and play with the light you've got 200 incredible facets on every single one of these all that beautiful natural color still radiating through notice how the luster i mean it's almost metallic isn't it Oh yeah, definitely. the luster is is elevated because of that beautiful uh, cutting process, and it's still considered a very new process. Twenty years is nothing in the world of uh, gemstones. There is only one of those left. Well done to our collectors, and we have got multi buyers getting I mean, involved. That's a conversation starter, strategy, totally, isn't it? Really, totally. You know, it's sort of being at the beginning of something so new and so innovative that uh, where is it all going to lead to? Now, I know £499 is a considered amount yeah. of money. It's not in comparison to what you're getting. The value. The value of it, absolutely. It, but it is a, it's a considerable amount of money, and I totally get that. I have to consider my purchases as well, believe me. How about I make faceted pearls available to the multitude? Well, that'd be great. So cast your mind back to those black Tahitian pearls, which were faceted, those rings. I don't know what the prices were, but they would probably be thousands. Cast your mind back to the original ring, all the pieces that I've shown you thus far. How about I bring you that amazing faceted quality in a pair? So if 499 was beyond your budget, that doesn't mean that you're not going to get the opportunity to own them. We are going to go straight down. There are only 20 available. Can you imagine the mini earrings? I mean, I, I, I promise you, this might be the opportunity for you to make that sweet. A single pendant pair of earrings and maybe a solitaire ring. We're at £49.99. pence. Look at that mirror. I mean, where the, ca the light is literally catching that one facet. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? The, facet, the faceting on a pearl is so... It's the same, sort of design-wise, but it's so different from a faceted gem, mm. isn't it? It just seems to... You can see into the pearl, almost. You can. You, that, that's the perfect description. Normally, it's all about the reflection, isn't it? The mm. luster is the reflection of your gemstone, where the, whereas these almost give that illusion, yeah. like, a, like a wall of mirrors. Indeed, isn't it? Yeah. Just incredible. We only have 20 available opportunities. They are half-drilled as well, so if you are thinking about some of your um, mounts, etc. Or, or the we had that amethyst bale earlier on Just in the about hour. To say, yes, exactly. I don't know if we've still got it available on the website now, but it's worth a look. We had that purple amethyst sterling silver bale. Get a couple of those. I mean, how beautiful would that be as a finished piece of jewellery? And how few people on this planet will, could actually say that they own a faceted pearl? And what are they like a fiver, something like that? Those bales. What are you doing, Liam? Oh, he says that. He says loads of you with it in your baskets, but you haven't yet checked out. Okay. And these are too good to be sat on our website. I totally agree, Liam. They are. I mean, they, they, they need to be nurtured. They need to be worn. They, they need, need to be, to be seen. Be shown, yeah. They? They're they absolutely really exquisite. They really do. We should stop here all day long. That should. £25 for a faceted pearl. You know, that's it, it, it's unheard of. You, uh, we've said this so many times, usually associated to the jade. We shouldn't be able to get this level of rarity and skill for money that you can get out of a cash machine. I mean, We're at £25 each. It's incredible. I mean, that's a, a, what I call a celebration piece oh, of jewellery. Totally. Yeah, it's a any, flagship piece. Yeah, any, I mean, the thing about pearls is you can wear them casually or you can really dress them up. And these are dressed up pearls, aren't they? They're absolutely exquisite. Just incredible. What? Oh, Liam. There's, t there's dropping it and then there's... What have you done? It and then there's falling over it. Liam. Liam, though, like, 
15 quid each. Do you think any of those pieces that we've shown you on the GIA website, and is their faceting better than no. ours? No, I don't actually think it's as, as good. Uh, no, I agree. I don't think so. Uh, they're four-figure pieces, uh, probably even more. We're twenty nine ninety nine. You know, Victoria, fair play to you, multi-buying. I would be doing exactly the same. Exactly the same. And I know this is not going to be the most perfect way of demonstrating it, but imagine them in stud earrings. Look at how beautiful they are. Absolutely incredible. They've sold out. Well done. Well done. Well done. That's madness. <laughs> now, just because of time... Don't forget, your dealer day is coming up. I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Dave Troth. Um, you've got that beautiful elephant. You've got the 19 millimeter Type A Jadeites coming up. We've got so much to bring you. Um, but we're going to dive straight into your next star buy. They both are star buys. Remember, I spoke about it at the beginning of the show. I'm obsessed with this gemstone. I absolutely adore it. Herkimer Quartz. Well, and we've got two different varieties, if you like. Not varieties, that's the wrong way to word it. But you've got um, the, the, the monochrome, where you actually have that beautiful colorless, uh, uh, colourless con uh, contrast, I suppose. And then we're going to bring you the best of the best. It's AAA grade, literally as flawless as any diamond. Um, so what is Herkimer? What is Herkimer Quartz? Well, it was actually discovered in New York City. It's a really beautiful gemstone. I know our sister channel don't see a lot of this because when I mentioned it to Jake uh, some, uh, I think it was about a year or so ago, he was like, well, is that he'd, he'd yeah, never actually seen it before. It, it is a recent discovery, I yeah. think, isn't it? In, in gemstone years. Um, so oh, look at this. Th it's oh, stunning, this strand. I'm so I, I want to join you on this strand. All I would do is literally put it on something like your flex right um, and some precious metal. They are pristine eye clean clarity. So yeah, discovered in um, in Herkimer County in New York City. Um, Herkimer diamonds, as they are often referred to. Um, are not actually diamonds at all. They are a form of double terminated quartz crystal that began forming 500 million years ago in a dolomite outcrop uh, throughout Herkimer County, uh, New Year and the Mohawk River Valley. Uh, these crystals were discovered in the 18th century and given the diamond nickname because of their exceptional clarity and natural faceting. Take a look at your recording here. They are naturally faceted. This is what Mother Nature offers you, her ability. We haven't done any cutting or any polishing we've literally drilled them so you and can obviously the strand them yeah it's beautiful well talking of double termination here's a couple of the examples um, a few examples of what herkimer diamonds or, 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 or uh, diamond quartz can actually produce these beautiful beautiful prisms you know they're dynamic aren't they in their shape uh, and it says look can be exceptionally clear that's what i have draped across the back of my hand um, uh, and colorless or they can be included with little air bubbles or flecks of black carbon What's carbon? Diamonds. Diamond. Yeah. Um, if you are lucky, you'll come across a stone with an anhydro inclusion, a bubble of water that's trapped within the crystal during its formation. That gives you beautiful fire. But yeah, they are rare, and we really ever see it on our screens. We are running out of time, though, so we're going to move this quite quickly. This is the best of the best, the best strand I've ever seen of Herkimer diamonds here at Jewelry Maker. They are pristine. Look how bright that colour is. If you associate the four, um, the four Cs, if you actually look at it, so like, uh, engraved it like you would do your diamonds you can see that this is remarkable quality right now they're beautiful they're doubly terminated you've got those black inclusions those carbon inclusions that we were talking about a few moments ago and if we skip forward liam you can see the kind of price is there. Here we go. Herkimer uh, Diamond Ring. They call it the diamond as well. £34.80. Not as good a quality as what I have here. Those beautiful. £65, but literally two um, of your Herkimer Diamond Shards. Um, how about this lovely necklace? £60. You could make that, couldn't you? And also this beautiful bracelet. I love it. Now, that I would compare. I would compare. I think that's this strand literally with, with, with the findings attached. Um, £380 with a 14 karat gold um, clasp. Simple clasp. Lastly. Oh, where's Adele? <laughs> 
<laughs> now, Adele's on this PowerPoint. She is. She's she was wearing. She's run off with her. She has like... clearly. Adele's usually wearing these. She she was actually in an interview with Oprah Winfrey. She's wearing the most amazing Herkimer diamond earrings. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We don't need to see her. But again, you can imagine it's this beautiful quality. We're at nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Make sure you keep dialing through for this one. But let's bring you. Um, let's bring you so your your more traditional Herkimer. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, when I didn't realise it came in such pristine clarity. So whenever I used to refer to Herkimer quartz, Herkimer diamonds, whichever one you want to, it was always that monochrome, a little bit like your black rutile. Bit, like um, bit like pre night. You know, many people prefer pre night to be translucent and completely void of inclusions. I actually like the inclusions. So within. do I. So do I, yeah. Now, these are huge. They're premiering today. And I'm going to show you what our should be prices. They are big sizes. Actually, some of the biggest Herkimer courts we've had on our screens. Imagine these with your pearl kits, Linda, that mm -hmm. are coming up a bit later on. How beautiful would that be? So, I mean, the, the previous strand, um, immediately I saw that and it, it sort of after it came on, after the faceted pearls, that previous strand, just one of those nestled in between pearls or dropping. Oh, pearl stunning. From, would just be, you know, again, it's one of these sort of um, celebrity, let's say, red carpet mm -hmm. look that is, you know, unaffordable to us. Mere Absolutely. Mortals. And they're natural. And they bring it back to the high street. And these are gemstones. Yes. Not stopping at thirty nine ninety nine though. These are some of the biggest Herkimer courts that we've had. This is from the original location of Discovery as well. Wow, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. I mean, yeah, even if you just kept it as simple as um, as, as as some of those pieces of jewellery. Let's be honest, they were quite simple. I know loads of you have got the skill to recreate those. Just one, if you like, on a little wrap loop, or maybe just a cup and stationed along that meter spool, the five meter spool of uh, sterling silver that we had earlier on this morning. Mm -hmm. How beautiful would that be? Nineteen ninety nine. So it's entirely up to you. If you're looking for that pristine AAA graded quality, you know, actually, let's hold them up to the neckline so you can imagine if you were actually wearing them. I mean, look at that. Look how fabulous that is. And in the evening with incandescent lighting, you can see now, actually, even with these strong lights we've got in the studio, you can see the prisms of light reflecting back, can't you? Yeah. The colours of light, the rainbow. I mean, when you had it down on the desk, I saw the rainbow through them. Yeah, Amanda, I totally agree. Two strands of Herkimer quartz and they it are beautiful. It is beautiful. beautiful. They that, really that's are beautiful. the best word to describe it. I'm getting beautiful. this as well. We're cutting to a break shortly, just before we dive into your amazing jade. But look, just imagine this. Look how, pr look how bright it is, even from metres away. <laughs> Imagine this just simply re-stranded mm -hmm. or, like Linda suggested, just one. Just one is sort of your diamond presence. Yeah, I mean, they would look incredible, you know, dotted in between pearls, asymmetrically, symmetrically, whatever you want. But as a cluster in earrings, the waterfall again. <gasps> Yeah, a bit like your, your appetite here. Yeah. Would be stunning, wouldn't they? Make sure you keep checking out, everybody, and do not go anywhere. We've got such a fabulous Wednesday show. Your elephant carving in type A jadeite is coming up. I know lots of you are really excited about that. And for the very first time ever, we are bringing you sizes of type A jadeite rounds that you have never seen before. They are magnificent. They are colossal. Uh, they are natural, of course, but they are also very limited, so please don't wait. Linda and I return with a fantastic Dave after this. Makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. I'm Natalie Patton and I'm from Merseyside. So I started jewellery making about two years ago. Um, I make all sorts of different types of, of jewellery 
um, with lots of different methods and techniques. So I might use some tiger tail or elastic, do some bead stringing, but wire is um, my passion. My inspiration comes from the gemstone itself usually. Um, so the colours and the patterns in them and the shape of them, I use a lot of uh, cabochons. So my design will tend to come from what I feel works best with that particular stone. I don't know what I was thinking when I entered Britain's Next Gem. I was having a day where I must have just been overly confident and just thought, why not? I got an email to say, you know, I'd made it through. Um, I, I cried, <laughs> let's face it. <laughs> I'm quite emotional. <laughs> so yeah, I, I did a lot of uh, squealing, a lot of giddy jumping up and down, dancing, happy dances. So it was a very exciting day being in the studio. Um, getting to meet the team, getting to see behind the scenes. You know, you watch Jewelry Maker, um, I watch on the telly mainly or on my phone, but to be actually there in the studio, I started off quite nervous and now when I go I just feel quite at home. You can't get rid of me now. <laughs> so I created um, the Gemstone Garden Collection. So they are a series of 12 different beautifully crafted uh, beads which are related to um, their flowers so each month is assigned a different flower so your bead will be shaped like that flower and in the center will also be a birthstone as well to to be a finalist in britain's next gem is is just i keep saying incredible there's not many other like superlatives i can come up with really i love making things for people and I love seeing people wear the things I've made. To be able to create a collection that other jewellery makers can make with just fills me with absolute pride. I would think you should vote for my collection because you would be able to create a whole range of different jewellery making projects with it. They're very versatile um, and they're very lovely if I do say so myself. Gemstone Garden means that you can personalise and customise your jewellery pieces. So if you're making for somebody and you would like to include special months, maybe a birthday, then you can choose those particular beads that represent that month and that birthstone. Or if you've got a favourite flower or a favourite colour, you could choose that one too. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely Jewelry Makers. Uh, uh, these are incredible. I mean, which do I talk about first? Well, okay. I'm telling you, there's, there's, the, there's one that we need to talk about. Oh, it's, my it's word. It's an incredible collection. I'm thrilled to be here with you. Lovely uh, this day. Morning. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm thrilled to be here with you and the whole team uh, this morning. Uh, I would not have missed this for anything. We, we are obviously talking about the ultimate collection. Now, we have... The, the, Look, we've had like two years with Jada, which has been an unbelievable ride and an incredible journey that we've all been on. And as you guys know, um, with us here, 18 years across the business, you know, when we first started off 18 years ago, humble beginnings, you know, finding our way, uh, you know, with like gemstones that you could get like in a commercial sense, big mm. quantities, low prices, incredible. And then as a business, as we became more and more educated and passionate, you know, we know Steve Bennett wrote The Law, which is yep. actually still one of the, 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 the best gemstone books in the industry. Yeah. For anyone wanting to get in and get an encyclopedic knowledge on genuine gemstones. Yep. And it's because it comes from a real place. You know, it comes from um, a, a real authentic passion, someone who's discovering these gemstones and sharing that excitement with you. 
And as you'll know, for instance, at Nextdoor, well, as a whole business, we've been 18 years, so nearly two decades. And on that journey, we've, the, the more we've learned, the more the industry has taken us seriously and the more we can get involved in things that 18 years ago would have been a pipe dream. Mm -hmm. For instance, you know, being in a, 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 an actual partnership with the Argyle Mine. Yes. You know, unfortunately, it's come to an end, but we were there. You know, when we talk about bringing you some of the most epic and incredible pearl opportunities, it is unbelievable. And my daughter is just up there. She's looking through the glass uh, because even, even my daughter's excited to today to be uh, here, you know, seeing what's going on. Um, because, of, you know, I talk about this all the time, you know, when I went to Myanmar, I would video call my daughter. When I went to Hong Kong, I would video call my daughter. I'd tell her what we're trying to get, you know, this journey that we've been on. And it really is, you know, we are a family-run business, you know, through every single facet. Absolutely. Now, the Jadeite journey has been accelerated. We haven't had 18 years with Jadeite. We've had 18 years to, to see it to be you know, in love with it from afar, seeing it every time I go to Hong Kong, just being like this mystic, at the, the time, this mystical, enigmatic gemstone, right? This gemstone that we did not understand mm -hmm. at all, and we still don't understand, even though we are far more educated, I believe, than anyone else in the West. Yep. So with that education, with the doors opening, with you know, people taking us seriously in the Jadeite world, it has allowed for us to have an opportunity like no other. And it's hard to say like no other, but certainly in the West, um, I know that Asprey in Mayfair have just released, I don't know if you know this, they've just released uh, their own Jadeite collection. Wow. They understand that the West is waking up to it. Yep. They talk about how they've, they've, like us, have been watching from afar for so long. And it is not available anywhere. There's no, there's no real images of it anywhere. There's a few press releases that I've seen. You see a few pieces, some glimpses, and it is absolutely phenomenal. I want to know you, I want you to understand the gemstone, the level of, of uh, the gemstone we're talking about, how coveted it is, okay? Their prices, you know what they start at for their jade collection. I'm not doing a like, like, like for like comparison. I'm just talking about if you want to get access to jadeite, where do you go? Well, Asprey have made a big splash about this epic collection. It's invitation only. You have to ring their concierge for an appointment service. Okay. And the price starts at £130,000. Wow. Okay. And it tops out at 18 million. Wow. For a single piece. We're not even talking about an auction house. We're not talking about Bonhams or Christie's. That's the price for their top piece. Their top piece is an incredible carving. Of course, it is phenomenal. Now, they also recognize, they literally say this, it is so difficult to gauge or understand the value of jadeite in the West. And we know that with our valuations, trying to ascertain the value of jadeite, it's almost impossible. You could take it to some of the most, we have gemologists here that don't understand jadeite. Mm. You know, um, our, our, our wonderful kind of resident gemologist, Matthew Bennett, who, mm. who's Steve's uh, son, um, you know, went to Carlsbad, California you know, had an incredible education as a gemologist. And he will be the first to admit that they barely even scratched the surface of jade. Really? Like, that's the reality. Yeah. Like, and that, that, unfortunately, because in the West, we have this real amazing knowledge on diamonds, mm. on rubies, on sapphires. But jade, even to the GIA, is this elusive, enigmatic gemstone. You don't learn about jade in textbooks. You don't learn about it in labs. The people that supply the, the finest jadeites on the planet just know jadeite. Even in the West, there was a gentleman many, many years ago in the 1930s, really famous, really was one of the first to bring jadeite to the West. His name was Abe Gump. Okay? He was um, a favorite of, of Barbara Hutton. Uh, uh, and um, you know, when we talk about the, the incredible um, necklaces that made their way into the, the, the Woolworth Harris's kind of collection, she used to go to him. And even in his old age, when he went blind, this is reality, he could tell the quality of jade just from the touch. Wow. That's not studying it with a, with a loop. That's not putting it through some test. There is something, I don't care, like I'm not a crystal healer, I'm, and I don't, I'm not against it, like I'm just being honest. Yeah. Like I don't yeah, get that, yeah, that, that world, right? And we all come at it from different angles and there's no right or wrong. I don't get that, but what I do get from jade is something I genuinely cannot put my finger on. Okay? There is something magical about it. Mm. It has, I, don't, I hate using the term energy, so I won't. But it has, it has this kind of magnetic draw yeah. to it. It is, there's something really, really special about it. I know we all feel it. I mean, we, we talk about it as like jade fever, right? And this collection, for, for me, I think, for, for certainly for my time here, is the pinnacle, okay? We have, we have bought you bangles. How incredible. We have bought you incredible kind of uh, medallion carvings, mm. intricate, detailed. What I'm bringing you right now I, and I'll be frank and I'll be honest, and I'm not the person that's seen the most jade in the world. I'm not like some jade expert. I'm just talking from my own humble experience. 
I have never seen anything like what I'm about to bring you outside of an auction house. Okay, that's the reality. And I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to step over here. I know it's a bit messy. I'll walk out a shot. Yeah, thank you, Al. Okay, my God. I, I don't, I, I don't I care about carrot weight. What I care about is the size. This is jadeite. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is jadeite. 19 mil, right? Yeah. N 19 mil jadeite. And that's significant. Because this isn't beryl. This isn't quartz. This is the, the world's most valuable gemstone. It is not treated. So it's not dyed. It has no polymer impregnation. These are jadeites. And the reason, think about, I don't know, what have we done? A, a, a thousand jadeite auctions in, in 18 months? Yeah, yeah maybe, probably. Or maybe yeah. more. I don't care. I don't know. Whatever it is, we're thrilled to bring it to you. You've never seen anything like this. Do you want me to explain to you why? And why the next door Gemporia have never seen it? And why I'm 100% confident, unfortunately, that we'll never see it again? Because jadeite is, is so valuable that it is sold by the slice. Yeah. Okay. Or every, every jadeite boulder, I don't care if you paid a hundred million US dollars for the boulder, $10 million, the first thing they do is cut it open and then they slice it. Okay, and they slice it because what they're trying to create is bangles or strands, right? Mm. But the slices are this like, thick. Yeah. Okay, so they're about 12 mil. That's just the reality. They're about 12 mil, maybe 13 mil thick. And then... Ethan, I appreciate this. It's going to be a bit messy, but we'll try it. I'm going to pull this round. It's on wheels, thank God. I'm not, like, supremely strong. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put that there so you can see it. Um, and if we just get a close-up of, like, this here, to, to get, like, I know we talk, uh, even I've said before, mistakenly, that a bangle is the most wasteful thing you can do with jade. Yeah. Because we talk about cutting away the centre, right? Yeah. It's not, in actual fact, true. Uh, a strand is the most wasteful thing because you're creating a complete and utter... Uh, a round, you know, uh, a sphere from jadeite. So you're wasting everything around it. What they do with things like this, when there's fault lines and maybe they can't create a bangle or the, the, the pie symbol, what they'll do is they'll literally, and I'm, I've done this, this isn't like, you know, been done by some expert, I'm just demonstrating, that they, they, you know, will cut these rounds out of this, okay? So that's the size of the rounds. Okay, you need to waste the top because it's flat. You need to waste the bottom, so you need to come in and create this cylindrical shape. And then I'm going to show you this. This is why it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, straight away. These are cut for, to order. Yeah. What that means is when the boulder came out for this particular time, the material was so good. This is the truth, and it's, uh, it's probably happened many, many times throughout history, but the most notable, the most exceptional circumstance was what we call the doubly fortunate necklace. Mm -hmm. that sold yeah, for, yeah. I think, $27 million in 2014. It sold, it's broke the world record three times for a jade out piece at an auction house from 1988, 1994, and then again in 2014. It's estimated now to be worth $100 million, wow. but it, no one knows where it is. It's in private hands. It was acquired the last time in 2014 by a private collector, and that was never sliced because the material was that good. They said, no, we're going to save this from the way that every other jadeite goes. Even the million dollar jadeites, they're all sliced. And then they figure out what they're going to get. In fact, yeah. if you went on my Facebook, you'd see I posted once a, a million dollar slice of jade eye. What they do is they slice it and then they start putting templates on it, avoiding yeah. the fault lines. And they estimate the value and they say, okay, it's about a million dollars here mm -hmm. because we know what we can make out of it and the colors and the, the crystal. Well, this, the doubly fortunate, people all think that that's the name of the necklace. It's not actually. It's the name of the boulder. And it's because every time they cut material away from this boulder, they doubled their fortunes. Amazing. That's the reality. So with every cleave of that boulder, every time they went into it, they were like, I can't believe it. Because usually they'll find a vein. That's why they cut in slices. And they'll be like, OK, the boulder has is, is made its money. We found this one slice, or maybe seven slices, or whatever it is. But with the doubly fortunate, it was like literally an embarrassment of riches. And the, 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 they know that the, the doubly fortunate necklace is all from a single boulder. They know that, even though that no one knows where it came from yeah. because of how good the crystal is. It was acquired. It's a, the, the, the real history of it is really, really murky. No one knows. But it was, we know that it was acquired by Cartier mm -hmm. sometime uh, in the early 20th century. Um, even the, the authorities in the world, like Christie's or, and anyone else, will say, although it has a Cartier clasp, although it is a, a signed piece from the archives of Cartier, they concede there is no way Cartier produced it. They bought it and put their clasp on it and signed it. But they said this, this mastery, this material, only comes from China. Like, there's no one in Paris mm. now, in, and certainly not in the 1920s, that could carve jade. 
Okay, and I know that sounds like some crazy thing. There's no one in Edar Oberstein that can carve jade, but no. like it's a very different gem material. It's harder than steel. You don't carve it, you abrade it. You sand it down over months, sometimes years. That's how jadeite forms, right? So, and the people with the, the, the knowledge, the know-how, exist only in China. And they have over 10,000 years experience working with it. They pass this, this knowledge down. That's why, by the way, when I buy Guatemalan jadeite, when I buy Olmec jadeite, I'm not going to South America or Central America, I'm going to China, because the best material is always sent to China, because mm. that's the center. Just like the best sapphires in the world, wherever they come from, exist in Bangkok. Yeah. Because that's the cutting center. So you find Madagascan sapphire, you find Burmese sapphire, you find Cambodian Palin sapphire, goes to Bangkok because they're the best at cutting it. Yeah. Jade always goes to China. Okay? Even when Cartier buy it, they buy it from China. And I am absolutely staggered, staggered is the word, to be able to offer you the largest, most incredible uh, jadeite rounds in the world. Now... You'll see sometimes like large pieces of jade. You'll be like, oh, okay, if it's in slices, how do you get these big large pieces? You know, like there's difference. There's like some carvings like Asprey bring you for like 18 million and then there's like lower grade ornamental carvings. Well, that jade isn't sliced because the, the reason is they know it's not going to produce what you need for a bangle mm. or, or a strand, right? Because it doesn't have the exceptional crystal. It doesn't have the, the, the tight crystallization. So then it goes to be produced into these big kind of elaborate, beautiful, but opaque carvings. This is an absolute miracle. It's not going to surprise you that I've only got 50 on the planet, in the world. There's only 50 of you that can own it. I'm going to tell you right now, um, if you can, this is only like from, from someone who's here behind the scenes. If you can multi-buy, then, then do that. Don't, yeah. don't, don't go outside your budget, of course. But the only reason I'm saying that is we haven't created a strand. Okay, because if I created a strand, I'd probably have 10 opportunities. I wanted to bring as many opportunities as I could. So it's this length. Imagine Which if you is, bought three of these. There's oh, about it's ten individual stones. Yeah, but I mean, I know what you're thinking. You think, well, how do I know it's not ornamental grade? Let me show you something again. I don't mean to be boring or like I don't want to talk down to anyone. It's just whenever I'm showed something and I get it, like I understand it, rather than reading it in a book, I like to see something yeah, demonstrated. Yeah, I'm visual. Right? So, yeah. yeah, I'm visual. So that's why I never did that well in school. But when the, the gemologists or the Jada experts explain things to me, I'm like, okay, now it makes sense. And I try and take that knowledge so I can show you, right? I can show you a, like a PowerPoint slide, but I don't think it goes in uh, as well. Maybe it does, but this is a, a slice of Jada, how they slice it. And mm -hmm. it's type A, of course, so it's 100% natural. And you can see it almost has a consistent color. There's some plumes of really light lavender. You can see the oxidization as well on yeah, the Yeah, so this is the skin. Right, yeah. you know, when I always talk to you about where the colour's found in the skin, yeah. this is how you buy boulders, so it just looks like that. So when they slice it, this is how thin the skin is. Yeah. You get to see what's inside, and here you've got incredible jade. We don't have to dim the lights for this, Adam, but what I want to show is, I'll turn it round, just a normal torch. You can see, like, this, this isn't like a cheap parlour trick. This is how you value jade. Right? So yeah. with a diamond, you use a loop. With jade, you use a torch. And what we're looking for is the penetration of the light into the crystal. And that tells us, you know, if it's a good crystal. Now, not all jade is the same, not even from the same boulder. Mm. So as I move this torch, and I want you to see that it's flush against it. I'm not hiding anything. It's flush, right? As I move this, you'll see the light almost disappear. Oh, see it gosh, go behind yes. this veil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because you've gone from what we call medium grain, where it's like medium-sized crystals, into coarser grain, like yeah. much larger spaces between the crystals, and there's barely any light penetration. Yeah, exactly. Okay? You've just seen how, how much larger these rounds are, right, than, yeah. than just this. So Look, technically, I'm against the it. light, it's harder for the light to yeah. penetrate. But I've not got medium grain in this. I've got top crystal, wow. like what we call like top water, fine crystallization. I'm going to show you that right now. The finest jadeites should light up like a light bulb, just so you know. Oh, my goodness, even from there. <gasps> okay. Oh my goodness, they literally glow. Look at this. Gosh, that's this is this is the reality. It's exceptional. Okay? So I want you to understand what you're acquiring right now. Is top crystal, top gem. Sorry guys. Top crystal, top gem, incredible jadeite. Large, large carat weights, huge, huge yeah. rounds. Like the largest you're ever going to see. Ever going to see. The, the, you can't even find these in Myanmar. You don't find these in Hong Kong. This is it. An exceptional, unique, 
one-time opportunity 19. for 50 collectors. I'm going to give you a 30-second clock before I make this available. That's what I'm going to do. They're absolutely jaw-dropping, aren't they? Yeah. They're completely jaw-dropping. And as jewellery makers as well, how privileged are we to be able to work with something of this level of rarity? Jade in its own right, Dave. I yep. mean, to say that we work with, with, uh, um, with, with the, that gemstone, the most valuable gemstone in the world, but then to be working with something that... Are, well, they're, they're museum-worthy, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, or, or certainly, you know, befitting of like a really unique private collection. Yes, absolutely. It's a special piece. Okay. Be quick. Yeah, though. okay, you can see the carrot weight. Carrot weight is it, it just not important with Jade. It's about the quality, it's about the size, it's about the texture. Yeah. That is what you have here. They are absolutely massive. Yeah, I've never are. seen a round this large. And for those of you that maybe migrate and channel hop between the channels, like, you know, you can see a big, large round, just a single round on like a pendant in 925 sterling silver or maybe nine karat gold for like over 100 pounds next door. Yeah. And, and they're never this large. No. They're, they're not 19 mil. Yeah. I mean, how, how, many, how many do we have? 50. No, no, no. How many on the strand? Oh, let's count them. Two, four, six. Yeah, 10. 10. So Ten. 62 carats in each gem. Yes. A 62 carat jadeite round. That's, that absolutely blows my mind. Over 60 carats in a single in, round. In one round. Yeah. If you, if you wanted to, I mean, I don't, the weight is so much, but if you just bought, like, if you cut, if you cut this strand, you took two, you'd create a 120 carat pair of earrings. Wow. Just out of two, you know, Real, real fine crystal, type A certified jadeite rounds. Yeah, wow. It is, the, the one thing that I would recommend, I'm, I'm not a jewelry maker in the same sense that you guys are. If you can, like, and you guys will know this, when I'm next door, sometimes I just see the value in what we're offering and I, I don't even like the jewelry and I'll just say, take it apart, do this, do that. Well, and I say, you know, send it to a bench jeweler. You guys can do it at home. Yeah, exactly. Like, what I would recommend if I was bringing this opportunity next door, I'd say, for instance, if this was a bracelet or something, I'd say buy two, buy three, take it to a pearl stringer in London, professional pearl stringer, and, and get it put together in a strand, mm -hmm. individually knotted. Amazing. But you guys know how to do that. You guys can do that. You can enjoy doing that. You can spend some time doing it. Like, oh, we're, we're heading towards like a quarter of the stock disappearing. Uh, I could start at like some sky high price. I could start at like 20, 10, five grand. I'm not going to. I'm going to start right now at a thousand pounds. What? And by the way, yeah, I know. But by the way, we, we are, we're going to finish nowhere near that, like so far from that. But because of how uh, important and, and, and fast I think we have to be on the phone lines for this, I don't want to drag it out. I don't want to kid around at some sky high premium. I'm like, right, let's get serious. We're at a thousand pounds. You know, we are jewelry maker. We're going to provide you with exceptional value, um, unbelievable deals. That's what we do. Whether we do it with pearls, whether we do it with diamonds, whether we do it with rubies, sapphires. Thank goodness we have this opportunity to do it with Jadeye. Just unbelievable. Dave, right now, D yep. uh, Liam's just said something in my ear, which is amazing. Right now we are talking about £100 yep. per 19 millimetre stone. Yeah. That's we, we, we've, we've, that, on, on a, alone, we've never done a deal that good. I've never been next door and said, hey guys, here's a 60 plus carat single jade. Yeah. For, what did you say, £100? £100. Yeah, never done it. This is why I always say, here at Jewelry Maker, it is like the best kept secret, even within the walls of Gemporia, right? Uh, and I know there's a lot of you that migrate between the channels and, and do that, but honestly, the, the, the value proposition at Jewelry Maker is unlike anywhere else in the world. And just to, get, just to back that up, when I was in Tucson a couple of weeks ago, I met a couple of wonderful collectors of, of the business, Genevieve and Heidi, and we invited them for lunch with us. You know, we went and had like a Mexican lunch. I said, ask any questions you want. Nothing's off the table. Like, this is it. Like, you're behind the scenes right now. And then I took them to the gem show. Mm. That's, that is showing you how good the value is here, what yeah. we do. Otherwise, I wouldn't go, come to the gem show, you know, look at, look at how cheap we can buy. It doesn't exist. The deals are that good that I could take you to yeah, trade absolutely. shows. And this is why we have so many, you know, small or independent businesses joining us on the phone lines and have done for like the 10, 12 years we've been in existence. Absolutely. Because this is better than trade. Yeah. This is literally better than trade. And you're probably thinking, how is that possible? Because 
of the way we buy. Mm -hmm. now, I can take you to the trade show, and if you're going to go buy like one strand like this, mm. it's going to be a very different price to me saying, I'll buy everything you've got. Yes, That's absolutely. how we move that needle down. That's how we give you these unbelievable, unrivaled opportunities. I'm going to ask um, one more time for a 30-second clock. And um, I'm going to take hundreds off the price. Hundreds. Wow. Your final deals are coming really, really soon. Uh, all I can say... E even in my time here, Al, yeah. like, um, and, and forget my time here, even in my time just working with Jadeite, yeah. I think I'm just happy enough to go on record right now and say this is going to be the best deal we've ever done on any Jade. I, I, I was about to say ever something done. very similar. I, yeah. I think this has to be one of... If, if what I've heard is yeah. the reality, mm -hmm. and I don't, I, you know, even if it weren't, to be honest, but... Ready? I, I'm I just calling so. one price, and it's like you get it or you don't. Like, that's it. We only made 50, unfortunately. Of course, I'm, I'm thrilled we just have more than one. Yours today for 199. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's it. That's unbelievable. We, I'm fairly sure, Dave, we've Unrivaled, done... unparalleled, not just access, but value. We've done much smaller sizes yeah, for yeah, that price. Well, I've never done a size we? like this. We've never seen a size like this. We've never been able to auction anything like this. And, and when, like we always say, when we can do an exceptional deal, we do. Like, uh, when, when we can provide, you know, Opportunities like this, we always will. We're not scared to. That's no. it. Ye May, you've got two. Lanarkshire, you've yeah, got four. Amazing. Satvia, you've got three. Lindy, you've got two. Uh, Greater London, you've got three. I'm absolutely like, it's amazing to know that you can multi buy, that you can create um, a what different a look. Piece of jewelry yeah, that would be. Are you, I'd be intrigued to know whether you're going to put them all in one amazing design. Imagine that. Um, yeah, please do. I'm sure you would anyway. Get it valued. And if you put two raised. together, you're looking at over like approaching 1,500 carats. I know. That's amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. And, and like I said a few moments ago, we've brought you, I'm fairly sure, 10 millimetres at 199. These are almost double that. So yeah. 19 millimetres. And, and so difficult size. to do. So, so difficult, difficult to do. So difficult. When you think this, in amongst this amazing jade fever, which I, I, I love that term because it is so true. And that's not just here at Jewelry Maker, by the way. That is the West. Literally the West. Um, I've never seen 19 millimeter in their size around. So that's because they're so wasteful. Dave's explained the reasoning why. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, incredible, Dave. I can't believe that this is even happening, to be honest, right now. Yeah, well, if you can't believe it, then you're, you're going to fall off your chair right now, because I'm going to go again. Um, I've, I think I've got half the stock remaining, right? Really? Yeah, I think we've got about 20 remaining, right? Yeah, and if you guys know me, I'm not just going to take a little bit off. When we go, we're going to go in a big way. We're not going to like put a clock on your screen and be dramatic unless we're really going to attack that price. So I am going to ask for a 30-second clock, please, Adam. And we are going to make huge savings for those of you that have already gone on the phone lines, those of you that have multi-bought. We're going to provide you with an exceptional deal. This is it. It's about to get better. Ye May, you've just upped your order to three. Maker in Hertfordshire, you've just got two. Well done. 17 seconds. Uh, OK. I don't actually understand... I don't actually understand how. We're live, aren't we? We're live. Yeah, reaction. We're not like, um, we're not, you know, regardless of what we bring you, regardless of what we have access to, we're not Asprey in London. Mm -mm. We're not happy to sit on this for like five years and no. take these, you know, That's these true. stuffy kind of appointments and pour your glass of champagne and forget it. It's here right now. It's going to go right now. Like, we, we, we're going to... That the, is the difference, you know. And, they, yeah. and jewellers do sit on, and also, on, well, on like, gemstones for years. We, we, you know. You guys know. It's no secret. Raise thin margins, OK? This is not a bricks-and-mortar store on, 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 in Mayfair. The most expensive real estate in the world. The fact that Russian oligarchs and, mm. and, and you know, uh, people from the Middle East are just investing in property in London because of the returns, because of the exceptional, eye-watering, skyrocketing prices. Yep. We're not going to have this store in Mayfair where like, we, we've got to take you know, these ludicrous kind of prices because we have to justify this. We're here. We're, like, we're, we're in the middle of England. We're in like, a, a warehouse, essentially. Okay? That's the reality. We're real. We're live. We're in your living room right now, and we're going to give you access to the most coveted, um, the most wow. elusive, the most enigmatic gemstone on the planet. Yours today for 179 Oh, my goodness. Good luck. Wow. Get involved where you can. Um, if you were one of the few that, that managed to get four of these or three of these, look, think about the savings you're making. I know, I and know. If, you, I know. if you're on the fence, I hope you can get involved. 
I, I don't know why anybody would be on the fence. Like I said, we have never seen this size before and, and quite probably will never see this size ever And there's again. plenty of things, right, that we get to see that you don't get to see. Um, yeah. Like, you know, when I go to Hong Kong, when we go to like Tucson, when you came to Tucson, I get to see things that we can never bring to you, right? But I'm telling you, I've never seen this anyway. No. Not like, oh, we've never bought you this. I'm saying I've never seen these kind of sizes. It's significant. Absolutely. It's important. Absolutely. Do make sure you check out Weldon, Maurice, Richard, Yimei, Hertfordshire, Pauline, uh, Susan, Margaret, Victoria, Melanie, Lynn, London, Hello to you, Valentina, Susan, Susan, Tina, Judith, new customers. Um, if you've got any basket, do not leave it there. If you are looking, or if you're told you've missed out, you can always wish to. I, I've just looked at the split payments <laughs> now, 59.66. We, we struggle to keep up with like the quantities and things. We try our best, but speak to someone. Speak to the contact centre, let them tell you that it's sold out. Try your look, see if the one drops back in or whatever happens. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, we've, do you know, since this launch, do you know how many brand new customers have gotten involved? On this? On this? No. Six. Oh, my gosh. Brand well, you've, new you, customers. You, if you're brand new and you've just acquired that Jedi, you've peaked. Yeah. There's people that have been watching 12 years that have never had access like this. You've completed it. You've done it. You can like switch it off now. You can I think this morning or do whatever you want. I'm joking. Stay with us. We have obviously an incredible show. We have the masterclass coming up in a little bit. But truly, there are collectors right now that may not have tuned in that have been, you know, staunch collectors for over a decade that have just never ever dreamt no. this opportunity would happen, and they'll never know about it because that's what we do. On and gone. We, we suspect they're traders, Dave. Oh well, you know what? Everyone's welcome. We don't yeah, discriminate absolutely. if you're a trader. Absolutely, for sure. Well Keep done. Darling through. There's only a couple left of those. Oh. It, it, it's, we, we're, we're still in that round, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Remember, the average slice thickness is about 12 mil. What are these? 13. There you go. Again, so we're still... dealing with something that is exceptional. Sizes we are not used to, we're not accustomed to. Again, top crystal, incredible crystallization, top water. How many of these, Leon? 50 or oh, so. Okay. Well, you know we're going to do an incredible deal. You know it's going to be better than anything you've seen so far. Are you going to miss this opportunity? I think this would work so well with the 90, like creating oh, a graduation. Yeah, create that graduation. A beautiful sort of a longer line necklace. How amazing mm. would that be? Phenomenal. Look at the glow on yeah. these. It's that wonderful, quite spearmint-like green. Yeah. Just consistent coloration in each of the rounds. Um, again, you know, we'll hold the light like a light bulb. Unbelievable. Let's let's bring the graphics live. 50 opportunities. Are you going to be one of the collectors that gets this? Are you going? Are you there? Are you ready? Um, I can see the phone lines filling up already. There is only 50. It's not like 150. It's not 200. This is it. Your you know unrivaled opportunity. You know you've seen the huge 19 mil. Now we're in the equally uncharted territory of of the 13 mil right now. Oh. Wonderful consistent colour. Yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. I started before at 999. I'm going to start this one at 799. We're going to put that in straight away. Okay. Even here, though, like we have to start somewhere, don't we, Dave? Yeah. Like I said, we're very different to your, high, uh, to your yeah. jewellers um, in a sense that we've got the quantity that they'd be lucky probably to see in a, mm -hmm. in a lifetime, maybe. Um, anyway, um, but... You've got to start somewhere, but yeah, we could start at five, six thousand pounds. But I mean, there is just no way to ascertain the value of something like this. No, so I just want you to understand how how unbelievably low we're going to go. Unbelievable. That's what's going to happen. If you saw the other auction, if you're one of the lucky collectors who managed to get it, or maybe you were one of the new collectors that managed to get it, yeah, you are going to be able to get this. I'm going ridiculously low. That's that is what I promise for you. You, you've, you, none of you, even if you've seen the previous auction have any inkling how low we're about to go. Mm. So I'm just going to say, I'm not even going to mess about it. We're not going to stagger it. You know, and what I mean by stagger it, if you are one of the new collectors, sometimes we, the team communicates to us, don't go to the price straight away because we're trying to manage the call volume. Yeah. So we're going to stagger it in stages so we can get these people through on the phone lines. We don't have like a big quantity. We haven't got like a thousand. And sometimes we do of certain auctions and we don't have 500 or 200. Or just 50 opportunities. There's thousands watching right now. I'm going to one price. I'm going to ask for a minute clock. This is your minute. Like, this isn't like um, some kind of gimmick. It's like I'm giving you a minute to, to get this in your basket, to, to get on the phone lines, to secure your piece before I call the final price because there's going to be a rush. And uh, we've communicated how, how low we are prepared to go. I don't think anyone 
he's ready for this. Can you imagine those dotted in between? Oh, yeah. What a phenomenal, oh, phenomenal look. Be absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. 30 Half a minute. millimeters in their size. They're absolutely huge. And, Glow uh, on them, even right. on the back of my hand, David. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I was trying to show you this crystal that we talk about because there is, like I said, this is how you value jade. And you say, you know, the finest jade should hold the light like a light bulb. So These are like blinding. Gosh, they really do, don't they? Yeah. It's like top, you can see the string through them. Look at that. And I love, I love the, the idea of here at Jewelry Maker, for instance, that you guys are the designers. Like we're offering you these moments, but you will have these imaginations filled with what you can create. You're about to, you, are you ready for this, Liam? No, he says okay. no. Well, I hope you guys are, is, is more important. Um, we're going to take 700 pounds off the price. Oh my goodness me. 50 opportunities. <laughs> Even Double Director figures. Adam said, uh, pardon? Yeah, it's mad. What? It's crazy. Do you, know, do you know, I don't know how many times we've said this before, Dave, but um, um, myself here in the studio. We talk about the wonderful creations. They're one-of-a-kind pieces that our jewellery makers are, are working with. Yeah. You know, they are one-of-a-kind pieces. Yeah. How amazing, like the Antiques Roadshow of the future. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine, like, your great-great-great-great-great-grandchildren or something... <coughs> yeah, there's, no one's going to look at this and go, oh, this is from Jewelry Maker circa no, 2023. They're going to go, this is certified Taipei Jedi. You know, regardless of where it's from. The, the Barbara Hutton piece, no one even know where it came from. No. They just know that it's exceptional Jedi. Exactly. You know, no one knows the, the, the storied history of that. By the way, it's available. This is happening. It's £33 on interest-free split payment. Crazy. It's £99 as a one-off <laughs> deal if you want to do it that way. There's opportunities. I don't want you to think you've missed out because you might look at that. I know what it's like. Sometimes you look at it and you go, I must have missed the boat. But th that price is so good that like, there's no point calling. There is. There's absolutely, I'll tell you not to call mm. if there wasn't an opportunity for you because I, I, I know how negative an experience that is if you call up and you miss out. You're going like, oh, to curse in me yeah. out. So I'm letting you know there is an opportunity for you. It's a free phone number if you want to do it that way. You can also use our app, which means you haven't got to wait in a queue. You can use the website again, which means you don't have to wait in a queue. Very simple, very easy. Yeah. I always say that to my mom, who's like dead set against it. She doesn't really get phones and that, you know? Yeah. Every time she asks me to do something on her phone, I'll be like, do you know you got like 30 messages? <laughs> now they've just gone through and she just, has, they're just like from 2013 or something. It gives me anxiety. But, yeah, yeah, but even my mom will use the website and the app now because it's yeah. just really easy. Um, and uh, it's amazing at Jewelry Maker. Like, I understand there is um, a resistance to it on, on gems. And that's because, like, when we're bringing finished jewelry, you want to make sure you get your size. Yeah. You're like, oh, I want to speak to someone and make sure that I can get my size. Because you guys are the people that are creating the final destination for this Jada. You yeah. get, to, cr you get to, to make it exactly how you want it. I would always recommend the app and the website. It is, you know, trusted. Oh. It's brilliant. It's um, fast. It's easy, above all. And it means that you haven't got to wait in a queue. It means you can just snap this up, swoop in and take it. We are literally at £99 with interest-free split payments over the course, I think, of three months. Yes, yeah, three months. We are we are significantly over-allocated on that. So um, Victoria, Heidi, Cumbria, Andrea, Susan, Judith, Irina, Janet, Maker, Carolo, everyone that's there. Well done, guys. Um, check out because we're over-allocated on that one. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, incredible. Well. Well done. Oh. That's a lot of multi buyers and, and why not? Well done to every single one of you. So now let's move to multicolored eight. Ah, oh, that's that strand, isn't it? This one. Yeah, it's exceptional. You can see. Oh. Yeah. Is this the one, right? Ethan, this is it. And you can see you've got those honey jadeites, you've got those wonderful so rings, beautiful. you've got the white jadeites. Yeah, it's just like, it's kind of just showing off. That should be in like Bond Street. Yeah. That should be in Mayfair. And again, Adam's got this wonderful recording of it, this like depiction of it where it's in the daylight and you can see the light just passing through this material. It's they're like, they're like liquid, aren't they? The luster, the translucency, that, that jewellery is just incredible. Uh -huh. Amazing. I'll hold it up to the neckline for you so you can all... How many of these, Liam? 50. Oh, oh God. 100. Right, then we're going to do something crazy. It's all type A, it's not dyed, no polymer impregnation, no treatment whatsoever. If you want to own this, it's going to happen right now. Bigger the quantity, bigger the deal. Um, beautiful size, very wearable, ready to go, pretty much. 
and showcasing those ultra rare colors. And, and some of those colors, like I said, can only be found in the skin yeah. of the well, Jada. Yes. And I showed you how thin the skin is comparatively. So to get a solid round in those colors is nigh on impossible. Well, we just saw on your slice, literally, yeah. it's like, it's, it's, it's wafer, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So this is uh, the skin of a boulder. Um, and uh, we always talk about where the only place that the kind of colors, the fancy colors can live is in that portion that gets oxidized, mm -hmm. which is the skin. I always tell you the flesh of it, if it was like an apple, it's a cross section of an apple, like a slice, the skin, the flesh of it will always be that green color, and maybe some plumes of lavender. Mm -hmm. But the, the only place that the, the, the honey colors, the reds can live is in this really thin layer. And this is why you just get usually veining of the yeah. color in pieces to get a solid round carved from that means you've got to have a very unique boulder and you've got to have exceptional colour. And, and you've got the transparency here. So you really have. 100 opportunities. Let's get the graphics in. Wow. I love this. I love the simplicity of this design. Alan and yeah. Sue have literally just knotted it with like a coordinating colour of silk. Perfection. It's good. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. It's just understated. It's elegant. It's classic. It's timeless. Less is more sometimes. And I think I love the kind of random assortment of colours that you get. That, that elephant is coming up that's hand carved which is again exceptional. It is a really high grade of jade as well in terms of the transparency. I'm just letting you know, I'm going double figures on this strand. Okay? Really? I'm letting it out right now. I've got a hundred opportunities. My recommendation again, when I know that we're gonna do something crazy um, is to, to multi-buy. You've seen, and by the way, I'm not just gonna stop at 99.99, just so okay. you know. It, okay. Forget the carrot weight. Look at the, the colors, look at the, yeah. the consistency, look at the transparency, the translucency, look at the colors on display, like lavenders folding into these beautiful whites, then you've got the honey colors, you've got these kind of almost blue gray colors, you've got the, what we call the, um, the russet tones. Mm. It, that, this is the thing, it surely should be more considered because of the presence of the red and the other colours, the yeah, yellows, yeah. But the dove. We never, like I'm not here to value it, I'm here to give you a deal and we got an exceptional deal on this, so, so are you. I'm not saying, wow, because the red we're going to go higher, no, we're going to start at £99. Okay. I'm starting Starting. There. Okay, if, you, if you're one of the okay. hundred right now, there's an opportunity for you. If you want to multi-buy, go ahead, I'm starting at £99. You've got, there's a hundred opportunities. Use the app, use the web. Make sure you're securing your piece. We're about um, to do something unbelievable. Look how perfect that is. Um, maybe, well, you did say out loud that it was going under uh, um, to double figures. Yeah. But the fact we got 100 there has been an instantaneous deluge of people. On okay, the you know what? Minute lines. clock, final prices come in. I'm not oh. going to wait. I can see you with you in your baskets. I can yes. see you on the phone lines. Just all, the only thing I would, the cautionary tale, just make sure you're checking out. Because if you miss out, that's it. Well, I've told you everything you want to know, right? It's type A, it's 100% natural. You know you've got over 100 carats. You know you've got those ultra rare, beautiful colors. And you know we're going lower, significantly lower than the price on your screen. Multi buyers are now flooding in. Mm. I only add 100 at the start of this auction. I don't have 100 now. In, in less than, well, in about half a minute, we're going to reveal the final price and it will be just down to you guys if you want to own it. Now, we know it's in so many baskets. In fact, if, if you all checked out, it's gone. But only, only, what, 70 of you can check out, even if it's in 200 baskets. So just make sure you're one of the, the, the lucky few that can check out. You're all yeah. poised, you're all ready. Good luck. My goodness me. There will come a day when, unfortunately, we can't bring you this beautiful gemstone, and it is nearing rapidly. For sure, I mean, you can tell by the, the, the quantities. You know, yes. We used to be able to bring you that, the big 300, 500 quantities. Can't need more, right? This, I mean, this is a huge quantity now, just 100. 79.99, and you've got your split payment, which is just crazy. I didn't know that you had that. If you want to use that, absolutely do that. But just make sure you are on the phone lines or on the app or on the web. Make sure you're one of the collectors that's benefiting from the crazy deals we're doing this morning. £26.66 pence per month. £26.66. 80 quid. Can we just put this into perspective for a second? I went and bought some new bedding on, yep. uh, a couple of days ago. Bought some new bedding. Mm-hmm. And paid more than what's on your screens. Yeah, I can imagine. But, you know, and this is something... And that's not going to be on the on... Antiques Roadshow, is it? No. It's not, it's not going to be passed down to no. your children in like 30 years. Like, exactly. I, I bought this bedding many years ago from Tesco or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. From Elm or whatever. And it's like, not interested. Thanks very much. I'll buy no, my thanks. own. No, thanks. You've Who got the opportunity this? right now to own something that is, has been, you know, out of reach for hundreds of years in the West, uh, uh, for sure. Um, we know there's lots of developments happening in the, um, 
in the market. You know, we know the mines aren't, aren't producing. Do you know what? Let's do something insane. It is insane. No, I know it is, but let's do a 30 second clock. Let's get them gone today. I don't want to put like 30 back in the vault. We have oh, 100 oh, of these. Oh, oh, Liam's objecting right now. Oh. So just tell him. Liam, you don't have a microphone, mate. He's so not listening. You don't have the microphone. I don't have an earpiece. Yeah. You don't have to communicate that. Huh? No. Like, just let him object in silence. Yeah. Um, we're going lower. You put him back in his place. Yes, Liam. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, Liam. Get on board. He said uh, half the stock's gone already. Half isn't good enough. Okay. Half Let's is not good enough. Let's do a sellout then. We're live. Let's oh, we're going to do a sellout. I'm game. Liam, game. Liam, you guys know Liam. He's one of our like, senior producers in the business. He worked with us on Jewelry Maker for so long, still does. He now works at Hobby Maker and he's shouting at me. He's like, we sell paper for more than this. <laughs> we're going to go wildly low right now. You ready? Forty nine ninety nine. Let's oh get it gone. That's the price me. of a charm. It is. That's the price of a charm. Yeah, it is. Good luck. It actually is. And, and you just hit the, hit the nail on the proverbial head there, Dave. Yeah. It is, you, you can actually buy some packs of paper oh, from yeah. our sister channel for forty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. They're not running out of paper, are they? No. But here you are with these multitude of colours. Oh, Ultra my word. Ultra rare, phenomenal, natural, certified. I wish, I genuinely at this point, we shouldn't have done it. We are live, we are reactive, and we just do crazy things sometimes. You guys know, that's why you tune in. Um, we don't do this every day, but I wish I had 500 of these right now because I know oh, we're gonna, I know it's gonna be an absolute sellout, and why not? Valerie, you've got two. Yimei, you've got two. Sapvi, you've got two. Jenny, you've got two. It goes off my screen. I mean, it is just like Noah's Ark on the phone lines. Two by two by two. In fact, Maker and Get London's bought three of these. Well done, congratulations. Uh, Liam, he's like, can you, can you get that split payment off? He said, that's, rid yeah. that's ridiculous. Yeah, I think we might need to. <laughs> My daughter's videoing me right now because she's like, he's madman. He's she's so mad. beautiful, Dave. Oh, that's she's mad. so beautiful. I think, I think she oh, she's having good. a little photo. She might be doing a YouTube video or something. I don't Probably know. start TikTok dancing and oh, everything. Yeah. We can see her literally in the, gra in the glass above us. Um, <laughs> start doing TikTok moves. £16.66, though, Dave. Split. Now, what we're going to do, Dave, um, uh, we're just, I'm just being advised in my ear that the call centre is, is bombarded at the moment. So Good. I mean, I'm glad it is. I'm glad. Up. If it wasn't bombarded, I think we'd gone off the airwaves. I think, yeah, like, oh, is this happening? Are we going out? Is my mic still there? I know. You know, th I'm glad. Like, we, this is what happens when you give jewellery away like this. Yeah. Then it's, I mean, if we had a shop on Mayfair and we just put that price in the window, you'd have that many people queuing outside the store. Absolutely. It's just Absolutely. Um, unbelievable. Well done to every single one of you that is at benefiting and, and and a special congratulations to those of you that are doubling and tripling yeah. and some of you quadrupling your saving well done we never planned to go this low but you know what we do we're live we're reactive and we we make it up on the fly and give you these exceptional the deals fly. where we can well done to every single one of you stay where you are on those phone lines we're just going to allow our call center and the website yeah. to catch up um but like i said Check out as soon as you can because make no doubt about it. More deals coming. Just More out. deals. More coming. deals coming. That beautiful elephant that so many of you got your eye on, I know. And you've also got greens and lavender. Lavenders lavender. Well. lavender. I can't wait to yeah. talk to you about that. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back on the other side of this.
My name's Yvonne Froelich and I'm from Somerset uh, and I'm part of the competition for Britain's Next Gem. A friend introduced me to Jewellery Maker and at that time I was um, playing about with beads and well in fact I tried it all um, from polymer clay to macrame to comahimo to everything and then I said to my husband look I've seen this workshop that's come up and it was a 10 week uh, silversmithing course and that was how it started and onwards and upwards from then on so be careful it is addictive. I entered this competition simply because I saw the um, the advert and then I thought well why not so I sent in my application and I was invited along with others um, to Jewellery Maker for the first audition and that's where it all started then we were asked to come back the second time we were met by staff when we got there and everyone was so friendly they put us at ease um, we were given bits and pieces we were able to decide what we were going to make and then we went into the studio which was all very scary and we were interviewed, we met uh, Hannah Osborne was uh, looking after us and asking us questions and we were working away uh, and we were with Elle that day and um, yeah so that was our, our first um, flavour of being on screen. My collection stems from a piece that I took with me to the first audition. It's where I set a stone in a bezel, then I drill a bigger stone uh, and set that inside and set the bottom stone again in another bezel. One of the other things I like to do, as well as setting stone on stone, is when I set a cabochon into a bezel, I like to cut out a pattern on the back so that um, it's interesting from the back and the front. I get my inspiration from quite a number of places. Um, mostly is because I like learning new techniques. Um, since I started jewellery making, I've got this thirst for learning new things. It's what keeps me going, it's what keeps driving me. And every time I learn a new technique, then I get new ideas. It would be, mean the world to me if the viewers voted for me. Um, it would be a dream come true. I hope that the, I might inspire other people who have been watching Jewellery Maker and watching people doing their silversmithing, making their jewellery, even making a business out of it, but they're on the telly and I can't possibly do that. I'd like to tell you that actually you can, so please vote for me, I'd be absolutely delighted. Okay, I don't, I don't remember showing this. I think we spoke about it briefly. We've been inundated with messages about the, the elephant. That's nearly 50 carats. It is hand carved. Awesome. Um, I'm going to put this on pre-order. I'm going to promise it you in double figures just to show you that it is that, you know, the, the same grade we've been talking about all show. I want to show you that oh, translucency. Look at it. Now, even, even, just want you to understand something, right? And I'm, I'm working with carvings at the moment uh, with another project. These are hand carved. They take a, a, a long time. Uh, even in Asprey, even with the, the Asprey carvings that they're bringing, yeah. they're done by laser technology. Oh, really? Yeah, this is, sorry guys, this is a dying art, right? This is an absolute dying art in the world of jadeite. Like, th th this is the, the, the skill that's been passed down over 10,000 years. Um, and now with like modern machinery, with lasers, um, and it's kind of like laser water jets because obviously it needs to be abraded with like sand and water, which for me takes the, 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 the romance out of it. It takes that... I mean, that's carved by like your modern day, the equivalent of like Michelangelo. That's the reality. Yes. Most expensive canvas on the planet. Yeah. Hand carved. It's over amazing. Over so many hours. I'm going to promise it. It's nearly 50 carats. It's over 40 carats. I'm promising it in double figures. You can put that on, on pre-order right now. But I have to dive into uh, something that oh. uh, Elle showed a little bit earlier on. Some of you have managed to actually pre-order this. I don't even know how. Um, and, and we're talking about like this combination here, right? You know, you talk about... That red jadeite, type A red jadeite, with the elephant. You want to create that? Let's bring the red jadeite right now. That's um, so beautiful. 30 second clock to graphics on the red jadeite. Th um, there's a hundred of them, of the red jadeite strands. And uh, you've seen the crazy deals I'm doing. We say the bigger the deal, 
the, the bigger the quantity, the bigger the deal. That's exactly what I'm going to do on this. It's the only red jadeite in the building right now. Oh, really? The only red jadeite in the building, certainly in the show right now. Um, 100 opportunities, phenomenal deal. A lot of you think you may have missed the boat on red jadeite. We've only done um, two incredible showcases in the two years, one a year. It is the rarest and most elusive variety of jadeite. It forms only in the skin. We're going to bring the graphics in right now. The elephant is on pre-order. It's double figures. You're going to be able to get it. Um, so be quick. 60 carats here. Stunning. In and red jadeite. Now, uh, my, one of my fondest memories um, here at Jewelry Maker is when our wonderful Susie Menom said, I didn't even know you could get red jadeite. Yeah. That, that for me, yeah. was like, wow, we've okay. done something really special. Here. Yeah. Because... There, there are people who work with jadeite and have worked with jadeite for hundreds of years, like as a family, that may have never even encountered red jadeite. It is uh, the, the rarest of, of the colors, right? Mm. So as I explained, and I think we showed earlier, you know, with this uh, slice that I brought in, the red can only exist in the skin. Yeah, you're never going to find a whole bowl. It cannot though. exist in the flesh. Yeah. cannot exist in the flesh. Whereas lavender can, mm. the red and the russets cannot. So when you see, like, a, for instance, a Christie's or Bonhams, you see, like, sometimes listed a red jadeite bangle, it will be a white bangle or a green bangle with about a stripe of red running through it. And they'll refer to it as a red jadeite. Yep. To have this, I am not even qualified, never will be, on how to adjudicate the value of this, of something this rare. It's ludicrous. I mean, try and find, and I'm talking type A. I mean, remember, I've shown you bangles on first dibs that are AIG certified natural jadeite, and when you delve into the lot of details, they are treated. Yeah. Right? So I'm talking type A. Forget them saying natural. Type A is what we mean. Type A means it is not treated in any way. It's not enhanced in any way. It's not heated. It's not coated. It's not dyed. It's not, uh, uh, you know, been polymer impregnated with like a resin. It, it has been found, it has been cut, and it's sensational. That is the, the, the natural, elusive, red certified jade eye. And you can tell it's natural because there is not uh, one consistency of saturation. No. It's mottled, right? You get like the, the wonderful oranges, you've got these, these really deep, intense reds, you've got the, the whole scope, really, of those natural myriad of colors, and that tells you that we are natural. Now, I'm talking to you at home, Maybe you want to cr work with this. Maybe you say to yourself, well, you know, maybe you want to create a strand. That's fine. There's a lot of you that will probably say, I want to take a few of these, maybe mix them into earrings, take a few of these, mix them into mm. a strand, into bracelets. It's an opportunity. It's a parcel. I, I do genuinely have 100 opportunities, and I am going to do a phenomenal deal. Now, I want to start this one just because of the unrivaled kind of rarity, even in the world of jade, which I think we all understand how elusive it is. And with the prices we've done today, 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 we should start this at four grand. Yeah. Like we should, can we do that, please, Liam? I'm not, I, I promise you, I wouldn't tell you to get on the phone if I wasn't going to do a sensational deal. But realistically, when I spoke to Roland Schlussel, who is one of the, the world's foremost Jedi authorities in the West, he's been awarded the Rainer Diploma from Christie's themselves, he works with some of the finest Jedi, and he contributed to that book that I always carry around. He's one of the 21 gemologists who contributed to it. He was the one that said to me that, to even find pictures of Red Jade up for the book was mm. so difficult. Mm. He also was the one that said, look, I think the future for Jade, like we know the Imperial Green commands the highest price, but he said, trust me, the lavenders, the reds, those honey tones, the fancy colors he calls them, are the ones that, there he is, thank you so much, Adam. Um, and you'll notice, this is a clip of film, isn't it? So I can take you to his booth, right? It's the guy that's got the best Jadeites in the West. And he wrote that article that he's holding in the Incolor magazine. And he's got lavender. He's got like borderline, really intense green. Everything he brings you is type A. He's got moss and snow. He's got gray. He's got ice jade. He's got lavender. He's got imperial green earrings. Everything. Like he's got things ranging from over a million dollars to about $2,000. All wholesale prices. And you've got the yellows uh, or the honey, as he calls them. Look, you see the prices like 2000 14000 well, yeah. like, this, this is wholesale prices, right? Yep. 11000 whatever it may be. And we can run through it. And in his whole booth, there's not, a, not even a single speck of red jade. Nope. There's just two lavenders there. They're $3,960 wholesale. Like in, sale. Yeah, this is the thing. This is not this What is we not do retail. is so different. This is why I don't mind taking our customers to... Um, our collectors to the trade shows because like these deals don't exist. I'll get a Tucson, we buy rubies and sapphires. I don't buy jade from Tucson. I buy jade from China. I buy it from Hong Kong. Mm. We go direct to source. We work with the best jadeite, um, jadeite houses in the world and we buy as big as we can. This is an opportunity not afforded to most and no. not afforded by most. 
Well, look at... I, I, I followed Mason K. Can't believe yeah. I didn't. I hadn't done before that. Anyway, um, it was you actually speaking to. Yeah, them I recommend it. I, I love them. I made fast Lovely. friends with the guys at Mason and K. So knowledgeable, they have tiny so approachable. Amounts, don't yeah. they? Of red jade. Tiny. And pieces. you've seen the prices, right? Yeah. That's because of how rare this is. Yeah. It's not because they're making some huge profit. It's because it's so difficult to obtain. What they worry about, and rightfully so, is if we sell this too cheap we can't get it again. We can't mm. replace it. We can't get it back in, right? And that, the, the, the best analogy, I think, that we all understand is like houses, right? My parents bought their first house for like under 20,000 mm -hmm. pounds. They don't own it anymore, but I mean, it's probably worth 200 grand now, that house. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't go, we're just going to sell it for 23,000 pounds. We're making a profit. It's great. Because exactly. they can't get back into the property market. No, you have to exactly. sell at the market value to enable you to get back in, right? And that's how you move up the ladder. Yeah. Right? We don't worry about that. Mason and Kay have to, because they only sell jadeite. Yeah, exactly. I am going to do a minute clock and give you one crazy deal. One crazy deal, that's it. A quarter of the stock's gone, 100 opportunities. Good luck to every single one of you. Um, 56 seconds. Well Unbelievable. Done. Amazing. And, 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 and I would, I would really, really it's, recommend multi-buying. Absolutely. It's I a parcel that. of the rarest colour. You know, I, we, we quite, I don't know, flippantly you know, use the term strand. And that is a term that we use in the jade world. But this is a huge parcel. So, yeah, if you, if you do pop along, and I'd encourage, it was literally Dave's advice, um, to follow Mason and Kay. You will see those tiny, tiny little... Even, 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 thank you um, so much, uh, Liam. I don't know where the clicker is, but if you just go back, I'll tell you when to stop if that's okay. Like, keep going. The other way. Sorry. Keep going. <laughs> that, that, that. That. This is like a snuff bottle, okay? It sold uh, tw 20 years ago. Mm. $18,000. And it's got a vein of red through it. Absolutely. It exists only in the skin. Can I have another 30 second clock? Because I just want to speak to everyone at home and just say, I know that a lot of you are going to think I've missed out when I call the final price. So I'm going to give you another 30 seconds. I'm just going to let you know right now, multi buy time. Legitimately, I'm going ridiculous. Uh, but let, let me cycle through this and show you like red jadeite in the industry. Okay, the, the reason Mason and Kay have to, not this one, um, Liam, sorry, mate. Uh, not this one, this one. This is what I was talking about. Like just to even get a hint of red. Yeah. They call that a red jadeite bangle and 20% of it is red. The majority of it is white, which is still sensational. White Taipei Jedi, it's sold uh, in 2014 for $25,000. Mm -hmm. And you've got a whole strand, an epic strand of matched, incorrect. Right, I did tell you, multi buy. I can see Leona you have, Jenny and Dorset you have. This is your deal, this is your moment. Liam, get ready for, for oh, pandemonium on the phone lines. We're going to do this strand for $79.99. <sighs> Oh, I told you the deal was going to be crazy today. So low. I did say it. I'm, I'm absolutely. And the rondelles, the Dave, as well, which yeah. are wasteful, right? Yeah, of course. It, 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 to be fair, anything on a strand like a rondelle, uh, a briolette, a round is going to be extremely, extremely uh, wasteful. But we are dealing with the most elusive. Forget price. Forget value. We're just giving you an exceptional deal. Um, Melanie, Maker, Susan, Tracy, Wendy, Leone, Margaret, Valerie, Jenny, Satvia, Regine, Maker, Valerie, we've got Julie, Victoria, Geraldine in County Tyrone. This is it, 100 opportunities, mm. legacy material. Absolutely. Type A jadeite. And if you've just tuned in, you're probably thinking there's no way jadeite comes in that color. It does, uh, only very rarely. And this is a, a natural occurrence of that. That is what the type A means. You know, that is the the the... the, the the kind of criteria for type A. It has to be 100% natural. Type B is uh, polymer impregnated. Type C is dyed. This is it, £26.66. You can do it. We, we brought to your screens 100 opportunities, which means there is a healthy uh, uh, you know, um, opportunity for you. But you've got, to, you know, you've got to fight your corner. You've got to be on the phone lines. You've got to be on the app. You've got to be on the web, able to secure these deals. Type A, jadeite, jade in the red spectrum. Lynn, you've got two. Valerie, you've got two. Susan, you've got two. Tracy, you've got two. Well done. Yeah, there's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines right now, um, but do bear with us. I, I, I literally just ran off then. I don't want to. I didn't want to panic, Dave. Um, I saw, I saw. <laughs> but the reason why I was show, I wanted to was because this was spring. This, this was running through my mind. This Mason video, and Kay, yeah. Mason and Kay, and I'm sure. Oops, hang on a minute. It's gone back. Wait till it goes back to me. The, Look, literally tiny individual rondelles of red. Do you know what? 30-second clock, I'm going to go again. 
Because we're live. And, and because we're not putting any of these back in the vault. We've been, we've been brave all morning in terms of the pricing that we're doing, in terms of the savings we want to make you, and it's going to happen right now. Um, good luck. Make the most out of it. Mass 60 carats, I cannot believe that. And for those of you that know me or follow me, you know we're not just going to take a little bit off. It's going to be worth your while. Wow. 10 seconds to, to make this yours, I would say. Wow. 100 opportunities where we came to your screens where they're going to have a zero at the end of this auction. If you, if you get in the elephant, I think this is a must, really. I think they go so beautifully with the elephant carving. Oh. Mm. You know what we're going to do? No. Uh, you know the famous charm stores that were, like, big about 10 years ago? I know what you're going to do, I remember I, I, made, I got my mum one because I was like, this is, a, this is great for me because every birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas, I've got a gift ready to go because I could just go, go and get these charms. They're mass-produced. You know, it'd say, one would say mom, one would be something else, one would be something else. They, they were like, I'm going to call a price that I paid for a charm before. $49.99. Get three, get four. <laughs> yeah. I, ooh. Things have changed, haven't they, Liam? Yeah, Things have changed. Liam's, uh, you know, the last time Liam was here... Oh, he's just, my goodness he's, he's, me! He's never seen anything like it. He's shell-shocked in there. Do, is there a certain person as well who's um, maybe objecting to that? I just saw Wayne. Yeah. I'll just, show, I just show for you what Wayne did. I looked at Liam because I thought it was just Liam in there uh, through, like, the door, and the door opened, and Wayne just stepped out and he went... <laughs> There he is, he's not happy. <laughs> livid. Yeah, livid. You look, 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 Wayne. You know, it's done. It's good. Yeah. It's all good. Everybody's happy. We're sourcing the rarest colour right now for less than £50. <laughs> that is unheard of, though. There is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. Uh, it should be expected. 40 left, 70 in baskets. There's about a four minute queue on the phone lines. Use that time as well to get hold of that wonderful. That elephant, elephant. Wayne, you might want to cover your ears, mate. Uh, yeah, I just go for a luckily coffee break. For, luckily for, for Wayne, he's not an elephant because El, El was saying that elephants actually can pick up sounds yeah. in their... In their feet. Feet. Well, Wayne can't do it. So cover your ears, mate, because I've promised the elephant in double figures. Yes, yes, you have. That's what I've done. Elephant is... On the elephant, hand-carved, intricate, beautiful, uh, so much symbolism, so much meaning. More than that, though, just so much artistry. Oh, it's incredible. Here. It's absolutely and, uh, beautiful. It is going to be double figures. Well, this is yeah, all right. Here you go. Let's, let, let me let's play this game because I mentioned like one of the famous charm brands. We all know who I'm talking about. Yeah. And I've got nothing against them. I think it's amazing. But imagine going into one of those on the high street and they've just got these silver charms. Great. They're like literally printed almost. And you're like, oh, okay. And and you know you're like, I want to get a Christmas one. I want to get this or that. Imagine walking in <laughs> and they've got like a forty plus carat jade hand carved certified type A elephant. And they're like, what's the price on that? If, if, if a charm is this price, yep. just a silver charm, what about this jade eye? It would be yep. thousands. Even in what's there, the they would never have access to it, of course. Do, um, Dave, I walked past one of those at that, that charm shop, and there was what a, a piece of jewellery caught my eye. And like you, I like it. I, it's great. It's clever. It's I don't like it. Marketing. I don't wear it. I like, I'm, I'm no, on no, about no, for my I know mom. You right? don't, you're thinking yeah, gifts, okay. aren't you? There was a piece of jewellery in there that I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. It's really beautiful. It was like a gold plated, which is rare for mm -hmm. them to do. And it had little bumblebees, £500. And it was, it was resin. It Wayne's going to go and get a job there. Stone. Wayne's going to go and get a job there. He's like, yes, this, they've got it right. They're doing the right thing. He's like livid with me. And that wasn't even a genuine gemstone. Yeah. So this is it. Now, now let's do the elephant, right? Oh, I love the elephant. We have 100 elephants as well, don't we? Is there 100? Yeah. It's been on pre-order, though, so there's probably not now. Oh, 40 have gone on pre-order. Well done. Congratulations. I'm going uh, to reward those of you that were on the phone lines early. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. It's going to be an epic deal. You've seen how epic these deals are, okay? So I'm going to let you know that the elephant, I'm going to, set this, I'm going to say this straight out the bat, there's not a graphics or anything. I know what the price is meant to be on this elephant, okay? The price on the elephant is 79.99. Just letting you know, I'm not even going to start at a thousand pounds. The price goodness. on the elephant is meant to be 79.99. Why am I telling you that? Because I'm going lower. You've seen how kind of rogue we're going today. It is rogue. It's, it's one of those unique opportunities you've tuned in. This doesn't happen all the time, but we're doing it today. And uh, I'm not going to stop at 79.99. Should do. Not. not. Nope. And, okay. and like, yeah, there is this wonderful um, depiction of an elephant that made its way to Bonhams. It's obviously, it's larger. But I just want you to understand like, the value in the hand carving process. Mm. 
Um, also, I'm not going to mislead you. This, this comes from like a significant private collection. Okay, mm -hmm. it's the Somerset the Chair collection. Uh, this was back in 2014. It was an auction in Hong Kong, which is the market leader. Sold for over six hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Six hundred thousand. She's sweet, though. Yeah, she's sweet. She's beautiful. She's impressive. And you have the same technique. Okay, that was carved by hand. Yours is carved by hand. It's the same gemstone. They're both jade. Um, yours is translucent, though. Yours is actually, yeah. you know, translucent. It's not as large, but it's a real fine, fine grade. And we're just gonna, we're gonna. I, I, well, we're going to give it away, essentially, is the reality. Oh, she's absolutely... Let's bring the graphics in. 40 have gone on pre-order. There was 100. There's not any more. If you want it, it's now or never. Oh, like, this is, should never happen. Had Wayne known what I'd said, he'd have just pulled this auction. Probably. What I mean is he'd have just said, like, Probably. don't, let's not do that today. Yeah, don't you think as well, elephants are a species that everybody loves? Everybody yeah. gravitates towards elephants, don't they? Yeah, everyone just, loves elephants. They're, they're, yeah, this, I think it's that family. Well, and actually, I was talking with this about, to Susie a couple of days ago, and because we had elephants in sterling silver, mm -hmm. obviously, oh, yeah. so it's easy, mold, whatnot. Um, and she was saying family, yep. about family bonds. Absolutely. Uh, um, uh, good fortune as sure. well. Everything. They, they are one of those kind of iconic creatures. Yeah. Like, I can't believe they exist. Like, honestly, they seem mythical, don't they? Yeah. Like, if you'd never seen one and someone drew one and said, this exists, you know, it feels like it shouldn't be around. It's I've so heard. unique. It's so different. Yeah. God they God. are amazing. I've heard that scientists are interested in reintroducing the woolly mammoth. Yeah, I've heard this too. And their closest ancestor is the Indian elephant. Yeah. The smaller of the two. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm, I'm all for it. Personally, I mean, I just out of like curiosity, out of like, I want to see a woolly mammoth, mammoth who doesn't, <laughs> you know. I don't know if I mean the fact that we're even at that point in in history. Have they not seen like sci-fi Jurassic Park? Yeah, I know, but there's never like some bumbling mammoth going no, around, is true. there? No one's like, there's, no one's like running away from them. Mammoths would just be great. Yeah, true. Like, it'd be like like I say. Yeah, like I say. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Sid. No, Sid, Sid, no, Sid the sloth. sloth. I don't know. What's the, who? Manfred Manny. Manfred, yeah. Man, yeah. My favourite is the uh, saber tooth. Yeah. Diego. Yeah, Diego. He's a legend. He's cool. Anyway, let's put seventy nine ninety nine on the screen. Amazing. Hopefully, Amazing. Wayne doesn't share that that gift with the elephant that he will never forget, because this is going to be something that he's going to want to forget and very soon, because he's going to have nightmares this is, about this. This is a three dimensional carving as well. It's Absolutely. To say. Yeah. It's not just a flat carving. No, it's not like a cookie cutter. Like no. Uh, okay. It's, it's been carved. I mean, this would take hours and hours and hours. Yeah, she is carved. I mean, look at the detail on her trunk there. You've got the little tusks, beautiful little feet. Absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. and, and really a perfect size to be able, for, for jewellery makers to be able Absolutely. to create something with. Um, 30 second clock, please, Adam. Wow. So many of you getting involved already. She's stunning. She's stunning, isn't she? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I defy anybody to... Think of an elephant. Look at an elephant carving and not smile. You've just got those... It's, they're fond animals, aren't they? They are. They are. Uh, our finance director just walked across, just always reminding us that, like... Uh, he's there. Yeah, My he's presence. watching. Like, Wayne... No, that's the enforcement, isn't it? It's, it's like the Mitchell brothers. Walk, it's though, Wayne it? and the finance director, Mr Winsbeer, like, both of them yep. trying to get us off. But we're going to do it. We've said it. Um, yours today, forty nine ninety nine. Oh! Amazing. Just get it where you can, or, or you know, multi buy. If, if you want the ability to be able to work with this in the future, gift it to someone, something you know, as powerful, as auspicious, as beautiful as this intricately hand carved masterpiece. Let's not forget that. I know I'm my own worst enemy by going so low in price. I did say it, I said $49.99. And we've never done an elephant no. before, have we? No. We've done peacocks. Yeah. We've done deer. But never like three dimensional. No. Like we do them on like a, a, a medallion kind yeah. of surface, right? But this is like a three dimensional, freestanding, wonderful, intricate. Oh, she's hand so carved. beautiful. Um, and look, Claire, you've multi bought. Tracy, you've multi bought. Julie, you've multi bought. This opportunity, just so you know, shouldn't even be happening today. Like, yes, you should have the ability to get this elephant, but we should be at seventy nine ninety nine, which, by the way, is a crazy great deal. We've just decided. Wait, to we've do just this. we've just worked this out, Dave. You can make this necklace for less than a hundred pounds. Yeah, it should never happen. Obviously, you've got to add your your silver components, etc. Yeah, you'll have that in a drawer. You'll have had that, you know, with you. Like you'll have acquired this before. The fact that that piece there, 
anywhere in the world. Oh. God knows the price where you'd pay for something like that. It's all, I mean, if they said to you, it's all Taipei jade out, the ultra rare red jade yeah. out, this hand carved, intricate, beautiful elephant. Yi Mei, you're there, Jennifer, there, your maker, Victoria, Catherine, Alison, Lynn, maker, Tracy, Keith, Julie, maker, Pat, Wendy, Geraldine, Anne, maker, Jenny, maker, David. And we've got collectors from like Cleveland to Cumbria. I know, we yeah, are yeah, truly yeah. All global. The world. Right now. Well done to you guys for, for jumping on the front lines, getting involved. There are still, you know, 50 opportunities for you. Um, well over 70 of you still have it in your baskets, and that's, I mean, there's loads of you on the phone yeah. lines as well. <clears throat> and I assume people, yeah, there are, there are people multiplying because much like you might have the love of, of elephants, mm -hmm. you know, have we even done an elephant in any, any gemstone? You know, we're starting literally no with type A jadeite, which is just amazing. Um, but, you know, you'll probably know somebody that absolutely adores these too. People tend to, I'm thinking about Hannah, Hannah Osborne upstairs, she collects elephants. Really? Yeah. Wow. So whether that's, uh, whether that's... Do you know what? Is no. Wayne in there? Oh, well. Yes, he said very quickly. 30 second clock, please, Adam. Let's do something else. I'm not putting 40 back in the vault. And I know there's a big queue and there's 70 within your baskets. You obviously want uh, another deal. I'm going to give you one. That's what's going to happen right now. So good luck. 26 seconds if you want to get this. If you want to multiply, if you want to add to your order, we're going to go again. Up to and tongue is a happy elephant, by the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure how Wayne feels about this, by the way. Uh, he's not happy. He's grumbling. Yeah, he is he's, grumbling. He's, he's not happy, but you guys are happy, and that's what matters. That's, that's exactly. what we're here for. I want to give you and Wayne deep yeah, down. Yeah, Wayne. Like deep yeah, down, he wants, Wayne. To, wants to be happy. Wants he wants it to be busy. Customers wants to are happy. Great deal. Ready? I don't know what I can do here. Um, Thirty-four ninety-nine. Oh my goodness me! Thirty-four ninety-nine. But you have to. Like, and just and then when this price comes in, please, Adam, please maybe we should do a minute clock. Yeah. I can't have this on the screen for longer than a minute. I'm going to give you the opportunity. Uh, it's in 70 baskets. Damn it's time to check hard. out. We're not going again. This is the clock to close the auction. You've got 57 seconds to, to secure it, to check it out now. Well done. Um, we're thrilled to, to offer you this opportunity. It's brand new, never been seen before. It is Taipei. It is hand carved. And it's actually 34.99, which is just absolutely no. sensational. Victoria's got five. Uh, Dave, um... Srofsky do those little animals, mm. little crystal animals. Oh, yeah. They're more than that. I can imagine. And that's cut glass, yeah, yeah. effectively. Mm -hmm. This is type A jadeite. What yeah. an amazing, amazing deal. And if you are a retailer, I'm saying that because I know there's retailers on, the, yeah. uh, on our call screens right now. You know, people love elephants, don't they? Yeah, I mean, but, but even more than that, people love jadeite. Yes. You know, like, OK, we can go on about the elephants, and I get it, it's amazing, but this is like... This is 46 carats of, of, of jade. Yes. This is type A jade that is translucent and hand carved for less than a pound a carat. I know, it's crazy. Right? And, and by the way, when you, I know how you value jade. I don't know what the price should be, but when you value a carving, 60% of the value <laughs> is in the artistry. 40% mm. is in the raw material. Well, imagine if I just brought you a 46 carat cabochon of jade. <coughs> it would be more expensive than that. And it's hand carved. So you add 60% of the value on top of that for that detail. And we've just done it for like, a, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It is, yeah, there. but amazing. Two incredible deals coming your way. And we are talking about the, the world of lavender jade. And, and when we talk about lavender jade, this is the material that has risen in price faster than any other gemstone in the last 10 years. It's absolutely outrageous. Do we have um, a little clip of film to go to, to let the phone line simmer down? Yeah. When we come back, we give you these opportunities. They are very limited, two opportunities. You're probably gonna wanna get them both. Type A lavender jadeite, um, two strands coming your way um, after this. I'm Natalie Patton and I'm from Merseyside. So I started jewellery making about two years ago. Um, I make all sorts of different types of, of jewellery. Um, with lots of different methods and techniques. So I might use some tiger tail or elastic, do some bead stringing, but wire is um, my passion. My inspiration comes from the gemstone itself usually. Um, so the colors and the patterns in them and the shape of them, I use a lot of uh, cabochons. So my design will tend to come from what I feel works best with that particular stone. I don't know what I was thinking when I entered Britain's Next Gem. I was having a day where I must have just been overly confident and just thought, why not? I got an email to say, you know, I've made it through. 
Um, I, I cried, <laughs> let's face it. <laughs> I'm quite emotional. <laughs> so yeah, I, I did a lot of uh, squealing, a lot of giddy jumping up and down, dancing, happy dancers. So it was a very exciting day being in the studio, um, getting to meet the team, getting to see behind the scenes. You know, you watch Jewelry Maker, um, I watch on the telly mainly or on my phone, but to be actually there in the studio, I'd started off quite nervous. And now when I go, I just feel quite at home. You can't get rid of me now. <laughs> So I created um, the Gemstone Garden Collection. So they are a series of 12 different beautifully crafted uh, beads which are related to um, birth flowers. So each month is assigned a different flower so your bead will be shaped like that flower and in the centre will also be a birth stone as well. To, to be a finalist in Britain's Next Gem is, is just I keep saying incredible, there's not many other like superlatives I can come up with really. I love making things for people and I love seeing people wear the things I've made. To be able to create a collection that other jewellery makers can make with just fills me with absolute pride. I would think you should vote for my collection because you would be able to create a whole range of different jewellery making projects with it. They're very versatile um, and they're very lovely if I do say so myself. Gemstone Garden means that you can personalise and customise your jewellery pieces. So if you're making for somebody and you would like to include special months, maybe a birthday, then you can choose those particular beads that represent that month and that birthstone. Or if you've got a favourite flower or a fa favourite colour, you could choose that one too. There is no getting away um, what's happening with, with uh, the, the world of certainly Lavender Jadeite. I'm so like proud to be able to bring you Lavender Jadeite, truly am, because, you know, like I said, forget like price right now. In terms of, of like rarity, if you want to talk about that, um, when we talk about the Jadeite boulders, when a Jadeite boulder forms, like every time if there's Jadeite in it, it will be a variation of green. Now, you do get like these plumes of, 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 of lavender if you're really, really lucky. Yeah. And there is like in this, you can barely see it. You can barely see it, but there's like some really light lavender yeah, yeah, within it. it. And when you factor in the saturation that we've got right now, mm. I'm, I'm also going to explain to you about why the, the, the lavender is so hard to find, why um, it's never been stockpiled. And like, you, it's hard to really see it, but you kind of can get a little glimmer of this lavender within it so hard to find with any real saturation and with any sort of crystallization. It's so, so coveted, this incredible color of jadeite. I'm gonna kind of explain why. We know that there is no mining taking place in Ketchin State right now, but that's kind of all right. Not for us, we're gonna be priced out because the Chinese value it far more than we do. They don't want it to leave now. But there is, you know, I don't know how many years worth of jadeite still in China. Because remember, for 800 years or however long, the mines have been open for 800 years, there is this trade where like 20 tonnes every season of gem jade, wow. like Taipei, comes across the border. And if 90% of that is green, right, mm. then they've stockpiled it. They have it. So there is still jade in, in the yep. market, in, in the, the Far East, but the price has just changed drastically because it's already $2 million a carat. At the top end, nothing I'll bring you, but like at the very top end, it's $2 million a carat. Well, that's when you could get it. Now, as we said before, these dealers that have it, they're in their last generation. There they are. Like they, it's, that, that trade doesn't exist anymore um, unless they make the jade last longer. Mm. And th so they're like, we can't replace it. So it's not, no, let's just say at the top end, figuratively speaking, it's $2 million a carat. It's not $2 million a carat anymore. It's like they're not, they're not selling it, actually, is the reality right now. They're not selling Taipei jade eye. They're, they're, the market is flooded with type C. Right. She's died. Yeah. And, and we, we just have to adjust our preferences and, and accept that. That's, that's what it is. They, still, they actually refer to it as natural jade eye. Labs do but then they will put in the, the, the comments, it's been polymer impregnated. Yeah. Because it was a natural jade eye. It's not lab created is kind of what they're saying. Yeah, they use natural different reference in the gemstone. Yeah, we're very thing. strict, okay? But I want you to understand even before the mines closed, how lavender jade eye has just usurped the market 
above any other color. Forget rarity. Red, I'll be honest, red is rarer because that only exists in the skin. Mm -hmm. Lavender is more valuable. Lavender Jadeite Jade has become one of the most expensive colors in the jade market today. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if you saw uh, Rihanna at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, I didn't see it, but I've seen all the pictures. For, like, a, you know, a lot of um, jewelers that I know, like Baco and, and other high jewelry, they like, literally paid to dress her in their jewelry. And they're all sharing it. And they go, look, this is her with a ruby ring and all this. And it's amazing. And that, that's great. Like, she, she's like a billboard. Right? Yeah. For, for, for these brands. Like, this is what happens. You see Tiffany with Beyonce and they want to dress them. Rihanna bought Lavender Jade. Like, no one, no one went to Rihanna and went, we want to dress you in. She went and bought last year a Lavender Jade strand. Wow. Like, and that is powerful, really. I don't ever subscribe to that. Uh, yeah, people always used to talk about pink diamonds and they're like, it's the Jennifer Lopez effect because like Ben Affleck proposed to me like a five car. I don't care. Like, let's just talk about it as it is. But there is no doubt that it's definitely affected the, the zeitgeist in the West of people waking up to what is this gem, right? Mm -hmm. I was in uh, Bangkok in November trying to secure Jada and I found this bangle. It was unbelievable. It's Taipei. It's far outside of our remit, but I just wanted to, I always like talking to people. And it was like uh, wholesale, but it was, it was about, I think it was about $50,000. And I was, I, I can understand it. It's not like I was, I was going, I can't get my head around it. I was like, yeah, it's top crystal. It's, you can see how translucent it is. The lady said, well, it's also because there's lavender in it. Lavender isn't that saturated, but it's there. And she pulled out this specimen. Mm. Just like, you know, this is what I mean. You know, when I show my jade slice, everyone does it because they want you to understand. How rare it is. You, you, if you're not hiding anything, then actually education is actually a tool, Absolutely. right? You know, like it's different with diamonds and like the monopoly with diamonds. You know, they don't want you to see behind the curtain. For, for like a hundred years, they were like, we're going to control the supply, we're going to do this, we're going to mm. do that. But like when something is as rare and as elusive as Jedi, people want to educate people about why the mm -hmm. value is such. And, and, you know, you'll find many vendors doing it. She was saying, look, it's how lavender forms. It's like patches, it's tiny plumes. So to get any significant amount of it in a bangle is why this is $50,000. And she was like, look, if you can't afford that, we do have other grades, we have other things. But I wanted to share this with you guys. And there it is, like a tiny plume of lavender within it can't cut anything out of that really. Um, and this is in the book. And uh, again, this is like the, it's like a multi-million dollar perfect slab of jadeite. And they're saying it's a slab of translucent jadeite that carries large color patches. They only form in patches of, of uh, lavender and light blue to mint green. To maximize the value, the cutter uses the fullest potential of the material, particularly avoiding cracks, combining the largest designs with the best color. You can see they're looking for lavender. Yeah. That bangle. Yeah, yeah, they're following. Is, it, they're, they're like, that's where we're going to maximize the value. Mm -hmm. right? That's what we're going to do there. I um, want you to understand the value of it. Now, I want you now to understand the rarity of it. Lavender jadeite is a very rare color in jadeite jade due to the fact that it needs uh, two very important trace elements of vanadium and manganese to produce that violet, purple, lavender color uh, in the crystal structure of the jadeite that makes it lavender in color. And there, again, that is like a, a washed out pale. Lavender jade. Mm -hmm. And that, by the way, let's let's assume that's the best photography. You know, they paid a lot of money for it. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Um, they want to show you the best version of it, and still it carries very little color. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vanadium is considered extremely rare in in these areas of Burma. So in other places, you might be able to find higher quantities of vanadium. Where the jade forms, you don't. You find chromium. That's where you get chrome green imperial green, jade. Yeah. Uh, but where jade is found, and, and then for, to even find vanadium in in the amount that you need in sufficient quantities to produce the lavender color is one of the reasons the color is just so rare to find in any real saturation or quantity. And there's an exceptional ring. Well, one thing you'll notice if you look carefully on that ring is it's got what we call a sugary body. Yes. It's not ice. It's got a sugary body, which means, you know, you know what, you know what I mean when you see like crystallized sugar, you know, if you heat it up or whatever, mm -hmm. and, and that's what you get, but you, you, you're sacrificing the clarity for the color. Now, lavender jade out jade has become one of the most expensive colors in the jade market today. And as a result, it's continued to demand extremely high prices, which continue to rise every single year. And this was the poly auctions, which are notable auctions uh, that take place in the Far East. Um, and they, they had everything, right? In, in behind her, I learned that that's a Birkin handbag, which apparently is one of those extremely valuable handbags that okay. we make so many of. Um, the, the, the lady there is dressed in that necklace um, and, and she's showcasing a bangle. Um, in the same auction, just so you can gauge uh, some value, there is a 16 carat no heat cashmere sapphire that went into that auction and a 20 carat Golconda diamond. Wow. And that necklace went for more than both of them. 
Because we understand diamonds, we understand sapphire. I want you to understand that's what we're talking about. It actually sold for 21 million Hong Kong dollars. Okay? Impressive lavender jadeite bead and emerald necklace. And, and this is in the book. It, it, just to translate that price over, it sold for 2.7 million US dollars. Okay? Now, on the left, it shows you, what you, you know, how lavender forms, how you get this series. So top right, they're showcasing there some lavender jade extends into the icy body type, like you can see on the left. Yeah. Um, the majority falls into the milky, sugary body levels, which you can see on the right. Um, and um, essentially, you're sacrificing. Do you want the better color? Do you want the better clarity? Today, and color, color is the, the, the priority, isn't it? Well, it's, it's different, really, because there is, I would have said that, mm. but it's actually not. Oh. Um, there was a, a wonderful article written by a gentleman called uh, Geng Li, who's, who's uh, a, a gemologist around JDAT from the Far East. And he wrote that the beginners, the novices, focus on color. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, experts focus on texture. Wow, okay. Because texture directly relates to the internal beauty of yeah. JDAT. Yeah, amazing. Um, so you want both, but you will sacrifice color for the, for the texture. And then there's this color value index for JDAT here in the book. And lavender is right behind imperial green. By the way, just so you know, those three bars of the green, you've mm. never seen on this channel. No. We don't bring that. But my good friend Roland Schlussel put this together. And on the right, he says, relative prices for different colors of jadeite gems. Uh, and he says, gems within the green and lavender series are more expensive than any other color. So more, in, more, more um, expensive than red, than honey, than white. Lavender's the one. And it's yeah. growing faster than the imperial green, just so you know. Um, and then I want to bring this to your attention. This is a, a bangle that I found whilst I was in Bangkok. Remember I said, like, it's called natural jadeite, but actually the details say that it's polymer impregnated, yes, type B. Can so see that. you've got to be careful. But the reason I'm showing you that is that everything we bring you today is type A. And the third bullet point in that body of text says, dyed and polymer treated, so B and C jade, costs between 1,000 to 20,000 times less than untreated jade. 20,000 yeah, times. That's the difference. Yeah. Do you know how much that bangle was, which was type B? Five grand. Wow. What you have on your hand right now, just because we got a great deal for it, should be like 20,000 or 1,000 times more valuable. Yeah. Okay, because it's type A, it's natural, it's the holy grail. It is the holy grail. Um, as we, again, I wanted to showcase this because you always see me bring the torch out. I want you to understand it's not a trick. A strong flashlight reveals the texture and transparency of jade up below the skin layer. By observing the size of the halo and its penetration depth mm. into the jade, buyers are able to make the best estimation of quality. That's what you're looking for with your jade eye. You want it to light up. That means you've got top crystal, because if it just stops the light, you're dealing with, it's still type A, but um, you know, you're, you're, you're not getting the top crystallization. Um, and to your point earlier, where you said, um, well, color's the one, isn't it? Well, no, look, uh, in the same book, they say, well, the combination of top color and top water, which is the crystal, they talk uh -huh. about the water content, is difficult to find at a reasonable price. Most buyers will go for the latter. And this is how the nearly transparent colorless ice jade became so popular in China in the last decade. This jelly bean-like appearance it has no color, but it has amazing crystal. Today you get amazing crystal, but one of the most incredible colors, one yeah, of the most valuable, absolutely. one of the most elusive, one of the most sensational. And I found like the pink series in the lavender series, which had like a really great body to it. And this was wholesale in Hong Kong again in November. It's $45,000. Wow. Yeah, this isn't in Christie's. Yeah. This isn't in Wholesale. Mayfair. Like, it's on some trader's table. Yeah. And then like, it's 45 grand. That's the reality. And this one here, again, yeah. $80,000, US dollars, wholesale. But you've seen pieces sell for 2.7 million in the auction houses. That's combining green and lavender, just like we're about to do right now. Yeah. But I've only got 50 opportunities. And that's a real picture on my phone. It doesn't have the best saturation, but it has an amazing texture. When you start getting like colors, you can see this is on first dibs right now. Sugary body, good color, 35 grand. 35,000 pounds. 35,000 pounds. Yeah, and like just from a crystal point of view, from what we call the water point of view, yours is better. Yeah. Okay? Lavender and green. Like this should have an 18 karat gold clasp. Oh, 100% Dave. Right. Well, let's do a 30 second clock and bring the graphics in for this. This is my penultimate auction with you. Amazing. Be as fast as you can, 50 opportunities. That, that color is real. That's a real kind of, it's a bit washed out actually in the studio, but that's, that's a real depiction of the color you're seeing. No enhancement, like real lavender, real green, consistent, alternating, impressive. I've been saying so many times recently, Dave, mm -hmm. our viewers should do precisely that. They should not, with their, your skills, 
put it with like a, an amazing high-end gold or platinum clasp and approach first dibs. Yeah. Or Sotheby's or Bonhams or... Uh, you Whatever know. you can do. Yeah, that, you, you can do. But, but my, other, my other point of advice to you is... Um, I know like a lot of your traders or, or, or like jewelers or, or you know, you've got stores or maybe you're on Etsy or whatever. My only recommendation with the Jadeite is I wouldn't sell it yet. Yeah. yeah, you might make a profit, but I'm just telling you, with everything that's happening in the market, the turbulence in the market, we are at ground zero for yeah. right now. And it is rising rapidly. Yeah. And I wouldn't sell it just yet. 50 opportunities, 100 carats, type A, certified green and lavender Jadeite. I'm going to start at two and a half thousand pounds. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely. That's a hundred carats. Yeah. I know you say don't, it's, you know. That, that's no, like, no, no, no. There's a lot there is my point. That's a, that's a lot of lavender. We'd be lucky to be uh, once. And it's an time, amazing it's saturation of lavender it? though. It's an amazing saturation yeah, of lavender. Yeah, absolutely. Is the other point. Look how beautiful. Yeah. Um, this is going to be really affordable. I just want, uh, that's the word I want to use. Like it, it's, should be really considered, but I'm going to make it really affordable. Affordable and the type A Jada. Yeah. Mm. And the, the reason I'm saying that is because 10% of the stock's already gone. Um, I only have 50. I can see the queues. I can see you all there. And I want you to know that if this is the piece that you've been waiting for, if you want to own the lavender, if, if you want that saturation of colour, that vivid saturation of colour, mm. with that beautiful top water crystal then, where you're not sacrificing, then this, th you are going to be able to own this. You are going to be able to own this. And I, sometimes I, I like to wait until the final price, but because I hate it when you guys miss out and you say, if I only I'd have known, I'd have got involved, I'm telling you now, you've not seen a deal like this. You haven't. I know we've had a lot of fun this morning, but all, everything aside, what you're dealing with right now is something that is top of the tree. It's lavender and green and it's vivid. It's intense yeah. color and it's top crystal, and it's a huge carat weight, but more importantly, it's on a strand. And we are going to take this to the most phenomenal deal, and I'm happy to do it, and I want you to own it. My only advice is, if you can multi-buy, and do not sell it yet. Minute clock, Adam, please. Wow. I'm gonna give you a minute clock, and the price, the, I'm gonna be really unap unapologetic about it. I'm just going to one massive price. Could go half and half and half again. Now, I'm just going to go and call the price in 50 seconds. I wanted you to understand like, what it is you're getting. I hope you kind of do. I hope we're there. I hope you can get your head around it. Like, it is lavender. Extremely difficult to find in any saturation. When you find the saturation, you shouldn't get that level of crystal. No. You're going to get it if you're lucky. 30 seconds, if you're fast. We're at that point. You know that story that you shared with us with the Brazilian Pre Yeah, yeah. We're at that point, mm -hmm. aren't we? Yeah, yeah. You know, with the bank guy, transfer yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. We're at that point, especially, particularly with the lavender jadeite. Like, Make the most of yeah. this window of opportunity. One hundred percent. There'll be the few of us that did, yeah. and the, the lot of us that didn't, and uh, some of us may have missed out. Eight seconds, and you get the opportunity. Wow. Only fifty of these, not hundreds, not hundred and eight or hundred and twenty. This is it. No, there never is going to be that kind of quantity. Liam, £149. Wow. For our collectors. For our collectors today, £149 on no. lavender and green jade. Let's not lose sight of nope. the fact we've just literally shown you natural lavender jadeite jade bead necklace with a diamond clasp yeah. at £34,500 sure. on first dibs. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, and, and that's not like that vibrant but even like a, purple, even even like a hint. hint of color with lavender like if i yeah. take you to hong kong and i show you like an eighty thousand dollar necklace mm. it was like really translucent it's really yeah. gemmy but it didn't have the same level of saturation that you've got here today can i have the clicker a second in fact i would say this is even uh, this is this a much one. better this color one. yeah i mean like i took the picture myself i saw it it's amazing yeah it's beautiful do you know what give me a minute clock i'm going again sorry did you hear liam's reaction yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. We're going to do it. Get involved. My penultimate auction with one you. One that we know 
it's, it's drifting away. It is drifting away, so make the most of this. It's such a beautiful palette, though, isn't it, the mm -hmm. lavender? Oh, it's, the it, best. It, it's, it's complementary of every different skin tone out there. It is one of the rarest colours, but as you've heard from Dave... 30, Roland half a minute. Russell, ...this is the colour, if you love it, that you get sooner rather than later because the price has dramatically... Well, it's skyrocketed. Um, so we're in that very unique, wonderful bubble that Jewellery Maker is. Please know that outside these four walls, that's why Dave shows you all these amazing uh, photographs. That's his experience firsthand in the business with your, the, you know, the, the most amazing jadeite traders in the world. And he's showing you, sharing with you the, the, you know, the price points that you're seeing outside these four walls. Oh. I'm going to call a price and then Adam, what we'll do is the price will come in and we'll just give them everyone a minute. Yeah. You're only going to need a minute. Um, 99 pounds. 99, 99. Um, she took 50 pounds off that. A third. We're in double figures. A third off that price tag. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. You got a minute. Like, uh, I, I, I shouldn't be doing the deals that I'm doing today. I'm not being playful. I'm, I'm being real with you. I'm happy to do them. I want to provide you with the most exceptional value, the most incredible deals where we can, but we actually can't on this. We're doing it though. No. Susan, you've got three. Cumbria, you've got two. Susie and Wiltshire are Susie, you've got two. Satvi, you've got two. Melanie, you've got two. This is it. Half a minute, if it lasts. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 I don't know what to say about that. I was expecting this to be considerably more. Yeah. Um, Caroline's messaged in, Dave. Uh, this is Caroline from Greta Manchester. Always referenced your collection. You've been collecting Jada since you were a child. And you said, what a superb strand. Welcome everyone who's gotten involved. You're a member of the Jadeite family. Mm. Thank you, Dave and team. Caroline, that's, this is what I love about this community. Like we're so welcoming of one another. We, we, we want to help you know, breed that confidence in maybe new collectors. You mentioned we've had so many new collectors yeah. today. Um, these are collectors that have been with us many, many years that are getting the opportunity to acquire this Jadeite today. We're gonna to take it off the screen. If there's anything available, stay holding, but that is ridiculous. Uh, amazing. My final deal. Is, this is ridiculous though. We should have played it the other way around, you know that. Yeah. This is 100% lavender, there's no green. We talked about the, the, the rocketing price of lavender jadeite. This is all lavender jadeite. Exceptional saturation, incredible color, smaller quantity, um, but if you want it, we're gonna do it. I always go out with a bang, we're always gonna do something special. This is gonna be your deal, and I hope you are successful on this. A full strand of type A natural vivid, glowing, that. top water, lavender jade. Let's bring the graphics in right now. My final deal with you. Wow. We had to leave this to the very last moment. Yeah, that's such beautiful. Yeah. It's got such a glow, hasn't it? Yeah, unparalleled glow, unrivaled. First person on the phone lines is multi -bought. If you all do that, this isn't gonna last 30 seconds. Cumbria, you're on the phone lines. Greater London, you're on the phone lines. Um, well done to those of you that are seeking and seizing this opportunity. Saima, you're there as well. Um, this is going to be the, the big deal that, that finishes this opportunity with myself this morning. I hope you are ready, Yeah, is what I would say. I hope you're ready. I think this might be one of my favourites. Yeah. It's stunning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. like you said about that light bulb, you know, yeah, yeah. Just without even the light source, these are I'll show literally you. glowing. No problem. I pass it over Everyone's multi-buying, so this isn't going to last very long. Okay. Sorry about that. That's all right. Um, but well, you know what deal's coming, you know how incredible it's going to be. And you can see here. Oh. Luminescent, aren't yep. they? Oh, my goodness. And I'll go back up as well. Isn't that incredible? The light stops inside the jadeite. Yeah, well done. Um, well, we're approaching half the stock going. Well done. Minute clock, big deal coming your way. The last piece of the collection. Um, we are talking about a brand new piece, never before seen, 100% saturation of lavender jadeite, nearly 100 carats, 52 seconds. Your chance to get involved. Uh, and like, in the other piece, we alternated it with green and lavender. This is all lavender. Yeah, exclusive. It's all value. It's all rarity. For collectors, this is the must-have, I think. Uh, Saima, you've got two. Susie, you've got two. Maker and Cumbria, you've got two. Satvi, you've got two. I hand this back too well. Mm -hmm. um, congratulations to all of you, you. Uh, joining us. Well done for being fast. Well done for getting on the phone lines. Uh, you've got half, less than half a minute now. 30 seconds to get involved. Good luck to all of you. Multi-buy if you can. This is your deal today. Absolutely 20 unbelievable. 
totally and utterly natural, an exclusive lavender strand. Have we done those before? I don't know, have we? But it's that vibrant lavender. They literally glow, don't they? I'm holding up against the decolletage with all this intense saturation. Um, Susan, Melanie, Alison, London, Saima, hello to you. Gosh, there's loads of you there. Uh, look, we should be, we should, you know, be monumentally higher on this. Like, and that's why I'm not even going to give you a start price. I'm going to give you one deal, my final deal with you today. You ready for this? One seven nine. Good luck. Wow. One seven nine. And my my daughter is up there waving to me. Um, with balloons. I think she's she's got a job now. <laughs> Amazing, absolutely amazing. What an incredible opportunity. Have you ever seen lavender jade like this before? No, we haven't. We have not. Well done, guys. So oh. many multi buyers, so many of us joining in. It is the full continuation of matched lavender jadeite. Yeah, matched. Yeah. Matched lavender. £59.66. Uh -huh. A monumental value proposition. There's still 28 chances you can do this, Gabrielle, Victoria, Maker in Swansea, Suzanne in Tank. Yeah. We're uh, anonymous uh, collector, new collector from Multibuy, Jennifer in Staffordshire, Brenda in Lanarkshire, Kath in Tyne and Weir. It is your opportunity. Judith in Surrey, you can do it too. 22 opportunities for every single one of you. You've got your split payments. You've got your lavender jade out. It is the opportunity that you should not miss today. We've had a lot of fun today. We've, we've been bringing you incredible deals and this has to top the lot. Absolutely. 19 Absolutely. chances. It, uh, phenomenal. That's the right word. I agree with you, Liam. They're saying phenom phenomenal. Um, amazing. I mean, to be honest, 19 millimeter yeah. rounds. We've it's it's today. silly. It's ridiculous. The it's red amazing, jade nights, the lavenders, the carvings. Mm -hmm. There are 12 of these remaining. It'll be first come, first serve. Yeah. If you are told that you have been unsuccessful, wish list it. For sure. Um, there's people with three in their basket. That's fine as long as you check out now because, yeah. look, we are rapidly approaching. Ten chances. If you, nine chances, sorry. If you want to do it, now is the, the moment. Yes, it might be in your basket. It's not going to be there in 10 seconds' time. Tracy, you're on the phone line. Susan, Judith, Maker, Susan, Maker, trying to get three. Jennifer, Brenda, Kath. Mm. You guys are in the queue. I hope you're carrying. You've just joined the queue too. There's only seven. Mary, you've just joined the queue. There is literally six very, very important opportunities remaining. Irene, you've just joined us as well. This is my final deal with you. Five unique special opportunities on the likelihood of being able to replace something not just that not just that not yeah, just replacing yeah. the lavender yeah replacing this deal that's the 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 the, the more pertinent question you know can we get lavender jade maybe can we get it at this price no. absolutely not no and you guys know that that's why you guys are very well educated a lot of you are even more educated than i am you teach me things about jade you message me on social media you see this opportunity, you know the deal we're providing is unparalleled, it's unrivaled, and you're capitalizing on it, and, and all power to you, well done, to every single last one of you, well done. Amazing. There is still one opportunity, so make sure you stay holding, and uh, you know, if you unfortunately miss out, use our wishlist service. Amazing, Dave, as you, always, Al. such a pleasure to Thank have you. Thank you so much, it's always wonderful to be here with you guys, with the whole team here. I know the unbelievable masterclass is coming up, which I'm excited about, um, but you know, I will see you very, very soon. And um, congratulations to anyone who joined us on this amazing morning. Well done. Oh, incredible. Well done. Huge congratulations to each and every single one of you. But we've still got so much. Dave has given us some special permission to bring to you just a few more, one or two, just one or two uh, type A jadeite carvings. And don't forget your masterclass. It's all about beautiful pearls. We've been completely smitten by these kits the the jewelry that linda has created is nothing short of breathtaking so please do make sure that you tune in for that masterclass that's coming up um in the next hour but i have got time i believe we're we doing it now yeah into what now the carvings or the yeah we're going to bring you some carvings now and then we'll do the masterclass kit. So I've got time, um, uh, time to actually do that. Okay. Which one do you want me to start? Ah, oh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not going anywhere just yet. No, no, no. Just yes, that's what I said, wait a minute. Look at how beautiful, here we are. Do you want to talk into my mic? Yeah. Hang on. Here we are. Hang on a second. Sorry. 
Hello. Hi. Oh, look how beautiful she is. And what's your name? Mila. And who's what your you who's your daddy? David Trot. <laughs> <laughs> and what have you been doing while Dave's been on air? I've been making drawings. Oh, let's show everybody. Let me put that back down. Hang on. Mila, is this the first you've made jewelry before, right? No. Are you sure? Should we put it on a bust? Should we put it on there to show everyone? Like 30 seconds to graphics. <laughs> Mila, that's amazing. I don't believe that this is the first time that you've made a piece of jewelry. I made this for my mum. Yeah. Oh, for your mum. I made these for my mum. Should we show that to show the camera? Wow. Oh, you are just the cutest. It has Rose quartz, so that's all I can really remember what it's Mila, you've made a mistake here. This says one. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, well so you've yeah, got there. I always say about jewelry maker, I, 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 she's putting me to shame because I always say, I wish I could do it, I wish I could do it. Mila's learned it in the morning. Um, new guest designer, I think. Yeah, do you fancy it? Yeah. Do you fancy coming and making jewelry all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fun, well, isn't did you it? Make this too? Uh, Oh, Sue wow. made it for Thank you. you so much, Sue. Aww. Sue, well, see, we have to have Mila Absolutely. get her on board on the jewelry maker team. You've got Beryl here, so that's some aquamarine. Aquamarine, Beryl, and rose quartz. Yeah, wow. well, it's beautiful. As beautiful as you, I think, my lovely. Oh, isn't she just the cutest day? Yeah, we always say we're, we are the kind of family run uh, business. Mila's in here. Uh, behind the scenes, she's going to go and pack up orders now. She's going to be here all day yeah. in the, the warehouse. Um, <laughs> I'm only joking. We're going to go and have some fun, but she's had a lot of fun this morning. Thank you for joining us. And what I'm in, I'm in love with that. That's amazing. You've done yeah. brilliant. You can come on. We, we can go and take some more things home and make some more things. You can show me how to do it. Okay. You're gonna, yeah? yeah, you're going to show Dave? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right, right you're right such on. a poppet. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. Mila, make sure you come back soon. Oh, bless her heart. Isn't she just the cutest, such a darling. Don't go anywhere, though, um, because I'm going to make my way over to our lovely Linda uh, for your masterclass back after this. My name's Yvonne Froelich, and I'm from Somerset, uh, and I'm part of the competition for Britain's Next Gem. A friend introduced me to Jewellery Maker and at that time I was um, playing about with beads and well in fact I tried it all um, from polymer clay to macrame to comahimo to everything and then I said to my husband look I've seen this workshop that's come up and it was a 10 week uh, silversmithing course and that was how it started and onwards and upwards from then on so be careful it is addictive. I entered this competition simply because I saw the, um, the advert and then I thought, well, why not? So I sent in my application and I was invited along with others um, to Jewellery Maker for the first audition and that's where it all started. Then we were asked to come back the second time. We were met by staff when we got there and everyone was so friendly. They put us at ease. Um, we were given bits and pieces, we were able to decide what we were going to make. And then we went into the studio, which was all very scary and we were interviewed we met uh, Hannah Osborne was uh, looking after us and asking us questions and we were working away uh, and we were with Elle that day and um, yeah so that was our, our first um, flavour of being on screen. My collection stems from a piece that I took with me to the first audition. It's where I set a stone in a bezel, then I drill a bigger stone uh, and set that inside and set the bottom stone again in another bezel. One of the other things I like to do, as well as setting stone on stone, is when I set a cabochon into a bezel, I like to cut out a pattern on the back so that um, it's interesting from the back and the front. I get my inspiration from quite a number of places. Um, mostly is because I like learning new techniques. Um, since I've started jewellery making, I've got this thirst for learning new things. It's what keeps me going, it's what keeps driving me. And every time I learn a new technique, then I get new ideas. 
it would be, mean the world to me if the viewers voted for me. Um, it would be a dream come true. I hope that the, I might inspire other people who have been watching Jewellery Maker and watching people doing their silversmithing, making their jewellery, even making a business out of it, but they're on the telly and I can't possibly do that. I'd like to tell you that actually you can. So please vote for me. I'd be absolutely delighted. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Oh, I tell you what, good job. <coughs> <laughs> We're back with Linda Bromwell. Oh, what? what a poppet she was. I know, yes. You don't want to pack her up and take her home with I you, know. don't you? I know. Um, there we go, Liam. Sorry, I was just I was laughing then because I'm trying to explain or, or, or pronounce Asile, Asile jewellery, and she's it's like, what yeah. are you saying? It sounded like this. I, was like, I did not say that. <laughs> Definitely did not say that. But before we show you this, um, oh, my... Goodness me, Linda, it's so lovely to have you back. I've always said it, though. I think for, for as long as, as, as I've been working as part of this wonderful jewellery maker family, which is coming up 12 years mm -hmm. since I've worked here, your jewellery is so beautifully commercial as well. Oh, thank you. I do like to make jewellery that I... And I'll say this sort of like I said, would imagine people would buy or would wear oh. so not to make it overly complex but then you get tempted as a designer on air to make it a little bit more complex to sort of look as if you've done some work but i prefer simple particularly when you've got um things like pearls Such and jade eyes and that. Yeah. you just need them to be center stage wow that is, they are absolutely stunning. And the fact that you've got, what, one, two, three, four necklaces, one, two, three, four pairs of earrings that you could probably create more with as well. Yes, there were some left over. I'm just going to be working on a demo with the bit that's left over. This is like the return of the boutique kit. Yes, it is, actually. It is a blast from the past, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah. Now, we've actually got um, two separate kits, so you can literally see them on either side of the T-bar. One features your keshis and your seed pearls, just to give you a heads up, this is very limited, this kit. Very, very, very limited. And then you have this one here, which has got those lovely pinks and peaches, which are absolutely beautiful. And, by the way, now, um, confession. Confession. I had to buy my silk from eBay the other day. Ooh. I did. I had to. Liam, I had no, no choice. There were no silks. Today, you can tell on me if you want to, I don't care. <laughs> but there weren't, any, there, were, there weren't any silks available. Because they were all in this kit. They were all in this kit, yeah, basically. Now, you've got two separate bundles, but silk is like gold dust here at Jewelry Maker. Should we put them on pre-order? And also what Liam's done, and not told anybody, he's also brought silk cards on their own. So if you stock up on your silk... They really ever feature on our shows, do they? Very, very, very rarely. And you use this with your jade? Yes, you can use it with any gemstone that you want to, whatever works for you, because there's several different colourways. Um, but the best thing about these this silks is that it's already got the attached the needle. needle. Oh, my God. It's a god and yeah. then it is an absolute godsend. It is a godsend. Yeah. They are pre-orderable. Uh, pre <laughs> they are pre-orderable um, right now. Yeah, grab them whilst you can because, yeah, they probably 
once or twice a year they get featured on the show. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it it and you pay a premium if you buy them from the auction sites as uh, auction sites as well, like I did. But I had no choice. We didn't have any here. Um, okay, but first let's bring those beautiful pearls. Now there are a hugely limited quantity on these, and I'm going to show you every single one of the strands. Have to show them on their own as well because look these are the peregrina drop shapes plus can you see that if you work from the top and you work your way down can you see you've got the dusky pinks they graduated then you've got your papayas and then you've got your whites at the they top like can you see that isn't that beautiful so that's a standalone strand oh definitely on yeah, it's so just re-thread it on your silk Look at that, that perfect drop shape. So you've got the dusky pinks, and it literally blends gently into the papaya peaches and then to that pure white. Yeah, amazing. Now, on the back of that, I'm going to show you the first of your beautiful seed pearls. Seed pearls. You would think the smaller the pearls, the more, expen uh, the, the, the more affordable they are. Not the case. Actually, smaller pearls can be astonishingly expensive, and that is because so many are actually lost during the drilling process. Leads me perfectly into the next strand of seed pearls that you have i mean look I, like i'm i if i had if there was more of these available i would be buying this kit for sure because mm -hmm. i adore the smaller i mean there is certainly a huge issue with supply and demand on seed pearls because yep. they're used in the fashion market particularly obviously in the bridal market absolutely not just for jewelry but for stitching onto gowns yes and veils that's and true whatever. that's so true then you have a strand of keshis Keshis and, and and just just quickly because I don't want to I don't want to read this too much because it's take it'll be taking time that I don't think needs to be taken. But look at Asile. This is their website. You can do it online right now. And I'm going to ask you this. Those are those are those are blue or silver and gold. Just flick forward really quickly to um, to the photographs. Um, so yeah. Look at look at the one she's wearing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, are they yeah. any different? To any of these i mean this is the first pearl that i um found in the chinese um gem markets that introduced me into the beautiful baroques oh they're stunning aren't they yeah. i'm still not done though am i no you're not you've got another strand this one's beautiful silvers very uh, reminiscent of the Tishin pearl and lastly you have your beautiful pure whites so hang on one, two, three, four, five, six strands. Even if we said, I mean, Keshi, Keshi pearls are more than that, significantly more than that. Okay, no, uh, do you know what, Liam? I'm going to say this. The price you're paying today is less than what you should be paying for the Keshi pearls on their own. Keshi pearls, because they are pure nacre, natural little stowaways as part of the culturing process. Keshi pearls on their own. Yeah, that'd be a great price for the Keshi pearls. You know, if you looked at Asail and do, do this, you know, at your leisure, do you think any of their, uh, their Keshi pearl pieces of jewellery are £129? Definitely not. I mean, a keshi pearl is, is by its um, serendipity, isn't it? It's a by well, chance thing. Yeah, can't, it's not instigated. It's, it's, a, not, it's, a, no. it's a lottery, basically. Yeah, exactly. basically. It's a lottery winners of the, uh, of the culturing process. Even here, it's not where we are stopping, though. That's a great deal. Right now, you're talking about £21.50 per strand of genuine culture pills. These aren't seed pills. These aren't glass pills. These aren't similar plastic. They are genuine cultured pills. Plus, you have got some of the most desirable shapes in your drops. You've got sea colours, natural colours, keshis. All of this for £79.99. pence. You can get it home today for just 39 99 on your split payments. So wait, that's working out at what? Just over te 13 pounds per strand. Keshi pills aren't 13 no, pounds. No, they're not. And also the fact that is, and this is an absolute fact because you can read it in all of the um, gemstone press, as mm -hmm. it were, in magazines and things that uh, you can find online or in the bookshops, that pearls 
for lots of reasons, not just COVID, but lots and lots of reasons, weather and all sorts of things out of our control. Mm -hmm. You know, the production of pearls has sort of diminished over the Massively last so. two years. So that has then a double effect on the future. Two years with the process diminishing on the production means five years at some point when we won't be able to get them. Well, no, because you've got you, at these prices. You need you need to mature the the, the, the actual mollusks themselves. Mm -hmm. You can't, they, you know, they don't just immediately uh, produce cultured pearls. They have to mature to a size where that process can actually be um, initiated. Now we said this was limited. Do you want to know how many we got left? Fourteen. Thirty. 30 yeah. Jane, Cheshire, Tracy, Anne, Francis, Tina, Maker, Jane, Diana, London, new customers getting involved. There's loads of you there. Um, I mean, that, that ha comparing with literally myself right now, I have brought you Keshi Pearls to air personally for what's on your screens right now. Mm -hmm. Haven't we? Oh, yes, definitely. And rightfully yeah. so. That is a great price for a strand of Keshi pearls. They are pure solid nacre. Let's, let's quickly read through that article just whilst you're all making your confirmation because there's tons of you there. So, one of the many types of pearls, the brightest luster comes from the Keshi pearl. Beloved for their organic silhouettes and their incredibly high luster, Keshi pearls are often used by jewelry designers to make that unusual one of a kind piece that stands out from the crowd and becomes wearable expressions of one's individuality. Keshis also create distinctive strands for the pearl lover who need the occasional statement piece in her fine jewellery wardrobe. Absolutely agree. They are full of iridescence and luster, and that is because Keshis are nothing but nacre. Keshi pearls do not form around a nuclear speed. They consist only of nacre. For this reason, Keshi pearls have the very highest luster. There is nothing inside to block the reflection of light, and that remarkable glow of Keshi luster is uh, almost was breathtaking yes highly prized very valuable because of their uh, unique luster since they are purely precious material they are sold by weight like uh, uh, like a gemstone sorry mm, that's confusing because normally they're done on mill millimeters um, and collected designs uh, to a magnificent strand of wearable there we go etc etc we've got one left so I'm gonna leave that with you amazing 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 now pre-orders on the silks I've gone nuts not surprised. Hello, Amanda. L. How could you? How could I what? Oh, the silk. I was like, what? What have I done now? What have I done? Oh, I know. I know. How very dare you? I, I, I'll be honest. I'm not proud. <laughs> I'm not proud of my actions. However. I was desperate, yeah, I was desperate. I was desperate for the silk. I know, I, but you know what? I'm disappointed in you. I know, I, I know, and I, that's the worst thing. I don't want to be disappointed, disappointing, yeah, rather, it, yeah. to, disappointing, to, especially yeah. to you. Oh, I can't remember, but it was, it was, it was quite a lot. Do you know what? You were lucky to actually, postage. but you were lucky to find any anyway. Yeah. To be honest, particularly this type with all the, you know, with the needle and that on it. Well, I didn't you get the, I didn't get these colours. Mine were literally a bog standard. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, needles. one fits all. One size fits all. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't so much the silk that was expensive; it was the postage <laughs> that was expensive. Yeah. Mm. That's where they get you, isn't it? I know. I'm not proud. I will stock up now, same as you guys. Okay. Um, got one more pearl kit. Oh, can we just look at this for a second? Because <coughs> can I just say, Elle, as well, that uh, if um, new to jewellery making people are watching today, please don't think that you have to knot your pearls with these silks. No, you don't. You can s just thread your pearls on to the silk. Well, for ages we didn't do pearl knotting, did no, we? No, no. I mean, uh, pearl knotting is is a technique that is um, it's many years old. And initially it was done that should the strand break, because it's knotted, each pearl is knotted into place, you only, could only really have the chance of losing one pearl, not all of them scattering across um, like a meatball out the door. Oh, can you imagine? Well, this is the thing. They, they are individual treasures, which have we read about it earlier on, didn't we, when we were yeah. discussing the faceted pearls. These have been celebrated throughout civilizations 
We spoke about ancient Europeans, didn't we? Um, we spoke about uh, Chinese and Egyptians all celebrating these beautiful gemstones. Um, oh, and they are gems. They're organic gemstones um, created by a living organism. Now, this is beautiful. In total, five strands. Get that mixed one, it's beautiful. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's mixed. You've got yeah. your sort of uh, peach palette. Pillages, yeah, how pretty. Look at that. I mean, look at the luster on them. These you are know, under these, Yeah, under these drowning lights here, they're still Flood retaining lights. That, that, that uh, luster. The cast, your mind, cast your mind back to when uh, the last time Charlie Barron was in the studio and he'd literally be, he, he, he'd be spitting, wouldn't he, about the floodlights in the mm -hmm. studio? Mm -hmm. God awful lights. Yeah, and he's right though, he's not wrong. I mean, we are in the studio, so we need floodlights, whereas if you go along to something like your Parisian jewellery house, you'll have the most beautiful soft, carpets, soft furnishings lights, yeah. and spotlights. Yeah. That's where we should be looking at. Now, this, this, Look at that. You've got a mixture of your pinks and purples. These beautiful soft peaches, completely natural, and you have a variation of sizes. In terms of quantity, I mean, five strands of pearls. Um, Linda, these are going to go a long way, aren't they? Yes, a, a real long way. So I've got some left over, which I've uh, left at home. Um, but I have got quite a considerable amount left at home. But you can certainly create... Um, statement jewelry but if you're not into like big pieces of statement jewelry but you do actually like the design of yep. statement jewelry if you do it with pearls it's not quite so in your face as I should say um, but you can still make a statement and with pearls as well what's happened over the last couple of years is um, they've due to celebrity red carpets etc 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 they are now um, being worn and designs are being made by much younger people yeah than ever it's not just the twin set and pearls no no no, no definitely have. not i mean i've got four nieces and they all and that's ranging from 19 to 30 and um they all absolutely adore pearls yes I do as well. Mm -hmm. It always has been one of my all-time all favourite gemstones. I've just been looking some of the, uh, putting some of the different silks alongside it. So and put the elephant. I mean, how beautiful would he be incorporated? Oh, jade, in jade and pearls are literally a match made in heaven without look, a doubt. Look at a little happy tail. And what I love about that is is the sort of little jade bale that's yeah. there in, in in the sort of Carved uh, into royalty it. seat. You, know, Look you can at that. imagine this sort of palanquin on top, can't you? That big, that sort of tented. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. I don't know if you, if the um, elephant's still available, but it's worth having a little look. Um, right now, we're at seventy nine ninety nine. We're not even done there. We've actually got a bigger quantity. And I'm just looking how generous these drill holes are. So if you wanted to put these onto something different like a, a cord um, or mm. maybe even some sterling silver wire, I think this strand in particular, you could do that because look, there's three yeah, cords running Yeah, I think you could through. do it with all of them actually. So that gorgeous design, which oh. I actually haven't done because it has been done so many times before, is if you do thread them onto wire, um, and I would emphasise, if possible, to do sterling silver, precious yep. metal wire, because it's more malleable. And then twist the design into that lovely... Oh, stunning. You know, multi-twist. Stunning. We are going lower, just purely because we have got a slightly bigger quantity. You are getting all five, some of which are completely natural in their colour. Love the variations of the colours, the shades, the tones. Pearls... I mean, it was so steeped in history, but have they... I don't know, I'm asking the question, I'm not making a statement. Have they ever been as celebrated as they are today? I don't think they have. I mean, this is... They really came in through generations and, um, like, royalty would wear pearls. Absolutely. I mean, even, like, the men, OK, we have Harry Styles wearing pearls and that now. That's yep. pop royalty. Yep. Um, but I was watching a documentary on Henry VIII the other day, and it was fascinating, actually. But all the photographs, he was draped in his waistcoat in pearls. Yes, absolutely. And then, it's obviously, not Elizabeth I, she completely... I mean, you couldn't have got another pearl on that woman. Um, and then we had the fantastic Coco Chanel that introduced... Oh. 
Similar pearls. pearls. Yeah, yeah. Um, seriously, that's ten pounds per strand. It's incredible. You're getting five strands, natural coloured pearls as well. Well, the thing is, sorry to interrupt you, Elle, but I remember uh, Dave was on um, a show a few months ago and he'd already given me to make a design from a strand of white pearl and a strand of the peach pearl. Mm -hmm, yeah. Peach pearl's been totally natural. Now, that strand of pearls was £198, Absolutely. if I remember rightly. Yeah, that makes sense. It really was, because... Because of the rarity of colour. The rarity of a natural peach pearl. I mean, it's... Years and years ago, it was unheard of. Well, there's an anomaly of nature. They form this natural colour. We're talking about these two here. Um, so they form this naturally coloured because during the culturing process, most pearls will form in the, in, in the flesh, if you like, of the uh, mollusk itself. But when they slightly roll out to the circumference, I always say it to the kind of lip, if you like, of the oyster, the shell, the mussel, whatever it might be, because they can culture in lots of different uh, mollusks itself, that's when they start achieving natural colour. So you've got to remember, these have formed literally on the X, Exterior, because if you look at a shell and the mother of pearl in, between, in, 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 in the center, the majority, the bulk or the, the dominance of saturation actually is sort of on the exterior of it. That's where these pearls have actually got that from. Now, just before we dive into the demo, um, let's bring you the thread, shall we? The silks. When talking pearls, high quality pearls, and, you know, certainly the strands that we've brought you today, I think it would almost be a shame not to put them I with a silk. I think anyone who's bought any of the jadeite, you can't go wrong no. with buying Because it's, uh, it's how they move as well. Yeah. Silk allows your, uh, your jewellery to move a lot more fluid. They are already flying out. Right, starting with the blues, <laughs> greens and that soft sage. We're going to go straight down so you can see you've got um, one needle is actually fixed. So if I turn one of them around, you can see that. That's just there. Um, you get two meters, um, and they are your number four, so 0 0.6, which is ideal, really, for both the pearls. Absolutely. And the I mean, you can now uh, pearl not any gemstone. Um, I mean, Marla designs are fantastic knotted. Yeah. Absolutely oh, they're lovely fantastic. knotted. Yeah. Because yeah. it gives that lovely fluid flow it's the doesn't movement it? yeah, yeah absolutely if you think of it uh, there's nothing wrong with like your beading thread or anything like that but it doesn't have a it would probably cause a bit of friction on the drill hole in the mm -hmm. pearl um but also it, it they're a bit more stationary aren't they they don't have yeah that. and you are creating a future hereditary piece because sticking with the the old way of not in pearls. Now, when I was I was in America in, um, I mean, I'd heard this fact many a time, but I was in America in December and I actually saw it for myself. I went to a, uh, I've mentioned this before, I think, I went to a craft market in Grand Central Station and there were a mm. lot of jewellery booths. And the one lady was not in pearls. And um, I took... Um, my sort of heart in my hands really and plucked up the courage and I asked her how much she charged to either repair a strand of pearls or to not a strand of pearls and she said and her it was then six dollars fifty yeah. per knot yeah it wasn't it was using that, by silk the way. Yeah, it was that price in the jewellers that I worked at 20 odd years ago. Gosh. It was around about five pounds per knot. And yeah, they did per knot and yeah. I mean it is a skill Let's face it, it is a skill, but it's not, uh, it's very easily learned. Yeah, absolutely. We can teach you that as well. These are beautiful. I love the yellows. Mm. How amazing. So you've got like a, a proper canary yellow, pure white, and then um, more of a sunflower shade. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. Amber, they're describing it as. How amazing are these colours? How many do we, get, do we have, Liam? Because we had 100. Less than 50 remain, though. Yeah, so any questions that you have about pearl knotting, we quite frequently actually, um, we quite frequently do demonstrations of it. So, um, yeah, uh, and have a look back on our YouTube channel. Now, whilst you're checking out, also be aware there are more silks on our website as well. Naughty Liam put them on our website. Yeah, so you can shop ahead and grab those as well. And I would recommend, um, I would recommend getting involved we've also got some more pearls coming up but linda out of all these amazing designs which you're going to create well there's the one on the black bus yeah there it's a i sort of 
um, I was playing around with, with pieces of wire, trying to create a filigree, a lacy design, because mm. pearls and lace go together beautifully. And um, I saw a little technique on a little YouTube video, which isn't exactly the same as this, but similar. So I thought I'd sort of go with that and see what I could come up with. Yeah. So I'm going to demo that. That's nice. Um, a bit so, different as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so I've just put together a very short um, sort of Looks brace. a bit like chain mail. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nestling a pearl in like a little lattice of um, silver wire, mm. which is just a bit different, and then connecting all the, the, um, the little uh, parts together with a sort of an oversized jump ring. That's entirely up to you. You don't even have to use the jump rings. Um, because it's my good old uh, wrapped loop technique um, again. So you don't have to use the, the jump rings, but in this case, the jump rings are doing a great job within the design itself as well, because I'm a big believer in trying to use findings as a significant part of any design as well. So to do that, you have to create these little, short little um, connectors which I'll show you how to do. So what I've done is I've taken some, it's up to you whether you use the plated wire or whether you use sterling wire. If you're lucky enough to have some 0 0.4, 0 0.6 um, <coughs> sterling silver wire then, because it's pearls, go with that if you can. Yeah. So I've cut um, several lengths of about, I suppose two and a half centimetres, no, it's probably about more like three centimetres that over an inch. Uh, they don't have to be exactly the same, but the way to do it is just to take your wire off of the spool, cut the first piece, and then use that as a template for the next pieces. So if you take your round nose pliers and just go about just over a centimetre down from the top of the wire and go on, the, on your round nose pliers, go about two or three mils from the tip and do that every time if you can. If you find that difficult to do like from memory, then you can always put a little uh, permanent marker, mark just there to show you, because obviously they had graduated. So if the, the further up you go, the larger loop you're going to get. So I'm going in about two mil and then just push away through 90 degrees and then bring it back all the way around until it's parallel with the residue here. And then that little bit there, I'm just gonna move my pliers out like so, and then just move that around the base of the plier that's actually uh, below the, what can I call that? The tine sort of- The loop. The loop, yeah. I was thinking of a fork then, that's tine, isn't it? And then just chop off your residue and then take your round nose pliers again, put it where it fits and then holding this residue here, just lollipop head it up if you see what I mean. So you want like a, a lollipop head there so that it's like as rather if it's than sitting. A yeah, yeah, rather than the letter P. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you. And then take your round nose pliers again and then go again about two mil from the loop and do exactly the same again, about two mil down the plier and do the same again. And bring that back. And you can take the plier out this time and then just pop it back where it fits. So again, it's on the, the, the sort of, what, what, what would you call this? I always struggle with knowing what, quite what to call these. Taper? It's, uh, yeah, the taper or the prong or whatever, yeah. but that, the bottom prong. And then again, wrap that residue around, but wrap it, down the neck that you have made, gone a little bit short on that one, but it doesn't matter because, to be honest, um, it's just a little bit of decoration, a little bit of sort of lattice work. So that's how you uh, create that. And then if you take your flat nose pliers and pop them straight across that loop you've just created and then just have them on the same plane. So you've got them facing up, both of them are looking in the same direction. Right, now pop that down. Now, coming to frame a pearl, take another length of wire, this time probably about a centimetre longer than um, on that little decorative piece I've just made. 
and then again, this is point six. Again, about two mils down the plier. I'll go a little bit lower down, about two centimeters down. Again, push away, flick your pliers around and then bring it over the top. This is the halfway stage. And then the, you've got to make four of those little um, lengths of looped decoration that I've made. And then just slip two of them into that halfway wrapped loop. Pop your plier back in and close it up so that you've sandwiched them in the little loop of the wire. And then again, finish off a wrapped loop. Which chop off your excess. Now, pop on a pearl, and I've chosen to use the round, but it's entirely up to you. You can do this with any gemstone, any size pearl. If you're going up in size of gems or pearls, getting larger, then just lengthen the lengths of wire that you use, and obviously the opposite if you're using smaller. Now I'm going to pop, again, about two mil down, get to the halfway stage on the wrapped loop, I'm going to push that down slightly so I've got somewhere to pop another two of the little decorative lengths that I've made. So pop those in and exactly the same as before, pop your round nose pliers back in, sandwich those two and twist around the little neck down towards the pearl and take away the excess. You can, if you want, Take all of that wire and have a little cap on each end of the pearl. That will just provide more decoration. Then I'm going to take another length of wire, again about three centimetres or so. And again, guess what? I'm going to do another halfway stage wrap loop. So push away, flick the plier around and push down. Now what I'm going to do now is... I have got to, I'm just going to get one of those little decorative lengths I made initially and pop that onto that halfway stage wrap loop and then go to the other end of the pearl where there's another two exactly the same and pick up the corresponding one. Okay, so um, it all depends where they're actually hanging at the time. That's the corresponding one there. So you want the two top drops sandwiched in and I can see another design there you know waiting to be done whereby that could be an earring and we could continue to drop down with uh, the seed pearls so again wrap around and take off the excess and what I'm going to do now you don't have to do this you can leave it in the nude as it were but I'm going to pop another pearl on because we have so many and then pop my around those pliers back on and actually I've done that on the no that's right and then I'm going to complete that wrap loop on that pearl there so I've got something to, to make a purchase on really there I can hold that now so I've got my my other two uh, little dangles that's the only word I can think of at the moment so I'll take another piece of wire and exactly the same as I did previously is make a halfway stage wrap loop and then pick up the components and then complete through the wrap loop on the other end, pop them on and make sure that it's sandwiched in the loop. If you, if you struggle with getting these two sandwiched into the, just make that loop a little bit bigger by going further up the round nose pliers. Pop in and then just wrap around, trapping those two loops into the one loop that we've just made. And then again, I'm going to pop on a pearl and do my final wrapped loop. By the time you finish a design like this, you'll be ace at wrapped loops. When I used to do Jura Maker for beginners, um, loops were always um, the thing that people struggled on, but wrap loops being easier than the simple loop. 
So now I've got a component made there. So I'm going to take a jump ring and with my flat nose pliers, I'm going to open it towards me. So it's like opening a door and then popping it through where I've just added that extra pearl. And then this is the one I did a little bit earlier and then just pop it through the wrapped loop on there. And then that's extended that by another component. So you can carry, you just carry on doing that. And then when you've made it long enough, for whatever, I mean, it, it makes a great station necklace, like a tin cup necklace. It's busier than the usual station necklace, but um, it's just a des design inspired by that. Make it as long or as short as you want. And then all you've got to do then is attach your um, clasp of choice on the end and that's job done. So that will make a necklace. It will make a multi-stranded necklace design. It will make a bracelet. And it will also make uh, one or two components together, some matching earrings. And it can obviously be done in any metal of your choice. And, um, and whatever size, whatever gem that you want to use will work just as well. And then when it's all, all put together, it does look quite lacy. It looks quite filigree. Um, so I, I quite like that design. I shall use that again, but with different gemstones. So any Amazing. questions or anything, just let me know. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so That's much. And it has got like a, 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 a I don't know, appearance of chainmail to it, which yes, I like. Yes, yes, but for me... And I'm useless at chainmail. Yeah, and I am. So <laughs> for me, it's, yes, I, I've got my head around this one with chainmail. I can do a, mo a Mobius ring and that's that's my lot. Yeah, I'm rubbish. Yeah, I can do a Mobius ring. That's which bad. actually, that's Mobius it. rings in between the components Ooh, would look lovely. stunning. Yes. Um, we're going to squeeze in a few more deals, I think, between now and then. Um, absolutely amazing. Now, 0.6 thread. Who wants it in the pink? In the pink colour. <laughs> Two metres. Obviously, the um, it's, it's weird. Um, if you go to high numbers with wire, the wire tends to... Um, well, that's the American system, gets finer, no, thicker. But with the silks, the higher the number, then the thicker the silk will be. Yeah. So that's the bigger knot you So like get. seed beads? That's, that's the one, seed there beads. There you go, the a comparison. bit like seed beads. Thank you. Um, um, here you go, beautiful pre-threaded. Um, yeah, so basically, it's if you, for example, we had those bigger jadeites, didn't we? So you would probably right. want to have a bit bigger silk. Exactly. Higher gauges. Exactly. So, uh, and with this, a large, with a larger hole, which you probably get more with the jadeite than you will in a pearl, anyway. Amazing. Seven ninety nine. There we go. Um, oh, oh, oh! No, it's not, says Liam. No, it's not. Is it? What? Oh, we got 261, says Liam. Should we sell them all out before wow. anyone sees? That's We're not meant perfect, to have them. Well, obviously. Perfect colour, isn't it, as well, that? It's a nice, warm flesh. It's beautiful. Colour. If you think yeah. about with some of the colours, uh, some of the pearls that you've had, it would be amazing <laughs> with your uh, your kits, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely perfect, yeah. Um... <laughs> um this would be my, this would be the one I would stock up on because I think this colour would be the one I would use the most of because it's, it really is neutral, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. £1.75? Mm -hmm. Going back to sort of that conversation. Um, but you paid twice that I'm, much. I'm fairly sure I did, yeah. yeah. I'm fairly sure I did. Absolutely beautiful. We had just over 250 of them. They're absolutely flying out. The wheels have fallen off, everybody. The wheels have fallen off. <laughs> I'm Trying in the gallery, desperately. Yeah. Linda is doing an amazing job at keeping it all together. <laughs> well done, Linda. Um, well done. Stay where you are. I'll leave it with you because, yeah. I've got one more. I love this colour. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And it's funny, isn't it? Because you say beige. Here in, here in the UK, anyway, that's we're like, like that, beige. That's like a latte colour. Isn't it beige? Beige. Or grey. So everything's a bit beige. Yeah, it's like, yeah, isn't it? But look how beautiful it is. And actually, beige is very popular at the moment in fashion and also in inter uh, interior design. Oh, yes, yeah. so, well, it's, it's just that backdrop, isn't it? Yeah. You know, the backstage. Look, I mean, the thing about the, a number six silk as well is you can macrame with it. Yes. Yes, yes, you can mm -hmm. still macrame with it. Sorry, Liam, I think I saw it there. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can macrame with this. There we go, because it's a thicker cord. Mm -hmm. So yeah, perfect. Yeah, macrame with it beautifully. And being that, that continuity of 0 0.6 gauge, um, you'll get a lovely crisp macrame look. Oh, yeah. You know, it'll be... Um, it'll, it will macrame up consistently is the word I'm looking for. Amazing. Well done. Well done, well done. Leave that one with you. Amazing. Um, we have had a request for some 0.4 sterling silver wire, I think, on the, uh, whilst you were demoing. Mm -hmm. um, well, so if you're so. working with pearls, you always need to have 0.4 handy because it's virtually the one that was guaranteed to go through the hole in any pearl. No, this might be what? Oh, it might, we might not be able to have it, but I get the impression, the fact that Liam is saying we might not. Well, I think he's overridden that, don't you? Yeah, totally. Uh, five metres, 0.4. So it goes through all the drill holes, as you were just saying there. And perfect but, is also for, you know, the tiny little two mils and three yeah, mil gems. Yeah, lovely. You can, you can thread with it, can't you? Yeah, you can exactly. actually use it as oh, a threading yes. material. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we had a request for it, so we're not going to ignore that, of course, and we're going to bring it to air. Um, Sterling silver, we all know this, 925 sterling silver, the price point has skyrocketed along with all of your precious metals. Um, but we're going to ignore that. You're getting six grams, six grams of sterling silver. Wow. Should be 29.99. Six grams today and today only, I think. How many have we got? 200 available. You need it, don't you? Because you can make your featherweight headpins with these as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 0.4 is probably the, the as of all the different gauges, it's the one that I'm always rummaging for. Yeah. And if I find it, I think, right, I'm going to keep that separate so I know exactly where it is. I never do. So if you need stash of wire, always use your biggest stash on 0.4. Yes, absolutely. Um, and the fact that working with precious metal as well, I guess, you know, 0.4 is a great alternative, I guess, to your silks and things like that. Silks, because it is the sort of the traditional yeah, yeah. threading material. It's that luxury component p component that you would associate with your pearls. Um, but yeah, 925 equally so. So say, for example, if you wanted to create Linda's piece, but you haven't got the featherweight headpins, then you can use this as an alternative. Uh, Victoria, it was you that asked for it. So here we go, my lovely. You're very, very welcome my darling five meters that's a lot of head pins that's a lot of loops and i said the 0.4 as well if you want to create um a uh beaded bead yeah people oh. who've been watching for a while will recall that but um well you did one in this can you pass me that appetite necklace in your first in your first kits didn't you like a beady bead that's a just beaded that's bead. rolled wire yeah is that, that is that's that not just what a length well that was that, that's a good enough um sort of what's the word i'm looking for now could do that in silver yeah though, you could you? do that if you just take a long length of your silver wire and then just say a knitting needle or something like that, just twist it around, or if you've got a gizmo, twist it around and then straighten it slightly or just pull it slightly and then just roll it in the palm of both hands. Roll it hands, up in a little bowl. And you get sort of a little filigree. Um, 925. Round there. But um, the 0 0.4 as well, you can make the sort of a, a ball of beads. Um, yeah. It's a ladder weave... Um, technique and then you pull it together the top and the bottom and it creates this ball sort of ball and it won't some beady beads that you do with thread or even with the silk might be a little bit floppy mm. so with wire it won't it will be it will stay in shape a lot longer than if you use thread to make the beaded bead wow. with. It would go amazingly with the, um, yeah, you could do that with these pearls. These pearls would look amazing with your kits as well. Three strands. Should we do a closeout deal? You feel it? Yeah. yeah. We've brought the silk. We've been naughty already, haven't we? Yeah. We've brought the 0 0.4 wire. We've been naughty there as well. The you know, if we're gonna if we're going to get told off, let's get told off properly. Yeah. Shall we? Make it worth it. Um, <laughs> we'll use Liam as an excuse. Yeah, that's all good. He's only here for two days. Two days only. Um, you've got... Well, <laughs> um, you've got just over a metre. A metre of genuine cultured pearls. 
Love it. Beautiful. I, I don't like the description potato pills, so I'm going to describe them as little ovals. They are beautiful, aren't they? But again, um, so many of Linda's designs, well, alongside the jade that we've brought to you today with the kits in the nine o'clock hour, they'd be absolutely amazing. Wow. That's £10 per strand. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. Do you know, this is what's so exciting about Jewelry Maker. We can bring you all different extremes. You know, we've got, we can bring you, and this is why I quite often will contest when people say, oh, okay, the prices have all gone up at Jewelry Maker. They really haven't. Our portfolio has broadened. We can bring you pearls at under £10 right now, and we can bring you pearls at £500 like we did earlier on. Either way, you are getting fantastic quality for the price that you're actually paying. £10 per strand. Oh, Liam. He threw his dollies out. He's right. They're not flying out fast enough. How many have we got, Liam? 30, okay. All right. That's £8 per strand. I mean, even when we first started, Linda, I'm fairly sure we didn't do pills at that price on a regular no basis. No way. I mean, this will make your... Um literally triple stranded pearl necklace the, you know the classic oh with that royal. silver component that we yeah. had the first thing this morning oh my goodness that big yes. statement piece yeah how lovely would that be yeah oh absolutely stunning remember, i remember it, sheila made one like that uh, a while ago pearls and and a similar component to that one that you're talking about and it was just asymmetric but only just off centre and it just looked amazing. And then your classic, you know, oh, hang on a minute. You know, your classic uh, um, sort of graduated triple strand, yeah, was it? Was, was it? I'm trying to, um, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She used to absolutely. wear these all the time, didn't she? So the yeah, triple and, strand. Yes. She used to wear oh, yes. one, two and three sometimes, yeah. didn't she? That beautiful graduation. You could maybe go for something a little bit contemporary, mixing it up like that, like so. Have a little look back at uh, um, the eight o'clock hour because we brought you the most amazing sterling silver component. But if you wanted to create like a choker, I mean, how lovely yeah, that, that, that would look amazing as well on a long lariat design, wouldn't it? With that asymmetric uh, connector that we had earlier as beautiful. well. Beautiful. Amazing. Do stay where you are right then. Um, um, sorry, Liam, that's not right. No. Um, that's Chinese cabbage. That's good luck. Yeah, sorry. We've been looking for the Pixu PowerPoint just because the Pixu, and I'm not going to say tell the story as well as it was written. So, um, no. So the Pixu is basically the, uh, is, I believe, a mixture between, if I remember this correctly, um, the, a, a dog and a dragon. I think that's right. And they are staunchly loyal. The actual story itself is this, is, uh, um, this was um, a, a beautiful creature, a mythical creature that protected its owner. It also um, helped that uh, owner stay loyal to them literally for the entirety of their life. Um, it would help that, um, that owner actually try transition to the heavens above where it would continue its life thereafter it is just a fascinating story and it's all about loyalty um, and protection so the pixu much like the dragon is much like uh, um, for, i'm sure the elephant is and many of the other creatures that we have actually offered you here at jewelry maker is yeah particularly desirable um in uh, in chinese culture so here he is there's the little pixu so if you can imagine part dog part dragon you can definitely see those dragon like features one thing i do vividly remember is how you wear your pixu so you wear your pixu away from the body so as you can see he's pointing in this direction right now um, because he's protective isn't he so he's got to be facing away from you um, so yeah if you get hold of this now again beautifully carved you'll also notice he sits on a money coin so he is uh, um, believed to bring you prosperity and wealth and ultimately Great protection present, stunning one. absolutely yeah. stunning look at that detail you can see literally his fangs itself apparently he is he is quite aggressive with his well, he'd probably have to be with his protection as well, wouldn't he? How it? beautiful. Yeah. But again, been around, uh, the actual mythical creature itself has been around for, uh, for, for thousands and thousands of years. 110 carats, again, type A, your brave troops, Pixu. It might be under that, you know, brave troops, because that's the other thing that it's actually referred to. Um, but always, uh, um, usually interpreted on, on a money coin as well to actually bring, um, they used to feed on gold, didn't they, and all the riches, Pixus. Put that with a little bit of citrine and you should be... Uh 
draw money towards you. Then, here it is, we found it. I'm going to read about the... I can actually read the story. The Power of the Pixu. Um, the story of the Pixu's ability to attract wealth for his master also explains his ability to accumulate great wealth. One version of the, the story is Pixu. He had a little accident, bless him, on the palace floor. Enraged, the Jade Emperor scolded Pixu so loudly that he never did it again. The Jade <laughs> Emperor condemned Pixu... I don't want to say that word. Uh, the Jade Emperor condemned Pixu only to have a diet of gold, silver and gems. With no way to process <laughs> these riches, Pixu <laughs> retained all that he ate. What a great story. Um, his master became exceedingly wealthy. So bless him. Despite that, despite being so uh, told off, so... Yeah. Um, he had a reputation of being fierce. Uh, the large fangs visible in their mouth um, are used to attack demons and evil spirits, draining their essence and converting it to wealth. Pixu also guarded against disease caused by these evil spirits. It is written that Pixu patrols the heavens to keep demons at bay and to protect their owners from all harm. It was believed that the ferociously devoted Pixu would always and constantly guard its master, even after he passed from this life onto the next. It was also believed that Pixu would help their masters ascend to heaven by flying them up to heaven on their backs. So Gosh. despite being told off, it's got a lot of, he's uh, incredibly loyal. And he's incredibly clever. He is. So there it is, the story of the Pixu. Um, to train your Pixu, you should place, um, oh, is this around the home? Uh, place a bowl of money, gems, or anything valuable or precious so that he knows what to look for. This is feeding your Pixu. Um, always have the, the Pixu facing outward so he is actively searching for wealth. Um, when not wearing your Pixu, place um, it in the living room facing the main door. And wear the Pixu bracelet on your left hand as this is associated with receiving wealth and the right is associated with giving wealth. Do you know what? I love all that information because it seems like it's been tested. Yes. So he's associated to yeah. treasures. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Should be 499. He's absolutely beautifully carved as well, isn't he? Your little Pixu on the money coin. Today, wow, that's got to be a closeout deal, surely. It's a massive carrot weight. Look how perfectly intricate he is. Again, you can see his little, you can see his fangs. You can see his, uh, it, it, what do we call these bit? The tentacles, I guess. Are those tentacles? That's, it's not an octopus. What do mm. they? Tendrils. 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 Like um, <laughs> are they tendrils? Yeah, like sweet peas, but tendrils. Yes, absolutely. Totally natural. Make sure you do check him out. Keep on dialing through for your little Pixu. What a lovely gift, as you said, for somebody yeah. on a christening. Yeah, um, absolutely. We've got a few more pills just to squeeze in before now in the top of the show because somebody actually asked for them. Okay, well, oh, my goodness. Goodness me. Sujang. Sujang pearls. So from the, from the Pearl River in China. Um, once upon a time, the Sujang River stopped producing cultured pearls because it, because it is such a heavily populated area in China. Um, it, it was detrimental to the pearls. They weren't producing the finest quality of pearl. But um, again, you know, there's, it's, it's actually got a great environmental success story because they recognize that it's actually referred to as the Pearl River, the Sujang River. They recognize that it was a cause for concern that pollution and the marine life was actually being damaged. So they invested hugely into, uh, uh, into restoring it to uh, where it once was. And the end of the, the you know, many results, uh, uh, sorry, stories, um, demonstrate that success obviously the wildlife but the pearl harvest is another you can see the quality so you use you describe sujang really to be honest i mean it's 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 not out at sea like your tahitian or your salt water these are freshwater pearls making their way towards the salt water uh, um, locations but these are absolutely regarded and considered and named alongside the likes of your tahitian pearls your south sea pearls um yeah here we go so the pearl uh, the pearl shines again in clean waters so you can literally see it's very um, uh, you know it, it's a built-up location this is like the gateway if you like to China um, a lot of uh, custom would actually uh, um, be docked here I'm not going to read the entire article because it, basically I've covered it it was suffering greatly with pollution but again these pearls really are a celebration 
I remember us launching them, yeah. It was alongside uh, Jake. Sujang Pearls are regarded as some of the best in the world. Um, yeah, yeah, Jake was saying if you bought that Sujang Pearl necklace for something like £1,500, that would be an absolutely great price. These are natural. I mean, look at the golds. Look at the purples. Look at the silvers. Look at that amazing luster. And we're at 999 for Sujang Pearls. Totally natural. But that's not your price point. Alison, well done to you. You've got yours. Congratulations. I'm going to show you the launch price. Gosh, they're stunning. They are beautiful, aren't they? Mm. Sujang pearls. And this is why we should never just exclusively think that saltwater pearls are the, are the best in the world, solely saltwater pearls. I mean, they're beautiful, don't get me wrong. But freshwater pearls, I mean, some of the examples that we have brought you, the fasted pearls earlier on this morning, they were freshwater pearls absolutely exemplary and and just because they're fresh water doesn't mean that they are abundant and they can literally churn them out like a production line quite the opposite these are astonishingly rare because they are naturally colored now these absolutely flew on pre-order uh, sorry on launch rather alongside jake 349 pounds and 99 pence we've got the final few opportunities to my recollection as well this is the only sujang pearl strand that we've ever brought you here at jewelry maker they are mind-blowingly beautiful because do you know the, this is the intensity of color for me if you want your gray pills i would always say tahitian absolutely if you want your golden pills south sea absolutely if you want a kaleidoscope of palettes with that metallic luster i would say sujang all day long but they're limited in their quantity how many have we got five yeah that's it I four just, now I was about to say, this is the first time i've actually seen them up close and personal they're beautiful i've aren't not they? seen them before and they are absolutely stunning their beauty is just there isn't a there isn't a word to describe how beautiful it's how are. metallic they are i think mm. that strikes me you know and, and your five virtues the same applies whether it's uh, whether you're talking about um salt water or, or freshwater pills so you talk about your five virtues so you talk about uh, size well, look at it, eight to ten millimetres. They are, you know, they're big sizes. Two of them left now. Well done to you, Diana. We talk about shape. Well, these are, at the very least, near round. Mm -hmm. Then you talk about colour. Is it natural? Is it not uh, natural? Yes, these are natural. So that significantly increases the value. Um, then it starts talking about the nacre and the luster, which kind of go hand in hand. Nacre is how thick, you know, that the precious material that makes a beautiful pearl. Um, and if you've got a thicker nacre, then ultimately you're going to have the most beautiful luster. Well, these are positively metallic. So absolutely incredible. Um, you don't have to take my word for it get them home use that 30 day money back guarantee do your research on sujang pearls and absolutely you'll see that that's the one of the most amazing deal i remember so clearly the show with jake and he launched them at 349 which is absolutely incredible and i remember so vividly him saying that if, if you see sujang pearls at anywhere near well, 1500 is what he actually said. That's a great deal. Amazing. You can get it home today. I've got one remaining opportunity. Get them home today. And that's, by the way, the only Sujang Pearl strand that we have in the business. Do you know, if we relied, and I'm talking about totally relied on saltwater pearls, then we wouldn't have the joy of wearing pearls, would we? Because no. they would be so, well, they are incredibly expensive and obviously they have to be dived for as such but these the only difference is it's still the same water to a degree well this is a gateway it's just, to yeah the sea. exactly um but it's just that the little irritant is introduced to a perfect mollusk and this is the result well oh, why amazing. would you not want to carry on creating pearls like this oh but these are, yeah, super rare. They Some are, of those literally look like 24 carat gold. Miracle don't they? Of nature. Oh, completely. And this is why so many, I, I say so, so frequently, we need to sell 18 karat gold clasps I mean, this all the one time. Here is yeah. like bicolored. Yeah, it is. And silver. We're running out of time, so I'll leave those with you. Absolutely amazing. Make sure you check out your basket, Sujang Pearls. Linda, it's been such a joy to be it with has, you today. Yeah, it's been a great show. I've thoroughly enjoyed the Jade Showcase. Likewise. And obviously being surrounded by pearls is my idea of... Heaven. When heaven. are you back? Um, oh, I can't remember. Don't know off the top of the head? Hopefully soon. Don't leave it too long. I think it's about March the 11th. Oh, I think. not that bad. 
Okay. I'll be back with you bright and early in the morning, lovely jewellery makers. Well done. Congratulations on all your acquisitions. Oh, tomorrow, under £10 day.